in the building, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to do this thing. We're about to roll a monkey down a hill, set him on fire. Do my, <laughs> do my pretend stutter. Yeah. Welcome to the to the stream. You know what it is, boy. If you've been here before, I'm doing a little thing with my hands. You can't see it. It's very hip hop infused. I'm going to be sending the stream link because for some reason I can never get the stream link beforehand. Like That'll slack. take a couple of minutes. In the meantime, we're probably just going to slag off Game of Thrones for a few minutes without too many spoilers. Final episode's going to be tonight. If you watch Game of Thrones, is anyone excited? I'm sure as hell not. I'm excited for the memes, the sheer level of cringe and the reaction videos. I can't believe in the last episode Cersei just opened up her mouth, head and just ate the entire dragon. Yeah, it was, it was pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. She's, She's like very... dislocated her jaw like a snake and... Isn't there a film that actually ends like that? No? What maybe what? Like, I swear there's like a film, it's just it's just like a generic demonic possession like exorcist movie. And then in the final act though, the, oh, yeah, the possessed the girl just like Logan. fucking opens her skull and like swallows somebody. Yeah, in like the final act Logan. of the movie. Wow, there's sixty five people here. I wanna fucking see that just that. I don't care about the rest of the film. Um, we'll close that window. Yeah, we yes. probably should. Gemma do it. Someone do it! Someone was sitting on my on my toes. By someone you mean Toby? He's gonna be. He's, he's just the couch for this. Ow. He's in the ball. He's yeah, Toby's actually there. here, but we've like tied him up. We've and... him up like a you know, raw gimping. Uh, we've stuck a, uh, an apple in his mouth, and I, and, and now I have an erection. So um... uh, North Mexico. Uh, thank you very much. What's this guy's name? Writer. Rita. Rita. Five pounds. Rita very Rita generous. Potter. Thank you. Been watching the show since season one. Here we go again. Yeah, it's gonna be in a couple of yeah. minutes, and just we will be starting in just a few moments. So and thanks for your money. patience. Uh, to t uh, Jacob, he's desperate. He is actually. This is, we're doing this out on the street. Yeah, this is not even from my home. This is from a from a cardboard box with only three uh, sides to it. Yeah. The other one, the other one, I had to eat. <laughs> the other side I had to have it for dinner last night. So that would be much. So we've been sold into white slavery again. All right. Okay. A lot of people are asking if this is going to be a drinking game. Uh, so I would not suggest okay. it. So we actually don't know anything about the remake. This is our first exposure to it. I like. I deliberately ignored. Um, like Vince Twelve's readings of it, like I think I went on and like left some comments, like wishing him luck and stuff. But I, I didn't actually properly listen because I, I've in I've intentionally been ignoring, um, uh, you know, other people's stuff. You just about went this. onto this thing and just left a bunch of Game of Thrones spoilers in the comment section. Okay, yes, I, trending number just, one. <laughs> could you imagine? Like, I just a bunch of just a bunch of random people in England reading a story that came out a couple of years ago. Now, I think that would be like fucking astounding. If just, what, like, it's like one of those videos. You know, you find those people on YouTube who like um, you know, like those few people. You find people who've like done that one video, like the Nyakat guy or something like oh, that. Oh god, or, yeah, or the the the, the Numa Numa guy. Yeah, something like that. And like um, there's gonna like, be some kids in the stream chat. Like, what the fuck are these artists talking about? Like. Really like you know like you get those memes or just like there's one thing and like you see like a uh, I just remember this I'm is, here I just Sorry. remember seeing this um what was it it's a uh, was it uh, this video called When I'm Bored where this guy cuts a bunch of clips from this um anime and it was like a uh it's got all oh, it's got like over a million it's got like, probably about I don't know five million views or something now at this point I can't remember it's been ages since I've watched it and at the end of the video it's like um a thanks video to his 117 subscribers yeah and this video alone got like like five million views or something like that. It's always funny when you get those stuff. Should we shut the door? Uh, probably. Yeah, I don't have too much background noise. Toby, we'll be starting shut the door. in about in about two minutes. I've got one more place to post the link and then. Girl we'll Toby, start. shut the door. What girl Toby? Really? Yeah. You're the Toby of the group when Toby's not here. It's true. You've like Matt and I have been on the show the longest. So. Mm -hmm. And also, you're the youngest. Mm -hmm. So. And and you have a Vagina. It's like the buzz of the bat cave is literally perfection. It will be when it becomes a kitchen. Oh. Um, how do I do a community post? I can't remember. Well, we uh, just uh, talk about the um, Ghostbusters, uh, you know, female Ghostbusters two trailer that came out. <laughs> With Ruby, oh, yeah. Ruby Rude, uh, Ruby, Ru Ru like Ru 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 Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. That's you. That's what you sound like. I've got a stutter. Damn it. They haven't. You just fake it for popularity on the internet. Look at all your millions of fans. Thank you, Vertigo22, for the five US dollars. Oh, thank you. Very kind. Just broke up with my girlfriend of almost Oof. six years. This is easily the best thing that's happened in the past week. Keep up the good work. Thank well, you. Well, you know, very, not, to, very not, not to, you know, like, have. Uh, if this is really the best thing. The big, the big sad yeah. has been given. 
So, to get a little bit of context, this, if anyone doesn't know, is JC the Hyena's official uh, remake story for um, for Sonic.exe. I think he's quite proud of this one. This was the one it where he's be. finally gotten it right, apparently. So, we, we don't actually... know what... Right, so somebody has asked, is this going to be a drinking game? We don't know a bloody thing about this story, other than it sucks, because it's JC the Hyena. We don't know what um, kind of repetitious things... There are always repetitious things in his story, but we don't know what repetitious things are, there are going to be. So, unfortunately, we haven't been able to make a drinking game out of it. Having said that... Um, Watch the episode, you know, thumbs up, give us like £6 million each, and then make a drinking game, uh, game out of it. Six gorillion pounds. Yeah. All right. Six gorilla pounds. So, here we are. Uh, this is part one. Let's begin. Of, of, of It's just called X, although it is apparently Sonic. going to give it to you. If you look at this part of the screen here, it does say Sonic.exe, the remake. Although, I don't think the chat can see that, actually, if it does. The name of the document, Sonic... Sonic EXE underscore the remake by Sir JC Hyena 231. Oh, making himself a fucking knight now. X. Gonna deliver to you. Mm -hmm. Why does mankind exist? A question that has been most frust that has been a most frustrating topic among members of the human race since its beginning long, long ago. That is a good sentence and is not bad. And every man, woman, and child has had their own unique answer. To the religious, they thought God had created mankind in his image. To the scientific, humanity is naturally superior in the ongoing race of evolution and survival. That's not strictly accurate, but okay. No. To the average, everyday individual, the human exists for no other reason except just because. So, all right, let's begin unpacking this paragraph. Um, so let, I'd like to remind everyone that this, enti this, this whole little rumination on, on the meaning of life is the opening paragraph to a story about fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's... <laughs> just... The clear answer is Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> so before we even get into it, let's not forget what this is, okay? The grammar is just bad and, and weird and kind of meandering. Mm. It doesn't feel like it was planned out at all. It's just kind it's of jumping right into it. It's trying to say right something, it. but it's not saying it very well. It... Uh... All right, you're on the chat, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Are you on live chat as well, or top chat? Yeah, hold on. So what it's been saying... Top chat's annoying, because you only get... For some reason, you don't get everyone's messages, and it's really irritating. <laughs> You've been living Carry all on. your life yeah. in a gangster's paradise. <laughs> and gangster's paradise is playing in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Sonic <laughs> XE versus Coolio. Humans are truly an interesting creature. I mean, you're not, but thousands of years ago, we okay, figured out... You how to make wonders of art or how to hurt another with a weapon yeah because that was only a thousand years ago <laughs> to be fair it does say thousands uh, thousands of years later from now again look at these sentences thousands of years later from now oh, don't worry about you, you, you're probably one of the most famous authors in the Creopasta community as don't, sad as that don't is. worry about proofreading your shit before it goes out you know uh, we'll have mastered interstellar travel and we'll have extended our existence across the stars Maybe even beyond. And yet, we have a... Look at this. There's a, you know, a punctuation issue. We have a lot of flaws in spite of our apparent brilliant... I mean, apparent brilliant... I feel like I'm shooting fish in a barrel when I make fun of Jason DeHyena, but like apparent brilliance. What? Really? Are shooting furries at the convention? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. Oh. I've just given myself motive. If someone else does it and does, gets away with it, everyone's going to think it's me now, right? So many... <laughs> If you're making all these school shootings, let's, you know, step it up a bit. Come many, on, step it up. For many centuries, we've prayed to an invisible deity. That's right, there's only ever been one religion. Of, there's only ever been one god. You know? In the beginning, there's Christianity. <laughs> and then... We've hated and raged against each other for reasons big and small. We've expressed absolute happiness and sorrow. We cowered in irrational fear and every action we've made... Every action we've ever made spawned from some kind of innate desire within all of us. Yet, in spite of all this, we still ex What does that mean? Despite, uh... Despite of all the things that we've done, we still exist. Yeah, basically, we've raged against each other and we've cowered in irrational fear, but we didn't die out. Despite that, we still exist. Uh, okay. No, okay, uh, let's just ignore that and We're move on. We're still human. But then comes another question... One that is also a frustrating topic amongst humans. Why is JC the Hyena allowed to continue writing? <laughs> Are we alone? Is there a life outside this world of ours? If so, what are they like? 
How do they live? More importantly, what do they think of us? Are they making Sonic? Can they go fast? I really hope so. I really it's like, well, it looks like I'm gonna have to save your planet. <laughs> a lot once again, um I I say once again a lot, but uh you know how this it's whole right. I say the N word a lot, yeah. So. <laughs> You do, you do say it a lot. He was saying it like crazy. Oh, because we were just, we were at a restaurant and it was just, we would not stop. We were rejected. We were, we were ejected from that that chicken cottage very quickly. <laughs> um, I've got. Oh yeah, what the point was Sorry. trying to say. What I was trying to say, and there goes a bunch more subscribers. It's oh, it's like the only way you could be worse if you had an affair. <laughs> And the fair, and then made an apology yeah. about it, that, that somehow made me look even worse. <laughs> she forced me into a polyamorous relationship, and then she got. <laughs> My point was like, once again, all this meandering, like waxing philosophical, and it's a Sonic EXE story. Oh my god! It's yeah, it's so weird, right? Like, so all of this, right down to here, before we even get into like the alien stuff, f- here all the way up to here. So like the first. However many paragraphs this is, right? Because it's kind of weirdly paragraphed. All of that is just a, is sort of a meandering, ponderous, dull rumination on on the nature of of consciousness. The life, presumably. the universe, and it's everything. It's completely boring and pointless, and, and has no reason to exist. In a story that's about an evil Sonic. Mm-hmm. Like, how did this? Like, I I hasten to use the word, but how did this franchise get so fucking derailed? Yep. You might bring it all together like the last episode of Game of Thrones. <laughs> Uh... Can't wait for that tonight. Oh, some English book, ten pounds. Considering putting this towards the liver replacements you'll guys need if you play the drinking game with this one. Oh, does it have? Again, we don't know what the because we don't know much about this story. Maybe they have their unique reason. Oh my god! I, I I promise I won't do this for every sentence, but look at this shit. Maybe they have their. Maybe they have their own unique reason on why we exist. Doesn't mean anything. Maybe they want to educate and guide us to a bright future. Maybe they want to destroy us, see us as a threat, or maybe they don't care much for us, see us like insects, and thus don't pay us any mind. Or maybe somebody wants us. I can't imagine anybody wants you, darling. Maybe there's someone or something out there right now looking at us, desiring us, like a child would at a toy store, or pro Jared would at a bug-eyed goblin person. (laughs) Um, Thank you very much, Towen, Towen, Towen White, Five pounds. Next BCP episode: Sonic.exe versus Pro Jared. <laughs> this was supposed to be the improved version. Maybe they think the reason we exist. Yeah, Sh- Sherman Exe. Yeah, I don't want to fucking see any of that. <laughs> Christ, no. Nathan's been already sending me a bunch of those pictures. Already. I told us to ask them to stop. Yeah, somebody asked me, "How come you don't hang out with Nathan anymore?" I was like, "You heard of Shadman?" <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they think the reason we exist is so they could own us. This, uh, that's why I think you exist, <laughs> JC, is so we can own you. Uh, this is a story of such forces existing outside our world, a nameless darkness. Oh, more money. Oh, thank you very much to, uh, is this Aurus Spice? Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, is that Russian dollars? What is it, R? What does it stand for? I'm not sure. Sorry, but ten of those. Thank you very much. Very kind. For the liver fund. <laughs> after, dec- after decades of debate, who would have known that the answer to the uh, Fermi paradox was evil Sonic? <laughs> it might be Reals, actually. It might be. Oh, it could be reals, actually, yeah. Does they use a dollar sign for that? I'm not too sure. Where are you from? <laughs> I can't remember. Just ten reals, I can get myself a um, one of those drumstick lollies with that. Mm-hmm. Ah, Brazilian currency is worthless. Uh, <laughs> where the fuck was I? This is so. This is already terrible. A nameless darkness. It has a name, though, boy. His name is fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Or X. Or, yeah, even in your stupid continue. Here, this is the motherfucker's name. I thought, like, you know, you put that there. <laughs> I thought that was a fucking, like, you know, like, the image was corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> Cove isn't looking at the chat, so, joke- so, so Jacob's probably not going to notice you unless, like, I show him you. There's the Black Rose Electric. Notice me, Jacob Senpai. You shouldn't, have, you shouldn't have told me, and then they'd have gone unnoticed, and they'd have known the pain of reading Sonic.exe, the remake. Okay, A Nameless Darkness, a faceless evil that hungers for humanity. As you read the first chapter of this saga, you'll be... T- oh my god. You'll be taken into a fucking hell. Okay, come on. 
Come on, Jacob. You are an actor. Tiger. You are an actor. <laughs> You'll be taken into a world of paranoia, mystery, and madness as you follow the adventures of a single young man who, in a, with a neck beard, who inadvertently thrusts himself into something unexplainable, something furry and very tight, <laughs> and discovers parts of something. <laughs> Fuck Sonic like a book. <laughs> that utterly defies all reasoning within him and forces him into a desperate struggle for survival. Here I am! I'm the master of your destiny! This is the first chapter. Sonic.exe by H.P. Lovecraft. Right, so that's the introduction already. So we're just into the introduction already. I want to kill myself. Mm. This, yeah, like, I, uh, like can what? they, like, how, uh, can I they don't see know if how they much... can see the progress bar at the side, but, like, we're, like, a... And fucking 20th right. of the That's way like, in. Uh, yeah, like your, versions, is... your versions can't crack because uh, the version I've got, uh, you know, page, um, Word program. Shows it's, you the page yeah, numbers. Yeah. Right? yeah. No, this isn't, this isn't Word. This is WordPad. This is like fucking... This is, yeah, this is like some shitty discount uh, Word like, program. Don't even have Open Office, dude. That's... No, I've got Microsoft Word, but for some reason it opened in this. So who cares, right? Like it... It's too late now. We can't go back. Oh. oh, yes, yes, okay, this really is, this is where the remake begins, lads. Mm-hmm. Which one was, Tom, was he the detective, Tom, or was No, that... he was the main character in the first one, the one who was like... It was Derek that was... Oh, that yeah, he was just like bowling oh. his way through the game, just like, yeah, this is so scary, but I'm going to keep playing anyway. Oh, I prefer... Ta- uh, J- I was going to say Jared, but I meant uh, Derek. <laughs> Thomas Miller, a young lad, just starting out a second year in college. Thomas, or Tom for sure. Thanks, I wouldn't have uh, got that from... Actually, I wouldn't have got it from context. It was Tom. Was pretty much your average run-of-the-mill college student. <laughs> this is a college student. Your average run-of-the-mill college student. Or just like an- annoying, doesn't wash, very left-wing. Uh, handsome, dark neck length, dark neck hair. <laughs> it's, it's just Jay-Z himself. Always liked wearing a vest over his turtle. What? Over his turtleneck. Like oh, I'm what? trying to picture what that would look like. And when it says vest, I'm picturing like a basketball jersey. So surely that's not what he means. Like, I'm, I'm like picturing he, like, vest? Like, like so What's wait. a sweater vest. It's okay. like basically it's a. Vest. I'm English. Give it's, me a it, chance. It's a vest without any arm. Like it's like a, it's like a sweater without any what? arms. So it's right. a, a sweater. Sweater is like jumper. a jumper. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it's, a like, it's, 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 it's it's like a jumper, but it's a vest. Okay. Right. right so okay, let's start from the So like your average everyday guy who goes to college. Okay. So handsome. No, no. Like, sure, it's like overweight, blue hair, <laughs> yeah. face full of metal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I also get towards uh, he wears a tur- was it his turtleneck, turtleneck, very fashionable. Yeah, and of course a kind-hearted intellectual with he, good wait, grades. Right, so wait, he wears a vest over his tur- so he's got a turtleneck on, and then he's got a vest on top of that. Rinse twelve. Hey, my boy, my my boy. Don't make me drag. Don't make me drag your ass into the stream, okay? Because I will do it. Thank you for the five bucks, my man. You guys have no idea what you've just signed up for. Oh, my God. It's been a while since we've done a video of this, though, hasn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's so, he actually he's so safe. He needs to come on the next the next um, episode mm-hmm. of Bad Crew Buster. Bad Crew is coming back soon, by the way, guys. Season six. Uh, watch this. We've just okay. been off because. Oh, more. more. All right, thank you, Oscar Rock, my man. Five pounds. Uh, thank you, very, very kind. Pro Jared only shagged a goblin for five hundred XP and <laughs> three gold pieces from the village priest. <laughs> Someone, is anyone who's good at doing fan art or something? It's like <laughs> bonus points to put Goblin Slayer in the well. All right. Okay. Um, okay. All the good penises have names. <laughs> What's your What is yours name, Jared? Goblin Slayer. <laughs> Intellectual. Oh, and Wait, only... the bus. <laughs> We've been doing this for. <laughs> this is not part one. It's like twenty minutes. There's so much to unpack in every fucking sentence of this garbage. Okay, uh, a kind-hearted intellectual with good grades and only a few friends. Tom had just returned from his. I like the idea of like this guy's on camp. He's like you know he's just one of the cr- in the crowd. This guy's not special. Oh my, my coffee! Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, coffee is now called Crumpf in our house because of Gemma. Okay. She yes. was so we kept shortening it to cough, but when she was really, really tired, we were coming back from Tenerife. She was just like, um, Jake. It was, it was like uh, we'd been awake like a stupid amount of time because it was a really ass backwards journey with like lots of trains and things. And we were, it was the middle of the night, and we were just sort of hobbling through London. And she just goes, uh, "Come on this way, Jake. Oh, more money. I'm gonna get you some Crumpf." 
Jacob Money. Oh, thank you very much to. Well, that's a very hard to, word to say. C- is it Seleucid Strudel? Yeah. Uh, four ninety nine. Thank you very much for your kind. Mm-hmm. I hope you enjoy the rabbit hole of this remake. Uh, love your content, by the way. Well, thank you very much. It's nice of you to say. Uh, all right, handsome dark naked. Okay, <clears throat> only a few friends. Thomas Dream. All right, uh, where he Grumpy. lived alone after return uh, after finishing up his lessons for the day, just like any other day. Tom's side of his college was I mean, just like any other day. Tom's side. Of, this should be a new sentence, but it's not. Tom's side of his college was a relatively quiet one. Just the way he liked it, of course. He was never truly one who enjoyed a lot of noise going on around him and preferred this year of college to be a relaxing one for the most part. Does anyone else picture this guy with his door on? It was a Friday after the, and the weekend had started. No, because he said handsome. <laughs> for Tom, this was always a perfect opportunity to yeah, hang out with his Yeah, but it's handsome by uh, JC Hyena's standards, so... I was saying in that case, I, I was about to say, I was literally <laughs> fucking ninja. I was about to say, in which case I'm picturing a fox. <laughs> it's uh, a blue wolf boy. <laughs> Crump has, has become a meme in the chat. Excellent. More importantly, it, which is it Crump with a K or a C? I think it's with a C. I, f- I picture it being like basically the word Drumpf, but with a C instead of a D. Yeah. After putting down his backpack. Oh, no, I, I've gone a bit too far ahead. Preferred his year of college to be a relaxing one. It was Friday. After the weekend, and the weekend had started. For Tom, this was a perfect opportunity to hang out with his friends. After putting down his backpack and kicking his shoes off, his cell phone buzzed. One of his friends had sent him a text message. Pulling the phone up from his pocket... Tom read the message. It was from his pal Roger, who had messaged. Matt, would you like to do the voice of Roger? Uh. Yo, man. So, we still on for tonight? <laughs> tonight. Tonight. Tom texted back. Ooh, for, uh, well, how should Tom speak? What kind uh, of voice should Tom have? Uh, well, you can't do... Okay, so who we got with... Um... Nerdy voice. Uh, no, need to try try and do the most handsome man okay. you can. So I'm go, I'm gonna Buzz Lightyear, do, do Buzz Lightyear. No, I'm gonna if I'm doing handsome, I'm gonna do the Chris Chan voice. Oh, for sure, dude. Been looking f- to play some. We need to come up with more voices, seriously. Been looking to play some more Smash Bros with I can you. Do my Northern voice. After a few minutes, that's just your Scottish voice. Roger then replied. Oh wait, oh yeah, awesome. BTD dub. We was it? have you heard from Cow yet? Kyle Scott was Tom's best friend from high school. They had graduated together and now went to the same college. Kyle had always been a sort of a reckless type. More reckless than Tom might have been, anyway. But Tom always personally thought it was Kyle's way of being adventurous and even poked fun at his recklessness time to time. I love it's just an exposition. This whole paragraph is an exposition dump. Fuck any kind of actual like showing this, you know, any actual character development. It's just like, he was reckless. Maybe tell a story here. Do you know what I mean? Like you have a good writing. Like oh, it's reckless. Uh, you know, and you can kind of go off on a tangent and be like, there was this time when Kyle blah blah blah. blah. Do you know, like how many people we've got in the chat at the moment? Uh, Two hundred and twenty-eight apparently. Awesome. Um, however, for the, mind you, like it's it's Sunday. What, what else are they gonna do? Go to church. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're like, just burning up time to Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, literally. It's like well, mm. I got nothing to watch till uh. Till D and D shit out the Game of Thrones finale, so. But not on Sundays. <laughs> Game of Thrones is up. <laughs> However, for the past three weeks, Tom had not seen or heard from Kyle. He hadn't even seen him during classes. From time to time, Tom had tried to contact him to see if he was busy or not. And at first, Kyle did sort of respond to him via text, though it was usually in short replies of one or two words. But eventually, Kyle just stopped responding altogether. Tom had assumed that his friend was just busy with something. But for three weeks? All right, I'd just like to point to, like, he's just going to, uh, you know, like, I- ignoring the whole crappy way you've done it, like, oh, um, he was, de- you know, he's reckless. Once it- This is a Sonic XE story. Yeah. <laughs> his recklessness is going to equate to him playing a hacked version of Sonic. Yeah. It's, like, again, we said reckless. I'm picturing like the kind of guy who, you know, oh... Climbs high things without a harness. You know what I mean? Really reckless, or um, you know, go, goes on dates with people he doesn't know anything about without you know without his, without his friends knowing that he's there. Do you know what I mean? That, that's recklessness. But yeah, playing a hacked version. All right, Tom replied, "Not yet. I'm gonna try again in a little bit. But if he doesn't respond this time, I'll check up on him tomorrow." After waiting a couple more minutes, Roger replied, "Okay." I think his voice changes every time. Yeah, just, uh, no, I'm making, like, up, for the, just, I'm making just, up for the one voice you know. Now he just sounds like Drake. <laughs> just like, 
<laughs> just like, oh, I'm a paedophile. And I saw someone with a shirt on when I was at work. I couldn't do anything because I was coming past um, the, the barrow at work. And they had a shirt that just said, <laughs> just with a, was it um, Kanye attitude, Drake feelings? <laughs> just this woman. And I was like, so you're you're an arrogant pedo then that's like what a fucking weird shirt to wear. I was hoping we could uh, get uh, some uh, lost profit shirts <laughs> leading holding a baby Tom sat down on his couch and yeah but that guy was mo- a monster looked and should be dead and Jin should be killed showing the rest of the college campus uh, thinking <clears throat> he thought about what to say when he texted Kyle wondered if Kyle will finally respond to him he first considered texting him again but then changed his mind, deciding to instead try to call him. God, this is boring. So he brought up his phone, found Kyle's contact, and dialed him, bringing the cell to his ear. He did, waited as it was ringing. That's an did, entire did paragraph we need that, that does a not, That could be a sentence. That does not need to be a paragraph. That'd be a yeah. short sentence. I was worried about Kyle once, uh, again, so I rang him up. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Two dollars. <laughs> Uh, sometimes John kills Danny Brown yeah we've all seen the leaks guys you know I'm trying try not to be spoiler but like who the fuck hasn't seen the leaks by now I want it to be the other way around <laughs> Brand- you, mentioned, you mentioned Bran wanting to be on the Iron Throne like I, I'm, I'm not a person I don't actually have emotions but sure I'd love to be king right. no, no, I want it to like you know basically like uh, the way um, uh, was it Danny's about to like kill John or something with like um, I don't know a tin of baked beans and then Bran just behind her like this kills like the Night King Oh, here. Nothing personnel. Jared Leto, Jared Fogel, and Jared Navinbar, the unholy Triforce of Dominion. <laughs> no, no, it's true. All right. No response. Then came, then came Kyle's message. Gemma, do you want to be Kyle? Yes, hold on. Where is Kyle? Think of any sort of silly voice that we haven't done before. For love, of God, love of God, please come up with something new. Okay. <laughs> Even if it's just making... now you've um, now, now you've put me on the spot. Or what, what what amazing voice would you have done? You did your your Scottish voice or your other Scottish voice? Why don't you just sing all of Kyle's dialogue? <laughs> that won't get a hoot. <laughs> hey there, this is Kyle. I'm not here. Right now. <laughs> and I'm here to say. <laughs> I'm not here right now, but go on and leave a message. <laughs> That's weirdly appropriate. <laughs> leave a message. I have this idea that like that, like Carl's the kind of person because we don't know anything about him other than he's reckless. But like he doesn't say, "Oh, Carl's also the kind of motherfucker to have a really stupid answer phone message." <laughs> I'm just picturing right hey, now. Hey, hey Carl, this is Kyle. Look, from now on, Carl has bright ginger hair in sort of like a jufro. He has rainbow <laughs> suspenders, <laughs> which is carrot top. <laughs> After that, the beep. Is... Can we make him poly sure? <laughs> Indicate. Oh yeah, it's a fucking live stream. Like, oh yeah, put that on the screen. <laughs> like, uh, after that, the beep indicating you could leave your message. Tom hesitates. Tom's wearing a furry butt plug. <laughs> Tom hesitated, but then he spoke. Hey Kyle, it's me, Tom. Just checking up on you again, for the fifty seventh time, probably. Listen, men, it's been like three weeks since we last spoke. Where are you? Anyway, me and a couple of the guys are going to go play some Smash later tonight. I think I'd like to smash you, Kyle. Wait, delete that. And I think it'd be cool if you tagged along with us. I really hope you get this. See ya. Hey, try doing a Picard voice. Uh, not Picard, a oh, uh, Kurt uh, voice. Money. Someone sent more, more money. Uh, and we're not even like using the term super chat now. It's just like I'm my money. <laughs> Thank you so much to JC Prinny. Uh, Ten bucks. Take a sip every time the crew goes off into a tangent. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing, guys. Love you all. Uh, love you too, buddy. Uh, the reason we're going off into so many tangents is because it distracts us from reading this fucking ass cancer. <laughs> we're not going to get through this tonight. Like even if we're That's here, what, till the stream some... is called part one. Yeah. To be fair. He ended the message, put the phone aside, and then looked at a framed picture of him and his friend Kyle back when they graduated and were having fun at the after party. Kyle in the picture was a bit taller than Tom, had shorter, more blondish hair, and at the time wore a red shirt with black jeans in the photo. Uh, excuse yeah. me, right in, the, in black jeans. In the photo, Tom and Kyle smiled at the camera and bro fisted each other during the photo. <laughs> right. You know what? Okay, aside from the connotations of fisted, yeah. which is very funny, I if the if if you call a fist bump bro fist, you're a cunt. I'm just yeah. saying it right. I'm calling it right now. Was it bro fist? What's his face? Is yeah, it? it's the PewDiePie. Okay, so, thing. okay so and by the way, he... everyone thinks we're we're really cringe for hating PewDiePie now because apparently because PewDiePie like fought the system, he's cool now. I'm what like, do you mean no, fought the system? Like his 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 chat his content is still garbage. Like. 
Right, just because so... he doesn't shriek the word rape at the top of his lungs while, while playing Amnesia anymore, suddenly his content's good. Like, no. Wasn't he the reason why you're not getting paid as much on YouTube anymore? Basically, yeah. Face it, cut. face it, Tom, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so I'll just, just, so, just so we know here, when there's a picture of them bro fisting, they're not actually fist bumping, they've just got each other's fists round up each other's arms. Yeah, yeah, of course. They've got their like, arms over each other, one, over, arm over, you know, one arm over the guy's shoulder, the other up each other's asses. Just, so I want proper, that. just butt to butt, legs in the yeah. air, just a fist in each other's rectum. Yeah. I'm sitting there thinking, that about, a great the, party. thinking about like the logistics of it. I think that's I think that's quite quite possible. Well, gymnasts and sex fiends. Yeah. Well, we don't know much about this guy, and then he's reckless. He's the type of guy to, to <laughs> recklessly take Shit. another man's fist up his anus. Like that's there's no reason to suspect that he wouldn't. <laughs> recklessly, t- <laughs> as opposed to the safe. Like, <laughs> I think there are safe ways you can do it. <laughs> So it's, just like, so it's just like um. We need Toby here. He's like the resident deviant. Like Toby, can you? Like, is there a safe way to take a man's entire fist inside your rectum? Right. I like that, you know to, to anything negative. We just make like, it. We go from like two hundred to twenty people. <laughs> Everyone's like, I'm leaving. I'm fucking done. I was with this ragging on Game of Thrones of pro Jared, but now that we get to man to man fisting, it makes me uncomfortable downstairs. It makes my trousers a bit too tight, and I don't want to question my lifestyle. <laughs> And then my wife's forced me into this polyamorous relationship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where the fuck even are we? Right, okay. Um, Tom and Kyle... Uh, no, Tom had always thought of Kyle as a brother. And looking back... That makes the fisting way worse. <laughs> looking back on that memory kind of made him feel a little sad. Not because of the memory itself, but because of Kyle's current absence. Tom resolved to check on his friend. Can I have one of those bottles of water? Sure. Um, Tom resolved to check on his friend if he didn't show up tonight. I also have one, please. Thanks. No. No girls allowed. <laughs> if, you, if I give you one of these, next thing you want is, you know, take away like uh, the bat suit. Here's what I don't get, right? Has anyone seen the, uh, the Batwoman trailer, right? You only you two have. The, the, she, she's like, oh, she puts on Batman's suit, yeah. like steals all his tech, steals his gig. Then gets mad and people start calling her Batman, and she's like, no, I'm not going to let a man take credit for a woman's work. I'm like, bitch, you literally stole like all his belongings. <laughs> and like. You know, you didn't do any of the work, and then just went out there and basically copied his idea. That's a that's a dumb that's a dumb trailer. After going to the, uh, after looking at the photo, he turned to look at his shelf, which was lined with some of the video games and movies he owned. Tom All Mac- of them Sonic. Oh, here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh god. Tom loved video games, and was a bit of a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, <laughs> like a lot of people. <laughs> Oh, what a callback. I mean, he's changed it from, like, everyone else, but to a lot of other people, it's still an exaggeration. When he says, like, he's a bit of a... Uh, oh, like God, it. here it is. Here it is. It's the same. It's the same. He liked the newer games, but also didn't mind the classics. You know, the, the only the ones... good that, ones. The only ones that don't suck. He never played any and of the... And Sonic Mania. Hacked, well, I think of that as a classic one, even uh, though it's hey, recent. He never played any of the hacked games that sprung up on the internet from time to time and never saw any real reason to do so. Maybe because most of those hack games are utter garbage or made for a joke. He saw Smash Brothers brawl among them. He got up and pulled the game (laughs) Does he like forces? Probably he's got his first sonar in it. And then placed it in front of the TV for when his friends came over. After that, he grabbed his laptop, sat back down on the couch and did a little bit of studying for next week. Later that evening, Tom's friends Roger and Mike showed up and, just as planned, they started playing Brawl together. Right, you're Roger, aren't you? I'm Roger. Roger asked. Say, Tom, Cal's still not a no-show. Was it showing up, is he? Tom sighed. <laughs> yes, I'm actually starting to worry. I'm going to go to his place tomorrow to see what's up. Who's Mike? That's the new guy. He's new guy. Oh, he's new, okay. Hi, I'm Mike. Uh, who wants to do Mike? I can do Mike, or you can do Mike, whatever. Was it? Good idea. Mike explained. If he hasn't been responding to you, your oh, calls. Oh, he's a pirate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. If he hasn't been responding to your calls. We've got to Good idea. If he hasn't been responding to your calls, then he should have at least given you a good reason to face him. Yar. <laughs> Else he'll walk the plank. Yar. I'm going to shoot this dragon. <laughs> I was going to fucking say that, ninja. <laughs> right. Tom then picked up the phone to order pizza for him and the guys. This is so, I don't care that they had pizza. Why would I give a shit? Can we just get to the evil Sonic, please, for the love of God? Rubbing his dick all over your face. 
It's like, it's like yeah, can we just get to the weird posts of like Sonic ch- sticking his feet in the camera? Like, hey, do you like that? You weird cunt. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. What was that that Sonic game? That, uh... The next day, Tom started walking down the hall to go meet up with Kyle, just as he promised. <laughs> Kyle's dorm room was a floor below Tom's, so it was normally easy for the two of them to meet up. Wait, so he hasn't seen his mate in three fucking weeks, and he's the like the floor <laughs> below you. Yes. The fuck! If I haven't seen Jacob for fucking two weeks, he's almost like a half hour train trip. But I'll make the fucking effort. Not the guy next door. That's like the laziest, but the typical. I was like, oh, we did say he was the average college student. What a completely lazy cunt. Like, uh, I haven't seen my best friend, the person I consider to be my true blood brother, and he lives downstairs from me. Were well, you too fucking busy? Uh, you know, somebody, you know, it's like I can just imagine, like, oh, a col- he, he lives on the other side of town or something, or like, or I don't know, he's volunteering it off in Africa. I a good fucking reason not to see him for three fucking weeks. The thing is, you know. If if you see somebody that you care about who's a friend that that you value over your real brothers that you would call a brother more so than your own flesh and blood then you ride north on the King's Road for a month <laughs> to the frozen wasteland of Winterfell <laughs> and you name that motherfucker Hand of the King that's what you do this this you were gonna say <laughs> lives di- I felt that would have been justified lives downstairs and he can't even be asked they're gonna knock can't, on the door you can't even say fuck again yeah. This fucker. This, the next day, t- fucker is not strong enough. Tom started walking. Well, the more cunts I throw out, like, the more chance of. Why did I censor myself uh, earlier? Um, the, the, the more chance we're getting demonetized for the stream. Uh, the hall to go meet up with Kyle, just as he promised. Kyle's dorm room was a floor below. Right. More money. With his hand- oh, thank you very much, Rhymelink Maneuver. <laughs> Five bucks. I'm a total bad crew. Wait, 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 wait. Did he name it after you? Yes. Uh, I'm a total bad crew, Buster fan. Much like everyone else. <laughs> Oh, That's Jesus. wonderful. I can't wait for S- Rayman to piss on Tom. Why is Rayman R. Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> this is not about music anymore! You fuck. Go, go to jail, you fucking degenerate sack of Make shit. It, he would just fly oh, away. Jesus the Looney Tunes would just break him out of jail. <laughs> 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 That's the prospect <laughs> oh, Kelly, these aliens are uh, challenging us to a rap battle. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> and then he's but... pissing on Lola Bunny. <laughs> I believe just like, it imagine like, like, like it's, it's just, it's just my boy Bugs Bunny cutting a hole in the bottom of the cell. Like, oh, we should have taken in the left turn at Albuquerque. Opens up, yeah. just R. Kelly getting weed on by six guys in his cell. Like, how do you like it? Thank you very much um, to uh, Aru Spice, Aura Spice, again. Uh, Five of whatever your currency is. If there's ever been an example of someone with no friends writing someone with friends, this is it. <laughs> the dialogue physically hurts. Thank you very much, Shadow White, with the two pounds. You're in for a wild ride, kids. Oh, my God. Uh, I was, uh, just, just another thing. I right, was thinking right, back... right. Let's see. Oh. Uh, what is this? Uh, piss week. Ten bucks. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Uh, the worst part of this story is that it exists. Yeah, it's just sad, right? It's sad that so, that like I the can guy, do it better. The guy who wrote the first two Sonic EXE stories obviously wasn't content, even though that motherfucker called the first one a masterpiece. Did he? When yeah. when he when he like spurged out on Fur Affinity when he was like, my masterpiece has been deleted from the wiki. Now if our like furry army like rises up and takes control of the internet and burns our enemies or whatever it was. Um, Are you making that up? I'm not. So like, you can look. Look, it's honestly. It's, I'm not gonna I, thought it was, I thought it was a joke when I read it. Then I remembered who wrote it. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Daddy Davros the Tumor, White Walkers, but they're furries. <laughs> yeah, they're, that honestly, like literally, this whole story is going about like how all the petty squabbles between the students don't really matter because there's an army of furries from just outside campus. Like, that everyone's ignoring. And then they instantly they get one guy's little sister just kills like, over... Kill the hedgehog, you... fucking... <laughs> the king, and then they have to deal with, like, some crazy bitch in the with dorm. With his hands in his pockets, he headed down the stairs and continued <laughs> oh, yeah, down this. another hall of doors until he reached the door that led into Kyle's dorm room. Yeah, one of my friends asked me to explain this show to him the other day, <laughs> and I was like, literally, bad group as it is, like... It's not really reading creepypastas, it's using creepypasta as a framing device for stupid jokes. <laughs> like, that's how our entire... That's, that explains college as well. That's yeah. how... Uh, well, so we didn't go there to learn, we just, just sit in a pub and make shit up. He knocked on the door, hoping his friend was there. Kyle, Tom called out. 
Are you there, dude? It's me, Tom. Silence. Tom do knocked. you, like, when you knock on, like, say your closest friend's oh, yeah. door, do you need to explain who it is? Ah, I don't know. Tom knocked again. Kyle. It's been three weeks, man. Come. This is stuff we already know. Why would you rest- tell this, like, to... Come on. Because he needs to pad out the story, because, like... It's not enough. Because he's so fucking autistic, More right? money. That every good story he's read is long, so he thinks that, to, uh, that like, a long story is therefore well, good. Well, Lord of the Rings is <clears throat> long, and people like Lord of the Rings, so... Five dollars from Colin. Thank you, Colin. Don't worry, even us furries can room a laughing stock. Well, if you're a furry, Colin, how do I give you a refund? Because your money is no good here. <laughs> ah, we don't take that. <laughs> yeah, you're one of the good ones. You're like a you're like a you're like a collaborator. Yeah, you know, you, like... you rat out the other furries <laughs> for our death squads. God, my throat hurts already. I might make a lemsky in a second. Nothing but absolute silence coming from the room. Maybe he's not in there. Tom thought conclusively. And he couldn't have gone to class. It's Saturday. Fuck's sake, man. Groaning in frustration, he decided to head back to his own dorm room. Heading back up the stair and down the hall to his room, just the one stair, Tom stopped and saw nothing <laughs> sitting there. That makes it even worse. It was, yeah, it was one step. It wasn't even, it was on a split level dorm. Like, dorms were just like, oh. Oh, I can't get, it's down the stair. I can't fuck. <laughs> I don't know if I can really be asked. I haven't seen my best mate in like, Three weeks, but there's that step. Just, oh yeah, it didn't mention that he's in a wheelchair <laughs> and like it's not accessible. And he's, uh, the lift's broken, so he's like, oh, I don't know. He's actually Bran Stark. <laughs> just gonna inherit the Iron Throne for some reason. Um, because literally everyone else is dead. <laughs> Heading back up the stair, all right. Tom stopped and saw something sitting on the floor, right at the door of his dorm room. It was a small package with a note attached to it. Tom looked at the package on the floor before picking it up, looking around as if to see if whoever left it oh, more money. was still around. Bad sentence. Thank you very much, Jenkmel. Two bucks. Thank you. Take my free super chat to buy a thing of bleach. I'm going to need one, mate. Thank you. I'm going to fucking need that bleach when this is finished. I bought bleach earlier. It Great. Just, just, dip, just pour it straight into my fucking eyes, would you? Okay. Then I'll do it. He went into his room looking at the package. The folded note had his name uh, had taped to the folded note taped to it had his name on it. Make more JoJo references. Again, we don't need this here. It let that come go. This package was for him. Taking the note, I'm, it, I'm, it's taking so much of my willpower not to be a child about the word package, <laughs> and they just keep fucking writing it. The big throbbing type package filled with dicks. <laughs> Taking the note and opening it, he began to read the letter. Oh, thank you very much. Make him an on demand. There's no we way. We got the best fucking <laughs> comment. Is not going to be as good as their username. Okay. Like, so, like, I, I don't really watch many like streams of like other famous like you know like YouTube personalities. But have they like yeah, the, the fucking Game Grumps or John John do a stream and have to get a message from Smegma on demand. <laughs> it's a very good, very good username. All right, the motherfucker says, "Is this the version of the story where Sonic turns out to be Kiro the Wolf?" I don't know who that is, but uh, uh, you know, thanks for the five bucks and your incredibly amusing username. Uh-huh. Okay, oh for fuck's sake, right? We're never gonna get through this. Okay, that's why it's part one. You taking said taking the note and opening it up, he began to read the letter. Much to his surprise, it was a letter written by Kyle, or at least he thought it was from Kyle. He saw the name on the bottom first. But wasn't yeah, it's sure. just don't Google Kyra. Do you ever go Google? Don't Google Kira the Wolf. I'm yeah. not. I'm not googling it. I am. I've seen some. Is it like some like? I imagine it's some degenerate. There's this degenerate on YouTube who's like a furry. He's a scaly because he like he who um he likes RPs as a dragon. And one of Bear his dragons. one of his videos is is called In Defense of Pedophiles. <laughs> And another one is called um, was it Why good? We Should Why We Should Bring Back Child Labor. And someone just put the two together on Twitter and was like, "Please tell me this guy doesn't have kids." <laughs> like, like, no, no one's gonna mate with that guy, are they? Did you watch In Defense of Peter Files? I want, like, what was his arguments? Oh, he's a dog rapist. Oh, that fucking guy. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh fuck's sake. Despite both of them being friends for years, Tom couldn't, for the life of himself, remember what Kyle's handwriting looked like regardless he continued reading 
to be fair like i don't know what most of my friends i know a lot of my colleagues at work's handwriting looks like i see it all the time but even then it's only the guys i, I end up doing yeah but are these like friends who are closer know. than brothers yeah like i yeah, but i don't know what your handwriting looks like i don't know what toby's looks like i know what Gemma's looks like but she lives in my house yeah but like how we don't go to college together and like yeah, take classes we true. did we did classes like what 10 years ago i probably would have been able to recognize your handwriting back then actually it started off pretty normal a hello how are you how does he get that answer how are you in a letter a regards to their friends and such a rather lengthy apology regarding kyle's absence was also included as the letter continued the writing seemed to grow more jittery as if kyle was writing the letter in a hurry he talked about why he was absent explaining that he found this great game he bartered from someone online and has been spending several days playing it. He said it was a video game that nobody had ever seen before. Sonic 2. And that he figured he'd the share sequel. this so-called wonderful game with Tom. He greatly emphasised that Tom should play it just to see how fun of a game it is. Ah, uh, there it is. There it is. Yay! Emphasised that Tom should play it to see how good it is. Again, mm. just was, guys. It's not hard. The letter ended abruptly. There was no goodbye. No say hi to their friends. <laughs> Again, like, just... That should be in quotations. Uh, no write back quotations. Or th quotations. Nothing like that. Just his name. Kyle Scott. Which isn't quotations that shouldn't be. Actually, I could, it's not that it shouldn't be, but it, it's more that it doesn't matter whether it is. But the, the other ones should be. Tom scoffed bitterly. Three weeks of not speaking to me, and this is your excuse, Kyle? <laughs> To Tossing fair, the letter aside. Like, friendship's a two-way street, mate. You could have gone downstairs. He unwrapped the package and opened it. Inside was a CD-ROM disc still in its case. There wasn't a cover or a label on what kind of game this disc was supposed to be. The case looked a bit worn out, but the disc itself looked clean, well-polished. No scratches. No spunk stains. It looked completely brand new. Uh, Superfluous uses the word completely there. Brand new implies that already. It didn't have a side that had cut... It didn't have a side that had a cover describing the game. On both sides, it was just that reflective plastic side. For fuck. Except upon closer examination, they were loafers. Tom could faintly see lines faded into both sides. Under the right line, one could only see... This is really frustrating to read. One could... Under the right light, one could see these four thick, slightly dark lines that went down. From the side of a disc to the centre. Is this faint, going to be important? Barely noticeable, but Tom saw them. It wasn't like someone drew these lines with a marker or carved them into the plastic of the disc. If anything, it seemed like the disc was just naturally made with this design. Oh. I'm English joke yeah. ten pounds. Ah, so it's not bread compatible. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Good um, one remembering that joke when none of us did. That's actually, there is a piece of fan art that's floating around of like a CD case with bread yeah. coming out of it, mm. which I've seen. Uh, oh, by the way, guys, if you do do fan art, please, please feel free to keep sending it because um, as, of season, as of season six, we're going to start including fan art at the end of every episode. So um, your, your fan art might get featured. So if you're the type to, to do fan art, please do keep sending it in. Yeah, there's been a bit of a lull in it recently, so so do because so yeah, do, 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 no, yeah, obviously it's, it's it's it's, ego, it's an e it, not just an ego thing, although it does help with our egos. But um, we're going to start including them in the video, so you know um, there's a slight incentive. Well, this <laughs> is that one picture that I hate. Yeah, but everyone's seen that one where where Matt's got no hands for some reason. You know what? Well, it's got like us. Yeah, it's like a little bit like anime almost, and a bit like Matt, like looking like coward. Yeah, like T Toby's got like, yeah. you've got a fireball or sword. No, I've got a sword. Like Toby's to got a fireball. Toby's like and a pyromancer. And just like, <laughs> so yeah. fuck that guy or whoever drew it. It looked like there was an X on the CD. An X? Tom thought with a scoff. He put the disc down. He was sure Kyle was just pulling some kind of prank on him. Yeah, hilarious prank. A disc with an X carved in. Oh, it what looks if... like the disc is wrong. Whatever the disc is. <laughs> so Next dumb. time on Bad Creamy Buster. <laughs> Jim, I won't be joining us. <laughs> and we'll be doing it from a different place because Jack had moved out in disgust. I. I I, 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 you know what? I've still got some energy left in me, but I was actually about to like fucking shut the stream down there as well. How long have we been going for? Because we uh, keep going for a How while. long have we been going? Um, over an hour. Yeah, let's keep, let's keep going. 
Jacob, because we're barely, barely made a dent. Yeah, and in all fairness, it's like it's not like it's not like this is beneath us. Like, this is what we do. <laughs> like, okay. <clears throat> Tom felt angry for three weeks. Kyle hadn't spoken to him, and Kyle, and Tom's punk ass couldn't be asked to go down one stair. For three weeks, Kyle spoke to him, and now he wanted him to play this game disc that most likely didn't, couldn't even do anything. Fuck you, man, Tom said to himself. No, to Kyle, presumably. Uh, crumpling the letter up and throwing it away, leaving the disc on the table as he went to go take a shower. <laughs> Remove the word go, it's not needed. Let's Suffice to say, he yeah. was at his limit with Kyle. And why not? It's just going to be a hundred parts, yeah. Kyle was practically being... A... <laughs> there it is! There's, there it is, folks! Now you know it's really JC the Hyena. Okay, JC... If you, if you, for some reason, stumble onto the stream, I want you to know I'll this. Get this far, I'll get power into it. This is not what practically means. St every one of your fucking stories. I swear this happened. I know it happened a bunch of times in in round two. I swear it happened in the Inugami story as well. Yeah, it did. St stop using practically incorrectly. Practically means. Sort of almost, you know? If I'm... Uh, oh. Matt was screaming so loud in my face. Like, uh, you practically my, were deaf. Like, uh, yeah. He practically made me deaf. Or like, he uh, was shouting so loud. I practically hit him. Thank you for the for the pound. Cat star. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, but practically... Like, when someone is... It's just super... Carl was being unreasonable. Like, it wasn't... Pra he was just being unreasonable. He wasn't practically being anything. Ugh. <sighs> Not speaking to him or anyone else for that matter for weeks. And now this. He couldn't. I'm getting my really sore throat. I have to keep like whispering. Sorry, I'll get close to the mic. <clears throat> he couldn't even talk to Tom himself if he really wanted him to play the so called great game. Nope. Tom wasn't going to play along with this. Not this time. You're wrong. Nope. Not a chance. Not this time. Not a chance. It's made up. It's an urban legend that never happened. These thoughts buzzed around in Tom's head. I picture like a fly in just this empty kind of like like skull. It's the skull like the Simpsons where he zooms on Tom's head. It's like a little cartoon like cow playing a fiddle or something. <laughs> it's one of those monkeys with the symbols. <laughs> yeah, Tom never came across as smart in the in the previous stories, did he? But now he's at college and he's got the door on. He's a uh, he, he Naruto runs everywhere. As the hot water washed. In his trench coat. Never had he felt so angered or betrayed by his own friend. Wow, I want this guy's life. But that anger started to subside after a while in the water, before being replaced by a new feeling. Concern. Thank you, Catstar. Two pounds. Will your fan art be involved in the porn ban? What? That's a very strange question. Uh, there's supposed to be some sort of like porn ban happening in the UK. Luckily, there is precisely zero fan art of ours that you could uh, constitute as porn, at least to the best of my knowledge. Uh, on the Discord, I think people actually did go out and look for it. It doesn't exist, so Take I'm not gonna. Internet. I'm not gonna worry too much about our fan art getting affected by this so-called porn ban. Right, you need a license for porn or something like that. Was I? Yeah, you got What's a. Yeah, you got a license for that erection. They're gonna start like making it like anti Viagra every day. It's just gonna turn it equilibrium, but like the porn, ver the porn parody. So we is what's that game? We happy few. Where it's like remember to take your joy. It's gonna be, remember to take your misery. Yeah. Don't don't jack off, will you? I remember your vote counts. Um, the more he thought about it, Tom began to realize the strangeness of it all. He had known Kyle personally for years. For as long as Tom remembered, Kyle was almost never busy for him. What? And person uh, and practically hung out with him almost every chance he got. Again, so practically could work here because you you actually mean it correct, but because you've put almost again, pra practically doesn't work here. So you fucked yourself. Congratulations, you played yourself. The idea of Kyle being too busy for anything outside his dorm room was starting to sound more ridiculous. Let alone being too busy for his friends. More concerning thoughts began to pop up in Tom's head as he continued washing himself. <laughs> Scrubbing his taint. What if something really was keeping Kyle busy? He gasped as he slipped a finger really, in his arse he, out. He's thinking a lot about Kyle while he's washing himself. <laughs> oh, Kyle, as he's... I'm really concerned about 
Kyle as I just rub this <laughs> lotion all over my genitals. <laughs> Back when we were boys and I tricked him to scrub my taint that one time. All the... Was just, just Gemma just sliding in here with all the subtlety of a recent Game of Thrones episode. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you very much, uh, Kate, for the... Uh, Jim Jam, you read. For the one ninety nine. Tom has the big gay for Kyle pass it on. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. Like, there's, there's no doubt in my mind. He's just... He's just like touching himself but, in the shower, like. But, so he, does that mean he's Ooh, saving up Kyle, three weeks? My boy Kyle, I wish you were here with me. In the shower. In the darkness of the shower, where the only light comes from my heart. <laughs> I want to feel your dark heart with light. What if he was studying for extra credit? Tom corrected himself as he knew Kyle wasn't exactly the ambitious student, so it couldn't possibly be for that reason. Maybe Kyle had family problems. I know this since we were friends personally for a long time. Well, it seemed more we likely... We were friends that... personally for a long time. Yeah, yes, he said, personally. Whilst it seemed more likely that, than extra credit, it also couldn't be the case, as Kyle never did seem to have a close relationship with his own folks, at least not enough to leave college to help him out. Thank you, Piss Week. Um, he says... I'm willing to believe Tom is a neckbeard. Yeah, absolutely. What like we mentioned at the beginning was like, he said, long hair down to his neck. And like, it was his long neck length hair. And I, I missed off the word length. So in, in, immediately my, my thought was, um, uh, you know, long neck hair. Um, s- sneaky, uh, two pounds. Thank you. Very, very nice of you, Sneaky. Reading this, I had an irrational thought. All right. You want to share that? Or? No, I, I, I get it. It's a, it's a I hate you uh, reference. Maybe he was seeing someone. A date, perhaps. Oh, he's jealous! Tom (laughs) never bothered to look into Kyle's personal life, but it'd be amazing if Kyle actually did find love. Darker thoughts began to appear in Tom's mind the more he thought about it. (laughs) It really does sound like a jilted lover. Did something happen to Kyle? Suddenly it's like Yandere Simulator. No, that couldn't be the case. If he was found in a ditch somewhere, it could have at least hit the news. I would have thought, like, hey, so, like, someone below you has been murdered. Like, maybe the door manager or where the fuck they have in, like, American colleges would have informed him. Like, oh, yeah, a uh, guy from downstairs, you know, like, floor 3C, dead. Uh, so you got a new room, mate. Still, the idea that something happened to Kyle lingered in Tom's mind. He remembered the letter that came with the disc. You read it. Five minutes ago. <laughs> I think I remember it. It's like, there's mother. Or is he still in the shower? I don't know. So like, he's, he's he's just washing himself, right? So, the, the the latest this could probably be is him like drying his long ass fucking neck hair, right? He's like blow it. He's like blow dry on his neck, and he's going, hold up. What about that letter? And fucking black and white flash, like anime flashback time that happened ten minutes ago. As he dried himself off, oh, yeah, that, that, yeah. As he dried himself off, he began to realize how weird it all was. No, you you saying anime flashback? Can we just like? Can we just all imagine that they just look like Sasuke and Naruto from now on? <laughs> the way it was written seemed <laughs> off. <laughs> they run over the cottage cat. Remember that video, that cringe video you watched about the guy who just ran everywhere at his cottage with like doing the Naruto run. Oh my god! It was. It was like Kyle had completely lost his mind as he wrote it. Tom the way it kept, to believe it. The way it kept, it kept going on about how great the game is and how jittery the handwriting seemed. Tom had thought about going around campus to ask if anybody who knew Kyle noticed if he was being strange three weeks prior, but he decided against it as he began to considerably the, consider the possibility of getting no leads out of it. Kyle, what a fucking detective. Kyle wasn't exactly Mr. Popular in college. Hell, he didn't even gain any notoriety in high school. Why did he? Like, like, notoriety, like, like, in, like in good around company, like in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, I was just thinking, like, is this like an American thing? Like, oh, you're notoriety, like, oh, we always remember, like, fucking, I, I just like makes sense. It just doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. The next day. Tom sat in his dorm room, thinking about what could have happened to Kyle. Didn't not bother to go down to check, knock on the door again, or asking someone about like why this person hasn't been seen for three weeks. 
It was like, however, all thoughts about the letter and Kyle's disappearance went by the wayside as Tom heard a knock on the door. Thinking it might have been one of his friends, he walked toward the door and opened it. You walk. You just opened the door. Got on the floor. Walk the dinosaur. That was it. That was a thing we we said once. It once. Was, <laughs> fucking once. <laughs> it wasn't. We've not let it go for like a year and a half. It wasn't one of his friends. It was a one man. One of his enemies. <laughs> it was. A, <laughs> it was Darth Vader. <laughs> it was a man. An average size, somewhat lanky looking man. And that was a thing we said. But you weren't there. <laughs> yeah. And I'm saying as a sort of a right. collective. Yeah. Don't, you weren't part of the fucking crew. Alright, don't fucking Arya Stark this shit you're not involved in. Alright? <laughs> don't be leaping up. Leaping up behind Slime Beast and stabbing him with Dragon Glass. Alright? You weren't fucking there. Okay <laughs> then. Any of that shit. Yes, I know that. Jacob wasn't finished with his business. He's, he's, <laughs> I just, I, there's a line of shit just comes straight out the toilet into the living room. Because I had to correct your ass. <laughs> now he needs to go clean his. Anyway. <laughs> After Gemma's been put back in a fucking place, which funnily enough isn't the kitchen or the back cave. It was a man. An average size, somewhat lanky looking man, somewhere in his late 20s. He had brown... He had a brown, untidy comb over. Oh God, in his late 20s? And a five o'clock shadow. And wore an open suit jacket. White shirt and a green necktie. Is it Derek, someone says it's uh, Derek Green. Hands in his pockets, looking a bit disgruntled. Please be Derek Green. The man looked at Tom and then oh, spoke. Sorry. That's my foot, but sorry, it's still so caps anyway. All right, shall I jump back in now? Yeah, I do think, that. I yeah. think my, uh, do it, I'll, be, I'll play, I'll play, stallion. I'll play the guy that's coming up. So. <gasps> you pro Jared. Thomas Miller. <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> Thomas Miller. Tom hesitated and responded. Most, call, most people call me Tom, but yes. <laughs> what does that matter right now? <laughs> but you can call me Tom. I, I like the casual. The man then pulled out what Tom could identify as a, as a dick. As, as a detective's badge. Detective Derek Green, City Precinct. Are you friends with one Kyle Scott? Tom froze. But, it could have been worse. He, he could have said, were you friends with... <laughs> Tom froze. Were you friends with a victim? <laughs> the absolutely splattered victim? I mean, Jesus Christ. And he died screaming. Look at him. I've never seen a man die in such a horrible way. <laughs> a painful sexual death. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Tom froze, and his concerns began to resurface. Kyle, uh, y- yeah, yeah, I am. The detective sighed and bit his lips as he was trying to find the right way to say something. Look, uh, it's probably best if you come with me. You want to live. With that, a very confused Tom followed Detective Green down the hall. So how long have you known Kyle, Tom? Green asked. Uh, since high school, Tom replied. Without even looking at Tom, Green then asked. And when was the last time you spoke with him? Tom was growing more and more confused. Uh, almost three weeks, sir. Um, listen, what's going on? Green pulled out a small book and started writing into it as that it was his diary. <laughs> <laughs> he starts narrating out loud. Dear diary. This kid, this kid had practically been murdered. Oh, thank God he's okay. Um, oh, oh, is that what practically means? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I'd okay. like to talk about how I never went to school properly and don't understand the difference between practice and actually... He continued to speak to Tom. We had a call not too long ago today about an unsanitary odour going on in dorm room 231, Kyle Scott's dorm room. The door was locked from the inside, so somebody is responsible. <laughs> Murdered, and somebody is responsible. And had to bust it down just to see what was causing the smell. Wait, was he actually dead? Or was he just in a coma? We're going to find out, I'm sure. As they went down the stairs, Tom asked rather reluctantly, And why did you come to me about it? Green then spoke more grimly, more hesitantly. (laughs) Well, you're his best friend, and uh, 
It's probably best you see for yourself. Like, why is he being so cagey like this? Kid's freaking the fuck out. He, he still hasn't established if Kyle's alive or dead. It turns out it's a practical joke. It's your birthday. You forgot we had this guy pretend to be a detective. By the time they reach, also, the... also, like, I'm not an expert on police, pro, uh, po- you know, police procedure, but um, is like in for like a uh, your. So I'm sorry. So your best friends, like, is that the person you inform immediately? Like, uh, you know, all his, um, you know, like, tell his closest uh, family that he's dead. All right, we'll start with his best friend. Jacob? Right. By the time. Must, thank you. By the time they reached the corridor that had Kyle's door, Tom could see several police officers, students, and a few reporters. He's with me, Green said to a couple of cops as they headed what? towards. Why are there so many people inside this oh, just presumably corridor? Couple or... cops. Said to a couple cops <laughs> as they headed towards Kyle's door. Why would there also be reporters here already? Sure enough, it was busted open. Inside, Tom saw a very unsettling sight. Kyle's dorm room was a mess. Ah! It looked like it hadn't been taken care of in weeks. It was dark. Several pieces of furniture had been knocked over, and mould was growing in some areas. The food in the fridge was rotting terribly, and the overall room just stank something awful. Tom could spot Kyle's computer sitting on his desk, open, turned off, and with the screen cracked. A photographer was taking pictures of the whole scene, and two other people were managing a gurney that had a body laying on it. A white sheet draped completely over the body. Tom's blood ran cold when he saw the body on the gurney. Green walked towards it, stopping the two men from carrying it away too slowly. Uh, tearing it away to show Tom. He stared at the covered body, dreading upon dread on who could be under that sheet. Oh, what? I, I wonder. It's Baloo the bear. Green looked at Tom's face and, with unease within himself, flipped the sheet over and revealed the corpse that stared mindlessly back at Tom. This, I'm sure this is not procedure. The skin was pale, white, eyes wide and foggy, the short blonde hair on his head unkempt, and blood stains in his mouth, agape, as if the jaw bones had been snapped off. It was Kyle. Dun 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 dun! Who saw that coming? Also, I'm very sure that, uh, you know, so we've just found the body, you're his best friend, we thought we'd come to you first, here's what he looks like. Yeah, like, that's weird, right? Surely, I, I don't think you identify the body at the crime scene. I don't. Think, I don't think that's how that works. It does not work like that. No, it does not. And I don't think like the first person you go to is his best friend. Like you know, like the the nebulous best friend relationship. Like oh, like you know, you know, who's his like mo- mother, father, brother, sister? Like, what, what like what point do they go to best friend? He was yeah, in perfect weird, health. Right? Except for the fact he was dead. I'm going to have a look at the chat now because we've, we've, we've read like what is effectively part one of the story. Um, the first chapter. Even though I have I've skipped ahead and I know that this, this whole thing ends with end of chapter one. Even though chapter two begins here. I know it's confusing. Um, ah! thank, you, thank, thank you for that, Gemma. Uh, hey, I didn't turn up my volume. You did. You turned up, turned down. No, I don't think I would do that. You did. Nope. You had my phone for a while. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, nope, that's the thing you made up. Right, so let's have a have a, have a look at the chat then. The shit on the walls. There's no poo. <laughs> there's there's nothing of the sort. There is no excuse for this. Bloody hell! Two hundred and forty-five people. My we goodness. We've had up to. Uh, I've seen uh, two fifty-six. Wow. Yeah, we, we had, uh, we've had two seventy or something at one point. Well, we must have been doing, doing something wrong to lose all them. It's probably just the, the constant racism. No, we cut that out usually. Well, the thing is, this is live. We can't cut it out. Oh, son of a! Thank you very much. The top, the top, the top, the top, the killed Kyle. Yeah, no, wait, we've got to come up with like you know, like instead of making up um, a bunch of weeaboo anime Seven Guardians, he's just picked out creepy back characters. So Sonic <laughs> is Topla. He represents the sin of rippling muscles. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you guys think, like, what? You, you guys thought that was the end? You thought like a fucking idiot. We are now about an eighth of the way through the story. There, right. This is why this is the part one stream. That was chapter one. Chapter part one. Are we going to kill it here or... Uh, I think I to... think perhaps we should. Um, Wait till time gets in, then we start with chapter two. See, what's chapter, how far chapter three? I think chapter two is not very long. 
Well, let's leave it. Shall we put it to a, a vote from the audience? It's already six thirty. Is my concern. Okay. I ain't got nothing to do. Uh, you know what? Chapter two is very short, though. But we keep stopping to talk shit. Let's, let's no, try. Let's try. And, let's, let's try and not. Uh, let's try and. Kyle, let's... the newest. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the five bucks. Um, Kyle, the newest victim of instant death disease. <laughs> oh no, he said it. Everyone in the chat's dead. All this... And more money. Valerie, thank you very much, Daddy Davros. Valerie, Valerie Hudson, the god of repetition. <laughs> dude, there's 14 chapters. My boy, there's 14 chapters, my dude. What the fuck? We just read the prologue in chapter one, and this has been like, all right, how long? When they been... say chapters, do they mean each, we... like, like the bits, we, like the parts here, or the, this entire bit is, he says it's one chapter. Yeah, but they, so... this, it's, I don't, it's just, a, I think it's a mistake when it's in chapter one. We've been at this for like fucking almost 90 minutes. This is mental. I can't, I cannot believe how, how far this so is. So on to uh... chapter two, People part saying... two. People are saying, finish it. All of it in one go. We'll be here for like. Yeah, it'll take it right up to the airing of the of the uh, Game, of of Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> we should have turned this into like a charity event. <laughs> Can you imagine? It's like raising money, imagine? raising money for dragons that have been abused <laughs> by scorpions. Is it ra- raising money for like for for authors of great books that have been abused by TV writers? So thank you very much, Catstar uh, Sonic the EXE Part Two: The Two Towers. Oh my god. To be honest, it would take less time to read the Bible. I don't know. I, do you like, think, if we're, we're commenting about yeah, it. Yeah. Like, because if it's Old like, Testament, there's some zingers in there. This is better Remember. than Game of Thrones. I mean, I, normally, the, a couple of years ago, that would have been a high compliment. But uh, I've got a ton of fucking Snapchats all of a sudden. I bet they're all just dick pics. I've sent my one. I can't believe it's taken an hour and a half just to read the first chapter. I know. Ah. Oh. This is JC's magnum anus. So this is the start to season what? Whatever season we're on. Six. Six. So is this when it starts to go downhill? Yeah. Yeah. This is no. This is the Toby Mitchell redemption arc. He's not in the first episode. Uh. So like, does this mean we're gonna each um like? So we're gonna have to wait till uh, season seven to get to chapter two of this. Each bit is the start of a new season, so more incentive to stick. Season, yeah, season six is when we run out of book material. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're done reading. We'll um, we'll talk shit for a bit, and then I'll make some food. But um, we've got two hundred people here, so yeah, I might as well entertain them. Um, scoop, diddy, poop, whoop, diddy, scoop. There you are. That's my song. Um, it's similar to a song by Kanye West. I feel like in a couple of years we're going to get Sonic.exe, the remake Brotherhood. <laughs> this is where they finally get it right. This story is practically god awful. <laughs> This this stream has practically gone on for an hour and twenty seven minutes. When's part two reading? Fuck knows. I'm moving mad volume. I can't be all about schedules and shit. What do you think this is? A, pro- a an actual YouTube channel people give a piss about? Oh, oh, we're going for a while. Good lord! Thank you very much. Uh, wow, cow queen, great name. Fifteen bar. Good lord. I may enjoy. I in. Watching you guys suffer from reading awful creepypastas, but you at least deserve something from your trouble. Definitely joining if you do another live stream of this. Well, thank you. That's extremely kind of you. Yeah, thank and, you so um, much. Yeah, I absolutely will be doing another one. I don't doubt. I don't doubt it. Uh, I expect, uh, as always happens with uh, multi-parters, the numbers will dwindle between them. Um, you know, but I don't. You know, it's, yeah, you don't do it for big. You know, yeah. Up yeah like, well, uh, we said we'd stopped reading. That's the thing. We lo- yeah, we lost thirty people when I said we'd stop reading, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, but the thing is, you know, we're not doing it for huge numbers or whatever it's like obviously it's cool when that happens because it's like it's like an ego thing but it jumps and, up and it like makes the, it makes the um, the chat a bit more you know uh, exciting but uh, regardless you know so long as someone shows up I mean they're, they're worth doing oh, and some, well, we'll all female cast that. remake of the bible I wouldn't so I, I you know I think that the, sounds like a fucking porno parody. I, th- I feel like the I feel like the BBC would actually make that <laughs> do you know what I mean like they this is why I don't pay my license because this is the kind of shit they actually make also because you don't watch TV. That's true. No, I refuse to pay my TV license. Because uh, I think it's fucking stupid. So there it is. The Discord has just come up there. Um, 
JC Prinny posted well, it. Since you don't actually use it, then. And Denny Davros has posted it as well. Uh, I've had I've had the licensed people round at my house before when I used to live in Scotland. So. They're, they're quite threatening, aren't they? Mind you, I asked them to come round once because I was like, uh, at my old house, I couldn't get a, I couldn't get a TV signal. So I was like, listen, guys, not only will I pay my, if you send somebody round, if they can tune in my TV for me, not only will I pay yeah, my uh, license, uh, I'll pay one, them. We stopped uh, reading because we reached a, a you know a, a satisfying conclusion to the story. Game of Thrones sucks. Game of Thrones sucks. There's <laughs> what you need to talk about. Was it? Was it? Uh, was it again? That yeah. Um, the joke about the goblin from uh, was it the bug eyed goblin was just some guys uh, made a video and I was watching it just playing it really loud and goes yeah we managed to uh, get the actor was it Gendry's actor to uh, you know think he was a really good actor because he was there was it um. Oh yeah, he was able to, to act like Arya Stark was super hot. <clears throat> All right, if you saw part one. Good for you. If you didn't, um, well, go and watch part right. one. Hopefully, you'll still have a good time. Yep. Should we do a recap of what just happened in the uh, previous episode? Previously on Sonic EXE. Was it? Was it Tom? Was it Tom found his boyfriend Carl dead, or was it the other way around? One or two. Either one. They're both boring. Derek Green, the worst detective in the world, took someone to go look at Gork at the crime screen, um, uh, crime scene. Uh, Gemma totally tried to Arya Stark it and. Jacob wants to say the N-word like three times, so that's now you caught up. Now, as best as I remember, um, yeah, so one of the really weird things about part one here was the detective wanting the friend to identify the body at the, right, at the, at the, at the cr- active crime scene. <laughs> it was just one of those weird, like, JC the Hyena idiosyncrasies, those JC-isms, basically, where he's like, yeah, I have no idea how, uh, you know, how the investigation works. works. Yeah. I've never even bothered to watch a procedural drama, so... Yep. Nope, you've only just... The, the live stream has only just started. Yeah, we haven't even started reading Chapter 2 yet. And did they sell Toby into white slavery again? No, he went away on his own accord. <laughs> yes. He just can't get enough of uh, of it, so he like, sold himself back into white slavery. I mean, if we hadn't already used the white slavery, we'd, it would have been a great time to say we traded Toby in for the microphone. <laughs> so the, the mic is great, no background noises, just your voices. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And um, we've actually got it sort of, it, it may pick up a little because there's three of us around the mic, so I have mm. set it up to capture some background so that it's not quite so isolated. Just so I'll so say it's cut out for It'll be my voice, uh, and then it's yeah, just, just you guys not being being heard so you may hear some cars driving past and things but hopefully it'll be a tremendous improvement on the on the snowball which you were right, some guy said uh, that background guy said that the mic's cutting out is it just anyone else or is it just him yeah everyone's saying it's great okay so it's just that or one guy internet connection then yeah will Toby ever read any of these chapters if we can get him around yeah I mean he time. was supposed to be on for this one like everyone's asking if Toby's going to read it soon I'm like yeah uh, he, we he, have to come out and tell that Toby's actually dead and we should keep him quiet Go, could you imagine, like, like what would you do? Would, would we be like, oh, you know, traditional about it, like, yeah, Toby's dead, really, it's like a tribute video, or would we like try to keep it under wraps? I don't know. What would you have done last year? Oh, but that's different, you know. That wasn't Toby. Yeah. Yeah. How many times has Jacob that was what I was thinking? Yeah, I was literally one of the thoughts. I was, you know, lying in hospital, half crazed out my mind on coma and drugs, like. What are they going to do about the show if I died? I do remember at one point when you were like recovering, you were like, don't tell the fans I'm ill. I was like, okay. Yeah, and you'd already send it Instagram or something. No, like I that. took a picture and I didn't put it anywhere. And I oh, I should probably tell you, Matt, that this is trending on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> but we hadn't actually did, done anything with it. I don't it. actually remember saying to not tell them. No, I, you did, but you were pretty. You were still pretty fucked. Like, this was like the first time I saw you like after you were out of the coma. De- de- deplorabology, we didn't lose 8K subs. That's... Never have that's not that's something we've never had. We've still got the same amount of subs as we had. Like why did someone think we lost eight k subs? I don't know. Um, Are you still twenty eight k on? It's still it's still twenty eight k. It's like twenty twenty eight and a half. Like we've not lost any subs. It's, I mean we have lost a couple. Uh, any games you like to e three? Uh, I literally I was basically ignoring e three up until today when I was like, oh yeah, e three happened. Like, all right, and there's like, okay, so uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, there's a new one coming out. I like look of Cyberpunk, even though I didn't actually see any gameplay, but I know I hear The Witcher was really good, and I like Cyberpunk, so. Yeah. Uh, Gemma, can you put this on the Facebook? Yeah. Um, no, we have never had 36k. <laughs> um, I'm pr- 
pretty sure that if we did get 30k, I'm pretty sure Jacob would have made a video. Yeah, that's... that's what it, well, I mean, you forget that I'm very lazy. You are very lazy. Should be fair, I would have said even writing it on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. When I was a boy, my dad used to say, Michael Caine, you will grow up to have many subscribers. One day, I lost 10 subscribers. I went into the analytics to see all these deleted accounts. Google had been throwing them away. <laughs> see, Jen, we're just Je- fucking that, creasing up at that was a stupid <laughs> joke. Uh, uh, you were, uh, do you see the Bethesda thing? Like Todd Howard just come out and pretend that his company is no, slapping the fucking No, I did brain. hear that apparently Bethesda got, had like hired people in the front two rows to like clap really loudly and everybody else was like silent. That, yeah, I can stand that. But that, are you sure? Because they would have like ha- hired the wrong sort of people to clap or something like that. They were white supremacists or so they were dressed in clan. That would somehow fuck it up. Someone made a great example. I can't remember what the video was, but it was basically um, hey, do you remember, like here's like here's Bethesda when Skyrim came out, and like oh twenty dollars, what's that? Twenty pa- like twenty dollars for a new DLC for like a six hour campaign and an entire new area. Oh man, that's great. Now uh, today Bethesda, like, what's that? Twenty dollars for some cri- like a Christmas outfit. One ninety nine. Thank you very much. Verd the Verdi, Verd the Star Warrior. Thank you. Here you can keep the one dollars. <laughs> that's ninety nine cents. Thank you. Oh my God, it's Sonic Eve in my house. It's really Thanos. Thanos, you guys. God, that was fucking awful. I drank, I drank, I drank the eight Pennywise potion. The eight Pennywise potion potion from the. I'm coming in because someone in the chat mentioned Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It's the fucking greatest movie ever. It is. I'm going back to the coffee. Yeah. I, I, we took Logan yesterday for his birthday, and Godzilla was, uh, oh, he, it was so amazing. I, I can't believe how good, how, how good it was. Yeah, they took him to the, to the uh, 90, was it the one, with, you know, uh, deeper underground with uh, Matthew Broderick. You saw that one. <laughs> seeing it for a sec, seeing it a second time in the cinema was really great. Yes. Jacob. Yeah, it's still the best one, but it's the best Western one. This one. This is the best Western Godzilla film. So it's slightly late to me replying because I heard you through my phone, not through the actual door. Yeah, um, Jacob, did they have Jamira quite at the end of this? Uh, I'm no indifferent. God, call help! Send help! Something's gonna get me, and I can't feel the left side of my body. You know, it's, 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 it's a serious condition. In the middle of the, the like, you seen the video because he's like dancing through like the yeah. um thing. In the middle, he just has a stroke because you know giant dinosaurs attacking the city, and he decides to sing and dance during a movie theater that's being destroyed. Thank you very much for your patience. Now you need your time movie. to begin. Chapter two. Electric Chapter two. two. Shock. That was all Tom had felt as he sat in the quiet interrogation room. <laughs> because the policeman was like, It's the body of your friend! Is that him? Is this bloated, blood-stained, semen-filled corpse? Is this who he is? That's because what... he's the worst fucking policeman in the history of the world! Because that's what the show is all about, folks. Shock. Alone. Numb with shock. As he sat in the silence, his mind tried to reel back and remember what had happened more than an hour ago. A detective named Green had visited him. He was brought into Kyle's room, which the cops had to break into and turned out to be completely derelict for three weeks. And he, Tom, had seen what had become of his friend Kyle when a policeman took him to an active crime scene. He could still vividly remember the look of horror upon Kyle's face, the jaw hanging uselessly from its sockets, the eyes wide, dead and empty. Mouth filled. <laughs> just thinking oh. the same thing. Just literally gallons of semen. Just pouring out of him like a sponge. <laughs> yeah. like it's been squeezed. Yeah, like De- Derek Green goes over to him, like, you know, does the thing like, you know, with like a, you know, you, you dip your hands in the blood. He does that to the semen. Tastes like hedgehog semen to me. <laughs> what? Why do you do that? How do you know what hedgehog semen tastes like? Don't you mind? I'm, test- the great, I'm the ace detective. Ace detective! You brought me to an active crime scene. Kyle's testicles were throwing them away. By the way, guys, have you ever seen an echidna penis? No. It's the weirdest fucking thing in the world. It's super creepy and gross. <laughs> Alright, I unfortunately, <laughs> like, okay, so is it, 
This is gonna be a weird question. Is it like a pig's penis and quirk surely? No, it's like five pronged. Five. I know a snake's is thought. Now a female echidna only has room for for two prongs. So what the additional three or four is that is unclear uh, to me. But and uh, like um, moral support. Well, the other one, this is like it's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> Tom had been sitting in the dark. Yeah, yeah. Looking at the polished table ever since. He still couldn't well register what he had seen, what felt like. He still couldn't well register what he had seen, what felt like minutes ago. Great sentence. That Brilliant. Is, yeah. How did he not see the signs? How did he not consider the possibility that his own friend? Had been dead for three weeks <laughs> because he is a lazy cunt who could be brought to go downstairs and not. Oh, I forgot about that. He he's lived down down the... like, he's the floor above. Was like a single step. The like coroner a... was throwing him away. <laughs> <laughs> throwing it down the river. <laughs> the coroner. It's like a week later, I saw a back the size of my friend car. <laughs> the hedgehogs had been throwing him away. <laughs> had been tossing his salad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he believed does that sometimes make you feel great though like there are about a hundred people who are willing to put us talking about a man who've been who've been bummed to death by his hedgehog uh, semen <laughs> I was, I'm, I'm actually a little mad at myself for the for the for, for the image of squeezing him like a sponge so I'm picturing it and it's so super gross for three weeks he believed probably hoped that Kyle was merely busy that something kept coming up and he had to cut classes in order to deal with it but no Kyle was not busy at all you apparently were he was dead no he's dead he was dead mate he's fucking dead look Yes, my friend Kyle. Can I speak to him? No, he's dead. <laughs> Tom snapped out of his increasing depression as he saw the door open. Detective Green walked into the room, carrying a cup of coffee. <laughs> Following behind him was a dark-haired woman that looked younger than Green, wearing a hot pink vest over her white button shirt and dark blue jeans. That's a fashion disaster. Green gave the coffee to Tom. Here, you look like you need to go pick me up. Master Tom. As Tom took the coffee and sipped it, he and the woman sat down with him. Green across from him and the woman beside him. All right. Introductions. Tom, this is my sister, Sarah. She's Chelsea. not actually a policeman. I just thought I'd bring her along to a fucking crime scene as well. What happened to Chelsea? Alan, was this... I just remembered, yeah, was this was Chelsea found. Yeah. Um, he paused as Tom shook the woman's uh, hand. She is part of the investigation I'm working on. You could never tell with Tom, because, you know... Me? I suppose. A pleasure to meet you, Tom! Sarah Green said. Then, with the tone of warm concern... She, it's warm concern, forgive me. She asked. Are you feeling okay? Tom couldn't respond. He felt his face heat up as he looked at his <laughs> coffee cup. It, well, the problem was, Tom, you've put the coffee cup on your face, <laughs> mate, and it's full of hot liquid. But... Like, are, are you alright? Because <laughs> I'm perfectly fine. It's not like I just found out my friend was dead because, you know, I hadn't checked up his rigs and I'd just seen his body because someone showed it to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've never seen it. Like, I'm, the, I'm just a normal day, day, everyday college student. I've never been expecting to go, here's the body, can you identify? It may be hard because of the love holes that have been drawn. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry about what happened to your friend, Tom. <laughs> Sarah Green said... You're still laughing at love holes. <laughs> Sarah gave her condolences, putting a hand on, on Tom's shoulder. We both are, honestly. Derek responded. Now listen, Tom. The reason you're here isn't because you're in trouble. We don't suspect you had anything to do with what's happened to Kyle. So you don't gotta worry. We do, however, require your help. Because I'm the worst policeman in the world. <laughs> Would you like some cocaine? <laughs> uh, how, oh. how does Tom talk? Like Bane. Uh, Alright, so any quick suggestions? You know what, yeah, Tom talk. 
So how should Tom speak? You know, uh, yeah. thirty seconds. Get, get throw us some ideas. Bom 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 bom. Was it Darude Sandstorm? Yeah. Bane. Bane. Hello, everyone. Do it. Hello, everyone. Nicholas Nic- Cage. Nicholas Cage. Can you do a Nicholas Cage? I can't, but fuck it, you know. Skeletor. Ske- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Skeletor. You must have been killed by that He Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His best man was it? Beast man was it? Yeah. What's that? What's that? Skeletal minions. I can't remember anything. My help. Tom said quietly <laughs> and shakingly. It's, it's so much better now than Tom Skeletor. Without taking his eyes off the cup, he felt his grief just starting to spill out. <laughs> My friend's dead. <laughs> yeah. He's fucking dead, and I. He felt his eyes welling up, his voice breaking. I had no idea, nor did I do anything to help. I should have read the signs the minute he stopped responding to my calls. We were I going sh- to attack Castle Grayskull. I am so conscious of how this ju- I just sound like a radio newsreader from the 30s. <laughs> like, it's not intentional, I just suck at impressions. I should have been there, I should have fucking done something. Yeah. Half the presses. Jerry, you made the Europe. <laughs> well, how was the fact the great United you know, States of America? And now Truman let's says, see the Queen and her coronation. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. <laughs> I think this is how I die. <laughs> it's, it's too Here's a flooding in about the beer baron. Chucks away. Sarah hands him a box of tissues. Which he took a couple from. Wow, that's just awful. He stuffs them in his pocket. Did he ever pass up three tissues? No. Now, Tom, this isn't your fault. Derek tried to assure him. I mean, that wasn't really much of anything you or anyone else could have done. Come on, let's get to You're not at fault here, I promise you. If anyone should be guilty of this. It's whoever killed you. No, they are guilty. <laughs> it's not an issue of should. Like, the murderer is the guilty party, Derek. That's how that do we works. need to go back to the academy again? I think we do, well, don't we? Academy. Well, you can do all those sound effects. <laughs> you fucking imbecile. Tom quietly asked. Who would want to kill Kyle? <laughs> I mean, I know he was a bit of a reckless prick. I even poked fun at him. But he was never one to make enemies. You do just sound like an old timey radio. Yeah, answer. it's that is the. I'm sorry, that's the best skeleton I can do. You need to put yeah at the end. Yeah. Oh, Derek and Sarah exchanged looks, and then Sarah turned to look at Tom and informed him. We have evidence to believe that Kyle's death wasn't just some random murder. Why are you doing skeleton? <laughs> yeah, like, like, yeah. We well, started off going it, and then you just tried like, uh, like oh, I was like, oh shit, I'm doing skeleton. No, okay, skeleton. just. Smoothly and subtly <laughs> uh, shift into a different voice. <laughs> Nailed it. Alright, so I was like. Like, Sarah's a mimic. Like, she's hearing Tom speak. <laughs> Perhaps like, the way Tom speaks is freaking <laughs> no, she's everyone like out. Para. It's, it's freaking her out so much that just to try to relieve the tension, she's like, should we all talk like this? <laughs> Derek is clearly the guy from Police Academy. <laughs> Skeletor and a parrot at this crime scene. Alright, I'm actually gonna do I'm actually gonna do Sarah's voice as a Russian person. Okay. So. Also, uh, so I was too busy laughing at the voice you said, but we have evidence to believe Carl's death wasn't just some random murder. I don't know if like is it time to tell him that? Do you think? Is this <laughs> what fifteen minutes of like? Yeah, like do we? I, I, I mean, think, how involved think... is 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 Tom in this murder I investigation? Think he first, do some investigation. Because like, well, apparently, what they see is we found a body that showed to his friend. He might. Have, hey, kids, want to see a dead body? Like, we have evidence <laughs> to believe that <laughs> Kyle was a victim of high I, impact I... sexual violence. <laughs> so, so Sonic, like, I think. Um, Chasing the Honey, I forgot the subtitle uh, because it should be Sonic EXE, um, the remake, or uh, well, yeah, the remake, official remake, 
aka Stand By Me 2, the event, <laughs> the abridged version. Hey, kids, want to see you there, buddy? Right there. I want to see that dead body. Derek pulled out a folder from his coat and handed it to Tom. <laughs> Some evidence? Yeah. <laughs> he quickly took it and opened it to look at its contents as Derek spoke. Over the last couple of months, numerous bizarre deaths have been happening. <laughs> Why are you showing this to the civilian? <laughs> not, not Justin. <laughs> There's so many questions. I, we, I swear we can't go through a paragraph without just a hundred fucking questions. Not just in the city, but in neighbouring communities as well. They have all been the same thing. Homes left unattended, computers broken in some way, and the bodies... Have been thrown away. <laughs> Tom felt his insides turn as he saw the photo. Why? Why are you showing this person crime scene photos that don't even pertain? To... Is well, it just? Is he just a psycho? Well, him and his parrot sister. Like, is, he was, was he this? Uh, he was this bad in the last one, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah he was like, a fucking retard in the last one, but he wasn't like sadistic. I don't think he's sadistic. I don't think he's just an idiot. He's right. You get like right, stop doing um, impression of Michael Caine because you need to now do a Chief Wigger impression. All of them the same way as Kyle. Pale eyes, wide in horror, jaws snapped off, blood staining the inside of their mouths. Blood. <clears throat> Sarah then spoke up. We checked the autopsies, and they all said the same thing. The esophagus and the inside of the chest were completely ruptured. <laughs> like, oh, rupture, yes. <laughs> like, with my massive oh, back. I was gone. I've just run ahead. <laughs> like something large forced its way down the victim's throat. <laughs> oh my god, it writes itself. I'll rupture your fucking esophagus with me massive hedgehog cock. Right. With me five pronged echidna penis! <laughs> right, so when we get to Sonic, instead of doing the usual voice, instead of like red lights, he's now like Hagrid from You're a Wizard Now, Harry. Tom shook a bit, unsettled by the sight of so many people being killed in such a gruesome manner. <laughs> it's almost as if like he's an uninvolved civilian who should be shown crime scene evidence from other unrelated cases. <laughs> oh! Who would do this? Who could do this? Yeah! We don't know. Derek replied. Which is why we need your help. We need you to tell us if Carl said anything before his three-week absence. I... I don't! Tom stopped himself and tried to think about it. Did Kyle anything? <laughs> did, did, Kyle... did Kyle anything? <laughs> did Kyle say anything before he disappeared? He sat there trying to remember, and then it hit him. The last time Tom saw Kyle three weeks prior was after a weekend party he threw with him and his friends. He had asked Kyle if he wanted to watch a movie with him at his dorm room, but Kyle declined, saying he wanted to try this new video game he bought online. Ah, uh, I remember asking him if he wanted to see a movie with me after a party. It was but an emoji movie. But he said no. And then he wanted to try out some new game he got off of eBay or something. But that was it, really. After that, I haven't seen him for three weeks. It was called Fallout 76. A new game? Hot off the presses. Sarah asked, what kind of game? I don't know. <laughs> Tom answered with a shrug. Yeah. The jockeys on their fine horses. <laughs> Coming up on the rear is Hitler's horse. <laughs> Who would, who would name their horse that? Except Hitler. Um, can, that jo can we check that jockey out, please? <laughs> Don't let the Fuhrer get away, folks. Uh, he never said... Uh, I just said okay, he told... When he told me, and... That was literally the last time I saw him. He sipped his coffee some more. Well, it's unlikely. A video game could have killed Kyle. Derek shrugged. <laughs> Unlikely. <laughs> Not impossible. <laughs> Unless he's playing Anthem and then his PSV bricked so hard it exploded and killed him. 
Derek shrugged, straightening his coat. Anyway, you can go now, Tom. You look like you need some rest. Yeah, and some therapy. <laughs> someone just showed him the corpse of his best... Oh, it's, you know, like you think it'll get old harping on this, but it's not! It's not getting old! As he, Sarah and Tom got out of, out of their chairs, Derek handed Tom a piece of paper. If you ever want to have a good time, call me. Thank you for your help. Here's my number. If anything happens, call me. You have a pretty mouth. Call me, skeletal. Tom took the paper. Sorry, Tom took the paper with a nod. Yes, sir. As he had Mr. President. As his hand touched the door, he stopped, then looked at Derek. Detective Green, what do you make of this? Just his penis. What do I make of this? Derek parroted back. Well, I say what happened to your friend and all those people is a horrid thing that should never happen to any human being, even if any of them. Are criminals. Derek looked at his sister, who looked back at him, and then looked back at Tom. Why I say it. Whoever is doing this is pretty much a fucking psychopath. It had been a week after Kyle's body had been discovered by the police. The college was rather shaken up by the news, and the day after they found his body, the staff gave the grieve the grievous the gri- the grievous announcement the gri- the grievous announcement to the students, and within the time... What was the grievous announcement? <laughs> General Kenobi! <laughs> well, that's why I was like, gri- grievous? <laughs> it's a real word, Gemma. And I was just like, the grievous announcement, and right, just, and within time... These crime scene photos will make an excellent addition to my collection. <laughs> and within time, rumours were spreading like wildfire regarding I know what happened point. to him. I heard he killed himself! One dark hair girl said. If we ever come across the principal of the school, can he just be General Grievous? Now why he was murdered? Came the exclaim of a red-haired boy. A, gl- a glasses-wearing lad worryingly questioned. Do you think there's a killer still out there? I hear they found his body a complete mangled mess. A jock proclaimed with excitement. <laughs> Perfect jock. Oh, I never get bullied at all. <laughs> My goodness, you get boy. <laughs> Tom sat miserably in the cafeteria with his friends Roger, Mike, and Mike's girlfriend Vicky, just looking at his food while his friends chattered on. So who's gonna be Roger? Maybe, uh, I'll, anyone, be, I'll be Vicky. Any ideas for a Roger voice? Roger Rabbit. Yeah, I can't do the like the lispy Roger Rabbit more. Santa Claus for Roger, someone uh, said. Oh, Santa. Hey! <laughs> Roger spoke, putting a hand on Tom's shoulder. <laughs> you alright, man? Um, who's Mike? I'll be Mike and Vicky's girlfriend. No, you, uh, Jacob B doesn't think you do enough girls' voices, so he be Vicky. Alright, okay. I'll be Mike. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of my northern voice. Uh, you don't have a northern voice. I do. You just have your voice. That comes from I'll up I'll do north. Toby's voice. Probably dumb of me to ask, but you're still upset about what happened to Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> that is a very Toby question to ask. My... My guest? Um, you got over it. You got over the vicious, brutal, sexual murder of your buddy who you didn't see. You over that yet? You haven't been sexing the body? I'm... <laughs> I'm more in, in shock at what Tim I seems to think Toby sounds like. <laughs> Um, Tom merely nodded. It's you, Matt. Uh, where are I? Yeah, yeah! I say we we all are! Roger replied. What do you think happened to him? Vicky asked. Who knows? <laughs> One thing's certain, whoever killed him still haven't been caught. Mike said dismissively. Yeah. Ugh! Why to make it creepy, jackass? It wasn't creepy before. The the, the <laughs> brutal fucking murder. Yeah. It's not creepy that someone you know has been murd- murdered in his room. No, this is what... Vicky groaned, folding her arms in disgust. Just saying. Mike muttered. All right, so uh, Vicky's now Lumpy Space Princess, a.k.a. Captain okay. Marvel. I'm not here to fight her war. <laughs> I'm here to end it. I knew you'd like my Nick Fury. That's why you're running. 
Get in touch with your feelings, babe. <laughs> and then uh, lovely space princess offers to shake someone's hand, and then she electrocutes him, and then threatens to destroy his hand, and she's a hero for it. Then she steals his stuff. Roger's turn. Uh, where am I? In any case. In any case. I just spoke up. We're all here for you, Tom. You know we are. Thanks, guys. Tom said, smiling a little bit. And who's this? Oh, it's you, still Matt. Do do. Whatever. Tell you one thing. At least you're finally getting around to. <laughs> are, these guys, are these really his friends? <laughs> These feel more like bullies. <laughs> Clean out his room. Yeah, these are like fucking 80s. Like at Stephen King at his best bully works. Oh, have you cleaned cleaning your friend Tom's room yet, chat loser? Like, finish cleaning up all the blood and zoom in, have you? <laughs> what did you do? It's me, sorry. Oh, yeah. it's me, sorry. Oh. About time, Toe. Mickey responds. Love Space Princess. Oh, it's to be such a victory. About time, Toe. I'm, I'm, I can't do like a special because I'm, I'm doing I'm going to do Brie Larson. <laughs> Same thing. No, it's slightly different. Alana lived next door to Kyle, and she couldn't stand the smell coming from the room to the vents. Do you think he got rid of all his stuff? My guess. Either way, that or gave it to his parents. Though I doubt his computer is going to be of any use to them. Roger replied. Compupa. Computer, Tom muttered. The laptop he saw in Kyle's room. He gave it to him as a graduation gift. For some reason, he felt it wouldn't be the right thing. It wouldn't be right for that thing to just get tossed. He, so he stood up from his seat. I'll be right back, guys. This is completely given up on skeletal, haven't you? Oh, it's like, isn't that evidence? I think it probably he, might have been. He ran down to the empty halls, hoping the laptop was still in the room. When he reached Carl's door, he saw that it was open. He got, he got on the floor, legs, and then Gemma the killed the Night King. Inside, he could see Kyle. the room had been emptied out and cleared, and he saw a short, middle-aged woman wiping the window. Hey, excuse me, he asked, walking in. The lady turned to look at him. Oh, hello, dear! She responded Very in, in a kind, Midwestern voice. What can I do you for? Oh, not much. It's just, Tom explained. The guy who lived here was a friend of mine. I gave him his laptop, but I was kind of wondering if I could get it back, you know? <laughs> He's not using it. <laughs> to honour his memory and such. It sounds so suspicious, like, uh, a man came in here. A dead man. <laughs> and that, that means what to me? <laughs> Had uh, something very valuable with him. It was a gift I gave him. A black cat! Means worlds to me. <laughs> is this the same fucking scene, right? Yes, it is. I'm Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire in fucking Edgar's <laughs> suit. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> this is like. There's a better voice for Tom, really, but it's kind of. I it's kind of too late. The lady asked. It also might destroy your throat. Well, you're in luck, dear. I put it over there. <laughs> why is the, why did the police have it? <laughs> She pointed to the bed, which had been freshly made. Sitting on it was Kyle's laptop. You can go and have it. Though the screen's cracked and I couldn't turn it on. Tom looked at the laptop <laughs> the fan and has been drenched with semen. Thank you, ma'am. With that, he bid her goodbye and left to put the laptop in his room and headed back to the cafeteria before lessons continued. Hours later after class, Tom had returned to his room to get a good look at Kyle's laptop. It appeared to be in somewhat decent condition, if a little dusty. I've just realised why. Only damage is... I just realised why that laptop's still, you know, not been put in there because because the detective in charge was Derek Green. So of course, you know, like this is clearly evidence. So I'm going to leave it here. Well, the thing is, that lady was going to throw it away. So. <laughs> oh my god. I went to get my friend Carl's laptop. There's no need to do it, like. This is doubtful. Just throw it away. <laughs> Where are Carl's possessions? Mrs. Doubtfire had been throwing them away. Tom's <laughs> 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 <sighs> 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 returned. No, 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 the only damage it seemed. 
to have is that its screen was slightly cracked in a couple of places. The cracks were only minor, but Tom wasn't sure if the screen was still functional. Tom looked into the blackness of the cold laptop screen. It had been turned off. He remembered it had been off since the last time he saw it in Kyle's room. Tom leaned and pressed the power button. No response. He didn't want to assume it was broken. Just yet. Grabbing his charger, he plugged the laptop in and waited. A few minutes of waiting later, a small icon appeared on the black screen. The indication of battery power. Tom let out a sigh of relief. It was still fully functional. But his friend was still it dead. It just needed a full recharge. Turning off the cracked screen, he closed the laptop and then texted his friend Mike. Hey, Mike! Are Ooh and Roger still up for later today? So apparently this was 2001. Mike responded. For sure, man. <clears throat> BTW, did you get that laptop? Tom replied. Yeah, it's only cracked and it needs a recharge, but other than that, it's still in good condition. Just now, just now I was using letters and uh, single letters and numbers to represent words, but this text is properly punctuated. Cool, man. Mike texted in return. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> going to pawn it off or something? Tom paused for a moment and pondered that question, but immediately responded with, Nah, it was Kyle's laptop, plus I was the one that gave it to him as a gift. So it wouldn't be right to just get rid of it, you know? It's also, like, um, like it's part of the bro code that, you know, there's like, if, if your friend dies, you immediately destroy their laptop and all their um, hard drives, so their family doesn't find out their disgusting masturbation hobbies. Yeah, that's... That's a good point, don't you think? Lol, I hear you, man. Anyway, GTG. Me and Roger will see you later. I'm going to be Bart Simpson now. I can't be arsed with the English. I'll just be like, wow. Uh, <laughs> no, that just <laughs> sums up Kyle, your entire... Kyle pretty... was really into baby dolls. <laughs> like... I've never seen so much inflation before. Oh, is that what killed him? Oh. So there's a tube up his butt. <laughs> Ruptured him. He's into horse penis and inflation. Oh. The, the famous lethal combination. <laughs> Damn it. What does that Another sentence... one lost. What does that sentence even mean? The weekend came again after that. <laughs> uh, that's how, time yeah. move forward. <laughs> like it usually does. That's he funny. didn't stop time with his stand. Tom was alone in his room on his computer studying while Carl's laptop was still busy charging up. It seemed like it was taking a very long time to get to full power. Yeah, like uh, several days. Um, and there were times... So Tom how old is his laptop had to remove several the days. charger? Plug in order to keep his own fully charged. Right now, Carl's laptop was at 11% power. Not enough to do much on it. As Tom typed away in his studying, he began to remember what... He began to remember when Kyle died. He still felt a nasty pang Yes, of it guilt. was. Every time he looked back on that day, even though Green had told him that it wasn't his fault, he still believed he should at least have done something to prevent it. Yeah, like going down one flight of stairs to see a friend. He then remembered seeing the photos of all those bodies that the detective shouldn't have shown him, all dead in the same way as his friend. His guilt fading into dread over the thought of the culprit, responsible for those murders still being out there. The longer the note, the more dread. Behind bars. He had given thought about finding and confronting the bastard that took Kyle's life away, but ultimately decided to let Green and his sister find the murderer. Because they were detectives, apparently. What fucking, like, junior detective squad is this? A job much easier said than done, clearly, if they still had no leads. However, Tom felt he could trust Detective Green on this. From their last <laughs> conversation, in. Tom was pretty sure that Green was a good cop. The kind of good cop that traumatises civilians. <laughs> He'll catch the creep, Tom said to himself. Quit your worrying. Green's gonna catch him. <laughs> <laughs> headlight. <laughs> it's a fucking headlight. Before do. Green catches Dusty Cranimal. Just picture, picture Tom in a fucking trilby and like mm. braces the whole time suspenders. Mayday, mayday. We're going down over here. We're gonna, green's catching up to yellow and yellow's catching up to red. It's a doozy. It's a whole situation of different coloured beans all falling <laughs> down. And then old Dr. Robotnik's not too pleased about it. Let's give those Jerry's a good licking, boys. 
We'll be back after these messages with Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I like how we're, we're, we're there, like, we've not keep me consistent in the old timey announcer. I'm just eating crisps. Don't even worry about it. I'm not. Send me a super chat to stop me eating crisps. Don't even hesitate. Send the maximum. Of, every single person in the chat, send the maximum of 500 pounds. Do it now. Do it. Do it. See, it's part of our new thing. It's like um, we've got subliminal, liminal, and superliminal. Superliminal. <laughs> hey, you! Join the Navy! <laughs> Buy our merchandise. Well, Joke's on you. You can't anymore because I closed the store down. You, you put a lot of money into that shop. You know, <laughs> the back creep past the merchandise shop. It was really big. No. To, be, to be fair, Matt, in, during the time that I was closing the shop down, we did sell 200 items in like a month. <laughs> no, I meant a literal shop outside. There's a big apartment store that you bought. It just sold bad creep pasta. I mean, we're in a school show, but you sunk so much money into it. Like thousands, like tens of thousands of pounds into that giant supermarket just to sell creep pasta stuff. Green's gonna catch him. Meanwhile, across the oceans, the Germans have dared the old powers with a tempting incursion into Danzig. Will this be a repeat of 1914? We'll find out. <laughs> there we go. What's the Americans call them? Crisps. Danny Caprice and Tuma did it. The absolute madman. Stop eating crisps. All right, I will stop eating crisps. You can pass me that chocolate bar. <laughs> All right. He tried to redirect his thoughts onto the last time he spoke with Kyle. How Kyle had said he'd found some really cool game that he wanted to try out. Tom had already concluded that X that the X marked CD did that the X marked CD disc Kyle had sent him was the very same game he had brought before his disappearance. Though why he sent it to Tom before his death, Tom couldn't well figure out. The more he thought about it, however, the more he became to wonder what was so great about this game. All the characters were nude. Was this game really so good that it required? Kyle to not attend class for weeks or see his friends or Tom dared to think not know he was targeted for murder dun, 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 dun. Tom turned to look at the game disc that still sat on his table that Country fate roads, take me X mark on the plastic of the disc shown by the light of the room and the big 76 painted on it Tom couldn't stop wondering what was so great about this game? Chaper 3. So that was chapter 2 of the Sonic.exe. That was actually went a bit quicker than I thought it was going to. Yeah, to be honest, I feel like we probably have time to do another one. Yeah, I've got an hour before I've got to go, so... Alright, so let's try for another one. You get two chapters <laughs> in one today, aren't you people lucky? Yeah. We're not holding this story hostage for more Super Chat money. No. I'm not saying that, but I'm not not saying that. No, that's... I'm not saying that I have a small, adorable puppy with me and I'll smash its head in with a shoe if you don't give a super chat money, but I'm not, not saying that I will. I genuinely thought you were going to say the word penis instead of puppy. No, so I'm not saying, look, look, guys, the situation is I've got this really small penis. <laughs> small, adorable now, penis. But first, I'm getting coffee. Yeah. Yay! Let's all go to the lobby. Let's, Let's all yeah. go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby and send some super chats. <laughs> Fucking with okay. Tom picked up the game disc and looked at it for several minutes as he what? sat. No, oh, hold on. Yes. No. Yeah. Did someone fucking pay you money? To no, do she it? just. She Don't just do stopped. it then. Mm -hmm. Because I know what you're trying to do, but it doesn't even sound like that. Mm -hmm. What it sounds like is the little mouse in Titanic: The Legend <laughs> continues. <laughs> <So> <laughs> goes, in if it hadn't been for you, I would now be in someone else's digestion. <laughs> When you have something you should know, so I'm going to tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget it. Enjoy the show. What girl? Sorry, Joe. Okay. Sorry, what voice was she trying to do? Anyway, continue, I, I blacked continue. out continue. in some sense. <laughs> Tom picked up the game. Working all day, just trying to unwind. Sit back, relax, take a look. Sorry, that's not... That's How not do you like... Okay, uh, Keep doing the voice. Keep doing the voice. <laughs> what voice was she doing I again? I think she was trying to do NNA Productions. Because I can do it when I'm saying his words. This, this, this fidget spinner. Oh, that yeah. fuck. If I get put three of this candy in my mouth, in my mouth, on this fidget spinner, you guys have to smash the light button. You guys have to smash the light button. Not then, not banger. To, mm -hmm. to, 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 to turn it. And looked at it for several minutes. 
as he be- sat back down no, in Jim, front that is of way his too, That is way too coherent. Mm-hmm. His girl's laptop was still at 11% power. <laughs> there was no Adon can see the damn right. downloaded on it. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. That's real. Gemma, that is, that is shut real. the fuck up. Stop doing that voice. I could not understand you. Do it again. In a voice that's coherent. He right. opened the, the, the driver and placed it this key and caused the driver to wait for the it's still notification to show up. Oh my god, you guys. It's been ten minutes. No, do a real voice, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told, I've been told. Like I, don't, I, will, I, will get, I will I will I will beat you with money to do it properly. <laughs> That's how rich Matt is. After he a just few... like beats people up with like wads of cash. <laughs> yes. So not even coins, bags of notes so heavy they can cripple a man. It's like a fucking phone book of cash. After a few minutes, the notification appeared on the screen. Do you want to install us? <laughs> Sonic. Don't, don't make me get out of this do fucking not, chair. Do not install Sonic.exe at 3 a.m. You know what that guy as well? It's never 3 a.m. It's always like, guys, it is 3 or 4 a.m. Guys, it is 3 12 a.m. It's 3 or 10 a.m. I don't know what if it's like, it's 3 or 10 a.m. <laughs> okay. Do you want to install Sonic.exe? Want to join my free <laughs> gift card giveaway? <laughs> Sonic.exe? Yeah. Tom read the name again to see if it was correct. <laughs> you have to read it again! It's, well, you have to read it's it again! It's not War of Fucking Peace! <laughs> it's one word. It's one word and then a, then a file extension. That's it. You stupid fuck. <laughs> so, like, I start, it started with an S and then it ended with a C but I don't know what happened in the middle it's a fucking mystery he felt a small twinge of disbelief creeping up within himself Skeletor alright alright really you know. really the really no, one it, 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 the, the speech marks don't start until alright really the Really wonderful, never before seen. Video game Kyle had found and spent weeks playing before he died was a Sonic the Hedgehog game. Tom, Actually, I swear this is what my review sounded like of this of the original story. Tom felt his anger rising, but he suppressed it. He couldn't bring himself to curse his friend for such stupidity. And who knows? Maybe Tom was being too quick to judge this game. Willing to give the benefit of the doubt in the honor of his friend, Tom clicked left. Yes. A standard installation wizard popped up for Sonic Toyxe. I know what he means, but I just like the idea of just like, hello, hello, hello there. That's... I'm the installation wizard. <laughs> I've been to, I've, I've been stuck in this disc for twenty years. Thank you for freeing me. I'm going to now go on the internet and see what the young people are laughing at. <laughs> this is illegal, you know. Just press, <laughs> you know. And there's either that or because ah, ah, and you know, clicks on the standard installation which goes, ah, after 10,000 years I'm free, it's time to conquer Earth. Alright. And Tom went through the process. He directed the game files to program files. Checked. Do we need to fucking this follow is, this? See, I mean, this is genuinely the most boring thing. Like, the set, the Sonic XE round 2 was pretty boring. And bland, but uh, this shit <laughs> is his out Like, is it like also like if you want to install like, when you, you when you read it or oh, at the bottom there's a link to it. Uh, if you want to install it, the instructions are in the story. Wink, wink. What? We really need to have to install a fucking program. I, in bet, the story. I bet you at one point he's gonna be like, oh, there were terms and conditions to the installation, and then he fucking lists so the docu the full document of terms right. and conditions. Check. Remember, this is a legal binding contract, even though it's not. Checked to add a thumbnail on, to, on his desktop, and of course, agreed right. to the terms of agreement. The- oh, thank you very much uh, to uh, Verd, the Star Warrior. Uh, it starts with an S, ends in a C. Suck! .exe. The window changed into the progress bar. After several minutes, it was at 1%. Then it was at 2%. Then it was at 3%. Then it was at 4%. Realising it was going to be a while until the game had fully installed... Tom decided to order some takeout and watch a movie. While the game was installing, he went onto Domino's website and made his order a medium-sized pie with green pepper. Oh, you fuck off! Fuck story. off! That's the, it's in the story, Matt. She's not look. I know. It's I was gonna say, if I have, if I couldn't actually see it with my own two fucking eyes, I thought Jim would be taking the piss. Oh, and then he stood up and decided, oh, my balls are a bit itchy. Maybe I'll go wash them in the shower. And look said, at this. Look at this. Made his order of a medium sized pie with green. I don't give a shit what he's eating! And two litres of Coke, and then went to his couch and turned on his TV to search for a movie on Netflix! 
After the delivery man came, Tom got his pizza. He selected the Dark Knights. <laughs> we should have done the Bane voice. <laughs> like, Tom. A long, to- a long time ago, I was playing Sonic the Hedgehog. That's perfect. It couldn't have been a, a better movie for choice. Ah, oh, The Dark Knight, a.k.a. We Live in a Society, the movie. <laughs> they can't. Why do they call him the gamer? It's because he says the N-word. You know, to scare people. What, like black people? <sighs> After the delivery rang, Tom got his pizza. Just enjoyed himself as he waited for the game. Can we to skip score. his fucking movie review? As soon as the movie reached the scene where the Joker's... St- fucking hell. Oh my God, this is real. This is real. Can I kill myself with CBD? As the movie reached the scene where the Joker started to manipulate Two-Face, Tom's computer had suddenly went black. No, take out had. It had shut down. Tom heard the faint clicking noise that indicated it shut down, and he turned his head to see the black screen. Was any of that fucking relevant? Do we need to know about his fucking order and Netflix? Pr- uh, like, oh, he decided to go entertain himself by jacking off in the corner for a half hour. I'm appalled. I, this probably sounds like I'm overreacting, but why is that in the story? What is that bloat for? Like, there's an entire fucking paragraph right there. And then he's like, and is it important? The scene where the Joker manipulates Two-Face, like, is that, an, is that thematically important to this story? Because if it is then shame on you for making it that way. I have a question. No, you don't. What does this have to do with Sonic.exe? And this, if, Sonny, if, if, Sonny, if Sonic says we live in a society, I'm done. I think... Yes, <laughs> you see, Kyle. That's they say that gamers are not oppressed. And yet, in my 21 years, I have never had a small Asian girlfriend. So I ask you, who is the real N word? The funny thing is that's probably not even a. Like, I'm fucking done. Like this is. Oh my no, god. Keep going. We're gonna do. Uh, do you want me to continue? I was having fun up until this part. Like wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you you really please. It didn't seem to have overheated or anything. So he assumed it was one of those kind of games that required a restart before installation. One of those types. He waited for the computer to start back up, and when it didn't, Tom grew like restless. Surely his computer didn't experience an error or virus while install- installing the game, this game, did it? After immediately pressing the power button, he let out a sigh of relief when it turned back on after a couple of minutes of no response. He waited for the computer to start back up, signed back in and checked his desktop. There he saw it. Sitting at the very centre of his desktop was an icon that appeared to be a black X. There wasn't a name anywhere under it. He right-clicked to check on the properties. He was rather surprised to see there was literally nothing there. No type of file, no description, not even anything describing the location. No interest, just to feel the fucking energy die in the room. Or even it's the amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Created. And we literally just got to him installing the game and no one wants to live anymore. Yep. Tom stared at the icon. The way it looked on the desktops looked more like a tiny black cracked fissure in the form of an X. <laughs> you just didn't stop XCOM. Um, Co, your turn. Ha! Huh. Better without choice for an icon! Tom muttered to himself. It's no longer skeletal. It is just like, uh, like well, the announcer man from like the 40s. Sat- s- satisfied, the game had installed itself. Tom closed the laptop and sat back down on the couch, wa- wanting to finish watching his movie before playing. Once Dark Knight had finished, Tom turned Netflix off, got up and grabbed the laptop and got himself back on the couch. Oh, good. Well, we know that. All right, Kyle. Tom said, moving his mouse towards the X icon and double-clicking it. Let's see what's so great about this game of yours. He's he's dead, mate. He can't hear you. Yeah. Tom waited... You saw the body. The bloated, semen-filled body. Tom waited until his screen went black. This time he knew the game was starting up. After a while, he heard some things as he continued looking at the screen. Quiet but noticeable. A music box playing slowly. He recognised the song. It was the theme song to the very first Sonic the Hedgehog game, except it only played the first few notes twice before And backwards. Ending. And backwards. The black screen changed as soon as the song ended. 
Tom saw on the screen a background of a sunny blue sky with white clouds floating by slowly to the left. On the centre in front of the clouds was the title Sonic in that familiar title text in most Sonic titles. Satan. The captions enter, please enter, flashed below it. Tom pressed enter as instructed and the title screen faded into the and sky. And then he entered the game. <laughs> And it faded into the sky background with a computerised blip noise. My God, I was just a hacker surfing on the internet. <laughs> I've been sucked into the information superhighway. <laughs> and then a voice spoke up. A young adult novel. Tom had jumped, startled from how sudden the voice came from the computer. It was a strange voice. It sounded like a young man's, at least somewhat younger than him, except it sounded off wasn't just the fact that it spoke in a friendly, almost childlike manner, but Tom could tell by just listening to the voice that there was something not right about it, like it sounded fake. And Hi. Gay. Do you want to play a game with me? The screen faded to black, and then two options appeared, yes and no. His curiosity still maintained. Tom clicked yes. The voice spoke again. Awesome. I already got the perfect game we can play. One of my favourites. Tom began to detect a slight familiarity to the tone of the voice. It was like whoever was speaking was trying to sound like Sonic the Hedgehog. That's not what Sonic the Hedgehog sounds like. Sonic the Hedgehog sounds like Shrek. We've been over this. It was pretty good. It was... It, it was a... It was... It was pretty good attempt. <laughs> But Tom couldn't shake the feeling that there was something wrong with the way it sounded. He sounded nothing like Hagrid. The playfulness of the voice didn't really help either. The screen changed into what appeared to be a dimly lit room with three large old TV screens lined up on the floor. A yellow arrow blinked toward this right next to the th towards toward the right next to the third TV, showing more TV screens. Captions were above the screens reading. Who's a player? Gemma breathe. <laughs> Tom looked at the TVs. Their screens were showing images of numerous Sonic characters. First was Tails the Fox. Then K Knuckles to Enchilada. Then Dr. Robotnik. Then Silver the Hedgehog. Then Amy Rose. Then Shadow the Hedgehog. Then Rouge the Bat. Followed by so many other Sonic characters. That you, you don't give a shit about. A few of which Tom didn't recognise. Sorry, man. I don't fucking know who most of these people are. Like, no, that, like, no, Jacob, you're a better person for not knowing who most of these people are. Tom was rather surprised by the selection of characters for him to choose from, though he had already come to the conclusion that this wasn't a game Sega had created. Looking through the selection using the arrow keys, he stopped to Silver. Thinking it over, Tom had remembered he always loved playing as Silver in Sonic 06. You know what? Sorry, my suspension of disbelief has been ruined. Yep. A I... policeman who would take a child, like a college student, to the crime scene of his best friend. You know, whatever. I can live with that. But somebody enjoying... Sonic 06. Anything about Sonic 06, let alone playing as Silver. Playing fucking, as fucking Silver. It's no use! As well as playing as him in Sonic Rivals and the Mario and Sonic games. Filled with nostalgia for something really not that old, he pressed enter on Silver's TV. The voice spoke again. Silver, huh? Is that your favourite? <laughs> the yes and no options appeared again. Tom was rather surprised at how the game guessed that Silver was his favourite character, but he rationalised that it could have just been part of the overall gaming mechanic. If this game was indeed made by a fan of the Sonic franchise, then perhaps the creator would wanted to cater to the player's needs by letting them play as their favourite character. With that resolve, Tom selected yes. What a pointless paragraph. The voice laughed as the screen oh, faded to black. The laugh made Tom tense up. It was an unsettling, unfitting sort of laugh. A kind of high, whooping, clown-like sort of laugh. A Kafka laugh. Glad I guessed right, okay? The first game we're gonna play is hide and seek. All you gotta do is remain hidden and don't let me catch you. Tom had noticed a growl under the excitement of the voice. The way it had said, don't let me catch you. Sam had almost too excited. Almost predatorial. By the way, I am... I mean, you, you, guys, let's be honest. I am acting with shit out of this Sonic role. Okay, let's... I mean, like, almost predatorial. You know, guys, just... just uh, Let's start getting me some work. Okay? Yeah, like, you shouldn't like, laugh like that because people are just saying they want to throw me back and they want to, like, kill you. 
So I'm forced to to eat Toby. The screen faded. Tom saw he was playing as Tails. Tom looked at the screen in confusion. I am confusion! Didn't he just pick Silver to play as? (laughs) Yeah, but no one really likes Silver. I mean, really? Silver? Why was he playing as Tails instead? Already the game was giving off very weird vibes for Tom. But this curiosity remained steady. The game's graphics were 3D and looked very good too. Though Tom couldn't tell if the graphics quality was similar to that of Sonic Unleashed or Sonic Generations. Oh wait, Jacob, I just realised what this is. This, this, this is actually a sneak preak of Sonic the movie, the game. That's why it's giving you like, weird vibes. Yeah. Oh my god, his teeth. Oh my god. A small message popped up saying, it's probably better if you play this with a controller. Tom promptly grabbed his wireless Xbox 360 controller and plugged it into the laptop. After fid- Plugged in the wireless thing. After fiddling with the options to make the controller work, he started moving Tails around and looked at the environment he was in. Tails was in a city, one completely devoid of life, and She's appeared to be somewhat in ruins, giving off she got a it. kind of dystopian kind of... <laughs> Giving off a kind... Can you... Kind can, of dystopian? Can we highlight that, please, Gemma? Because you've got the keyboard. All right, um... It really sums up the way J.C. Lohaner writes really nice. Detroit. Nicely. Tales was in Detroit. <laughs> I have to deal with all these androids who, like, it's not, it's not about race, but it totally is. Look at this. Giving off a kind of dystopian kind of deal... Just awful. Ugh, Just uh, appalling. My teeth hurt from reading it. To the overall place. The sky was a perpetual cloudy... Detroit <laughs> become furry. Tom was amazed at the amount of detail of this empty ghost town he had tails run around in. Exploring districts and entering buildings. The way it all looked reminded him of the third segment of Speed Highway from Sonic Adventure. Except made far more bigger. What Far more... Just made bigger, made far more... It, you know... Do you know that... Um, We're going to start, like, going through fuck and... Fucking look more bigger. Do you want to start highlighting, you know, like... How, how about, here's class. something you can do when you proofread. See that? Made far bigger. Cool. And have, it's fixed. He, he had a team of people check it. A team of people who obviously didn't like him. Mm-hmm. But would you like him? You know? More open and, of course, well, the decrepit. Furry. Silent with no music. No, he's not the Nazi. That was someone else. Oh, was that someone uh, else? Yeah. Uh, and lacking any character, uh, his NPC or enemy. Apparently he's a pervert, though, but not a Nazi. Tom's amazement slowly changed to uncertainty, and then worry the more he explored the city. He couldn't find a living soul anywhere within this quiet, bleak world. He was alone. He'd be terrible at Fallout. Suddenly, Tom's concern about or finding Fallout any inhabitants at him. in the ruined city Get was it. soon replaced with an increasingly overwhelming feeling. An ominous feeling he didn't think he'd feel. God, we haven't got a drinking game on this one. For every time the, the story got repetitious, we were playing a video game. Tom we've, got, we've got a birthday cake, we can do that every time. Right? But he started to get the feeling he wasn't alone at all. That there was something out there in the same area as Tom. It wasn't like he was being watched, but more like something was over there in the ruined city looking for him. Tom felt fear welling up inside himself that he had never felt before. He wasn't concerned for his avatar, Tails. He couldn't explain it, but he felt like he personally was in some kind of danger. Because he's a massive retard. He had Tails run down streets because he didn't want to enter any of the buildings, fearing he'd be rendered helpless to whatever he was terrified of. Tom had also started to notice that it didn't seem like there was any way out of this huge empty city either. If anything, it seemed like he was looping back to the same districts, the same buildings, the further... The further tried to go away from them. Love that sentence. Like, if we're here, like, if we're correcting the grammar, we'll be here all day, Jacob. Just look at it, though. I mean. The further tried to go away from him. Yeah. By the time Tails had entered the district that had Plaza in it. Had <laughs> Plaza in it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I must have read that incorrectly. By the time Tails had entered the district that had Plaza in it. Nope, nope. It's no, uh, still must there. be the author being a I retard. Keep... I keep looking at the online version, it's still, it hasn't changed, no. The fountain being dry and one building nearby bent uh, and on the verge of collapse. Tom had seen something nearby. (sighs) You're fucking repeating yourself. Walking around the plaza rather casually was Sonic, except the more Tom looked at him, 
So I began to notice how different Sonic's character model was, or at least more different in comparison to Tails. I mean, Sonic no, what did... Sonic arms were completely blue. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was coming. Fuck. Mm, it's the movie Sonic, isn't it? It's just one big troll. I went. I thought you said it as a joke. Was it like I looked away? Did he actually say that? Yeah. Sonic Sonic's arms were completely blue, and he lacked gloves and shoes. See, you. Matt? It's right there. No, 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 it's not. I refuse to acknowledge it. Do you want me to start reading? Yeah, I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> Sonic's arms are completely bru- blue. blue. Can, I, Bruce. can I have to chat, though? Because yes. my, my, my phone's run out of battery. I'll have yours. The color, uh, his hands and feet were blue as well. The colour of his skin on his belly, ears and face appeared to be an odd pale colour. The more Tom looked at this Sonic, who kept walking ever so leisurely with his back toward Tails, unaware of tight, Tom, firm buttocks. Unaware of Tom's car- character, car- uh, I was to character. Character. Being, being in the same area as him, the more confused Tom was at his design. He just looked wrong. The like bl- it in a big budget action, you know, Hollywood movie. The, and then, then, and then he turned around and said, "Meow." The blue creature stopped in his tracks before he could take another step, his pose frozen in mid-walk. That over... Tom knew that if he was green, he would die. His pose frozen in mid-walk, so standing. Uh, That overwhelming fear for his own life came back within Tom the more he stared at Sonic, just standing there, his back toward Tails in that frozen walking pose. Sonic then slowly turned to see Tails, and for the first time, Tom got a good look at the creature's face. Sure enough, the Sonic, this Sonic skin's colour was an odd pale, but it was the eyes that caught Tom's attention the most. Sonic's eyes were normally green and conjoined together in every game he was in, and apart from what Tom had seen, and from what Tom had seen, this Sonic's this eyes... This is the movie Sonic! Sonic! How long ago was this actually written? Like Tails' eyes, with the irises being pitch black instead, like classic Sonic. This strange-looking Sonic looked at Tails for a moment, and then, to Tom's shock, He started busting out gangster paradise! Slowly moved his eyes towards Tom. Basically, I'm gonna have to save your planet. He couldn't believe it. And there was this blue lightning, and then Jim Carrey came out. This Sonic was staring directly at him. The blue creature smiled at a cartoonishly wide kind of grin and then spoke in the same voice he had heard earlier on. Wow. You're not very good at this game, are you? Tom couldn't believe what he was seeing or hearing. His breathing increased in speed as he stared at the screen. There was no way this creature was talking to him, looking at him. (laughs) Bonnick unleashed his plan to destroy vaccines. Oh, God. (laughs) <laughs> the creature laughed that high clownish laugh <laughs> then spoke again his voice more childish more mocking as if he was a kid bullying Tom what's wrong you act as if you never saw a hedgehog before <laughs> Sonic took a step towards Tails Tom then, to his horror, saw the black irises spreading over the creature's white eyes like holes cracking and increasing in size until the eyes were completely black. His smile widened more and Tom could see the creature had fangs. Large, sharp fangs. More fangs than would probably fit in one's mouth. Like a set of human teeth. This was not Sonic. Tom immediately made Tails run from the creature as it continued to transform. Escape from the city. As he did so, he saw the look of terror on Tails' own face. He started face. snowboarding down the <laughs> ring. <laughs> Tom, Tom didn't stop it. Look, Tom didn't talk, stop to look at the creature as it transformed. He didn't want to see it. He had to get as far away from the thing. This monster. Woo! <laughs> Tom had made you get chased down by the slope by a big truck. Tom had made Tails enter a hotel, desperately looking for a place to hide. Love hotel. But then, when he opened one door and ran inside, to Tom's surprise, he had ended up in some place entirely different. He could, 
You can see flames burning all around Tails. This I don't know why this cracked me up. People in the chat are arguing about whether or not English is JC's first language. Someone just wrote, JC's first language is some spider tongue. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know why that amused me so, but that really tickled me. That's funny. This time he was in a large forested area. Fire everywhere. As Tom moved the camera to observe this, this inferno all around him, he could see the trauma and despair on Tails' face, refusing to come more toward the flames, no matter how much Tom made him move. This disturbed Tom. He felt an odd sense of pity for the poor fox boy. <laughs> Who would win? The literal embodiment of evil or one f poor fox boy? <laughs> then the voice came again. That terrible fake tune Trek. voice. Little fake ogre voice. This room! Pfft. Funnily enough, this is his favourite place to be. Somebody once told me the world was gonna rule me. Tom moved the camera to see where the voice was coming from. He noticed... Poking out from a bush. Pokemon. What appeared to be Sonic's head. Except pale, dark furred. Except more vicious looking. <laughs> and with an odd looking And Rayquaza was on. The eyes were now just tiny black pinprick dots. And the smile was just a wide black curved line. Like someone had drawn it on there with a marker or crayon. Yeah. <laughs> Fox boy sounds like Sonic in the best version of a soy boy. <laughs> Tom looked at this his, the, or a the head. fuck boy. Yeah. Tom looked at the head in confusion. It seems Is rather it surreal. Soy boy and fuck boy. Yes, quite a big difference. The way the head looked was like it could have been the head of a Sonic doll. Fuck off. The head rose up, and Tom saw it ended on a thin, pitch black tendril of sorts, rising up from the ground like some kind of flower. And now he's. Why is this what I'm doing with my day off? I don't know. Because you invited me round, I said, hey, why don't we read this? And you said, oh, that's a great idea. And then you said, hey, let's continue on to chapter three. So yeah. you, you have no one else to blame but yourself, boy. That's true, isn't it? This is entirely my own fault. Yeah. It's, it's just all like, like heard about. My um, brain doesn't want to accept that. So, you, know, the, you know, when you do something really bad, and then you try like, and find someone else yeah, to blame. Your, yeah, your mind tries to make it someone else's fault. Like O.J. Simpson, when he murdered his wife. You know, it's like that, basically. The doll-like head bobbed and swayed its head. Okay. Rather lazily, Tom would like have, that sentence. Yeah, Tom would have perceived it as harmless if not for the overwhelming terror he had been experiencing thus far, and he could see Tails was on the verge of tears as he cowered before the strange being. The doll head spoke in the creature's voice, except now its voice had changed. It was much more young, much more like a child's. And Tom could see that even though it spoke, its mouth didn't move at all. This oh. adorable little foxy just loves to play with the fire here, don't you? Tom saw Tails shake his head, no, desperately. Tom saw Tails shake his head, no, desperately. And he could also see Tails was trying to form words himself, but was too scared to speak. The doll spoke to Tails, its voice swept sweetly, but just as mocking. It's going to keep trying not to move my mouth. What's wrong, buddy? Don't you like playing with me? Tails furiously shook... like a ventriloquist. <laughs> what a shit one. Tails furiously shook his head in refusal. That was so redundant. Tears... Yeah, what, what else is... Yeah, you know, shake, shook his head, no. Shook his head, what does shake... What does this person think shaking your head means, aside from... Yes. That? Like... <laughs> He's having a stroke... <laughs> Tears streaming down his face as he sat there looking at the doll head. Well, he, he lost something he couldn't replace, you know? Coldplay. <laughs> All right. They're looking... He said, I mean, it's, I mean no, no, your, he, that's your favourite band, not us. The doll head giggled. Oh, yeah, I just fucking love Coldplay. I, I remember, like, Jeremy, like, quick story. Years ago, <laughs> was it Jacob um, was, like, I don't know, heard a song or something like that? I heard a song Coldplay. like Coldplay. I went, oh, I quite like this. this is and good. then his, it was, I wasn't there. That was Nathan or Toby or else. His mum was in the room and proceeded to rip on him for like a cold pay for like a year and a half. It was yeah. hilarious. I was like, mum, it's getting a bit old. She's like, oh, you're going to cry about it. Go to your room and listen to cold play. And then it was like, the doll head giggled, a hint of the clown-like guffaw under that child's giggle as it swayed its head more. 
I then responded in a condescendingly sing-song kind of voice, a much more noticeably audible growl on the last word as it stared down at him. Kobe, you've got to say this. Is this still the... The, the, the tardy thing, yeah. Is yeah. it still the doll? Yeah. Liar, liar, pants on fire! Is, is that going to be, you know, like uh, his new catchphrase now? You know, like, go, you, all those iconic in the, you know, Ubisoft way of saying Just iconic. look down in the chat, there's so someone say clown. <laughs> it's like the clown emoji. I'm like, yes, somebody did say Hong Kong 13% chicken tendies. Suddenly, something erupted from the ground and wrapped itself around Tails' neck. The fox yelped in pain as Tom realised that it was barbed wire. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. Um, okay. First of all, when you said something wrapped from the ground, I was immediately like, Legend of the Overfiend. And now you said barbed wire, and I'm like, ooh, it's going to go straight up her, uh, you know, cooter, and uh, it's going to uh, Silent the Hill Tales. Remember that? No, a third grader didn't write this. Remember, this is the same guy that wrote the first Sonic.exe story, and he was apparently like 18 then. Yeah, and that like, was in like, like 25. That, yeah, now. that was in like 2010 or something. Yeah, he's the same age as me. Well, or I think I'm a year older. Um, Tails clawed desperately at his own neck to remove the wire as it tightly wrapped a lot around it. His neck uh, started to bleed as he choked and cried. Uh, the only word you could hear from was harder, Daddy. <laughs> While this was going on, whoa, what the fuck, Tails? Fire began to spread around him until he was engulfed in it. Tom could do nothing but watch as the poor fox child writhed and screamed in the flames. With pleasure. He watched his tails as yellow fur. Yellow fur? Do you mean orange? He began to blacken and burn. His eyes becoming bloodshot, his neck bleeding more as he screamed in agony and terror. Nearly done. Tom then screamed as the doll head suddenly creeped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Crept, man. It's even underlined. Up from the side of the screen. De- yeah, the image. Is... The fucking image. Tom then yeah. screams as the doll head crept up from the side of the screen. It's like... <laughs> right, just, Santiago. Just, um, so anyone at home who's watching, um, if you do want to use a word program, Open Office is free. And it has a spell checker. Obscuring yeah, what was happening to Tails. No, you cannot. Directly at Tom. He could see the smile was becoming more real. Someone just said in the chat what would happen if JC showed up. Somebody fucking send him a link. I, I want him here. He needs to answer for his crimes. <laughs> how, how I want to hear chat? his confession from his own lips. How the hell does a head creep? Sprouts uh, legs. He could see the smile was becoming Yeah, have you ever seen the thing? And opening up to show those huge fangs. By the way, very, very ultra minor spoiler, Godzilla, the only F-bomb in the movie, was an homage to The Thing. And I really thought that was a nice little reference. It was. Uh, Plus, there's an homage to The Thing with um, Outpost 31, Outpost 32. So you're saying that the new Godzilla film is a better sequel, a better Godzilla sequel, The Thing sequel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Shin Godzilla? Yes, that's mm-hmm. amazing as well. Yeah. So I'm really happy that this is a great time to be a Godzilla fan, mm-hmm. actually, isn't it? Because we've got a great American franchise and a, and a great Japanese franchise. Yeah, at the same that, time. Uh, there's not going to be another one based, another Japanese Shin Godzilla. Is there not? There was no. supposed to be. And there was supposed to be, but like I can't remember what it was. There's, but the, the thing got called off, and the guy's going to finally finish fucking Evangelion or some shit. I don't know. Oh, that's a shame. That's really upsetting. I've actually got, I wanted to see more like fucked up mutated versions of like Kaiju and stuff like that. Yeah. But, like, like, Anyone seen it, like, um, a yeah, quick review of Shin Godzilla, it's like, hey, do you know what would actually happen if, say, a giant monster was irradiated? It would look like this. It would be in absolute agony. Godzilla's got, like, a te- got another face on his tail, and he's got one growing out the side of his neck. The thing is a cancerous-ridden monster, and you feel more sorry for it than anything. The tiny dots were glowing in size, were growing in size and forming cracks on the doll's face, and two red dots began to glow from within, uh, the blackness of the widening eyes. A horrifying clown laugh was present with the screaming, even though the doll's lips still didn't move. Tom had had enough. This was too much. He immediately slammed his finger onto the power button. But now the slamming. His computer. How dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> Hot one. Ah, oh, there we go. A ringing silence came as the screen went to black. Tom sat there panting drenched in sweat he could still hear the creature's laughter and tail screaming in his head before ebbing away slam jam what what the fuck Kyle 
Tom sputtered in disbelief. What kind of game did Kyle buy? This was clearly not a game approved by Sega. Surely they threw in a creepy message in Sonic CD to scare away hackers, but there was no way they would develop a game like this, let alone release it to them. I don't know, have you seen that at some of Sega's biggest fuck-ups? Tom was convinced that the creature we saw in the game was not Sonic at all. Not just by its behaviour, but also because of how the model looked. How it started to turn more monstrous, and the doll head that he saw minutes before Tails got incinerated. Everything about Sonic in that game was just completely wrong. It had to have been made by someone other than Sega, because there was no <laughs> possible way that thing actually talked to Tom. Could that What? Because there was no possible way that thing actually talked to Tom, could there? Hold... Right, let's try that sentence. It had to be made by someone other than Sega. Okay. F- okay, that, 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 okay. Because there was no possible way that thing could actually talk to Tom, could there? That doesn't mean anything. No. That's, that's gibberish. That is a sentence... That is that that is actually gibberish. But Jacob, I do have some good news for you. Like, are you up? So we're there now, and then ah. awesome. Tom runned for fucks. Runned. Runned in the nineties. <laughs> runned. Are you fucking stoned? <coughs> are you sure? Because uh, it's actually says because uh, ran. Yeah. Uh, uh, Tom yeah. ran. Yeah. Obviously, that one's been. This is the one that's downloaded directly from his journal, so this might be an earlier draft than the one that's on um, the Joel Buster wiki. wiki. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not Joel Buster, but whatever the fuck. Crew Pasta training wiki or whatever. Tom ran his hands. He, he wrote runned, but Tom ran his hands along his face with a sigh, feeling sleep overriding his stress over what had just transpired. Ugh, it's just some freaky fan game. It's gotta be, he said to himself, deciding to deal with it in the morning. Tom got up from his desk and went straight to bed, not even bothering to close his laptop or clean his mess. Tomorrow he would walk to his friends. Walk? Excuse, forgive me. Tomorrow he would talk to his friends about the game and maybe continue playing it. <laughs> Hoping to shake off the feeling of dread and uncertainty, Tom slowly drifted to sleep. Had been throwing him away. Well, so that's chapter two. God, that got worse. <laughs> Yep. It was all, it was sort of enjoyable. Like chapter two, fun of, and chapter some, two was all fun and games, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, and chap- so like yeah, so like half of chapter three, and then he decided to talk about his fucking Netflix and fucking how he ordered his Domino pizza, and then suddenly just all any sort of interest just died a screaming painful death. This this was a tumor. Wow. A butt tumor. Super butt tumor. Yeah, it does. It does weird me out how the way he's just like. That that wasn't the real Sonic. I'm like, boy, there is no real Sonic. The way like it's, he did this in the original story as well. It's like Sonic. The scary thing is that Sonic was acting evil, even though he's Sonic. Isn't Tails his friend? I'm like, motherfucker, it's not real. Like Tails is not a real person. He's not real. Neither is Doctor Robotnik. These are not real people. Stop acting like they are. It's so fuck. I know this is like such an easy joke to make fun of Sonic fans for, but it's so fucking autistic. Like the, this, this disconnect with, where you know you don't know the difference between fantasy and reality. It's like, it, oh well, it's sort of like Sonic is good. A bunch of people you know? standing out in the field, holding up their digivices, trying to go to the digital world. I I don't know what else to say really. Goodbye. Um, best story ever, or best best story. Clearly a work of art, wouldn't you agree? The finest of finest. They're real in my heart. I think JC is a lot like uh, Chris Chan in that sense, that he thinks Sonic is real. And it wouldn't surprise me if JC started blogging about the dimensional merge eventually. The, the Troll Pasta Wiki was a place I used to enjoy frequenting for lots of different stories. One day. I went on the internet and it said the troll pasta wiki was gone. I was confused and did not understand why. Till I saw a letter, what about bullying and about how it had been shut down. Every time a new wiki popped up, it would disappear. This was done by none other than the admins, the owners of Fandom, the website. Fandom. I've been throwing them away. Nailed it. That 
was Lucas Aid. That was number Wang. <laughs> Lots of cars going by there, Jacob. It's hot. Leave me alone. It's warm and the window's open. All right, it's a muggy, disgusting day. Like we said in the stream earlier, we went to the gym and I was sweating before we got there. Jacob, it's a grim day. I didn't say it to you. It's all right, mate. It's, it's all right. I'll make that noise every time a dog goes past. Are we ready to start reading? Gemma, can you give us a cry, please? Yes. No. We, See, are, we are ready. The All thing right. is, if I have another cup of coffee, that'll be my sixth of the day, so I don't think it's advised for me. I am going to have to take a mad crone shit later. Just thought I'd share that with all 48 of you in the chat. I don't, think you're, I don't think you're ready for this, Jimmy. I'm just looking at this here, it's like, maybe it was my, the first line in this chapter. Hating Sega does not make you an asshat, alright? It's perfectly logical to hate Sega, if I'm honest. But it's perfectly logical to hate Sonic the Hedgehog anyway. If you, just, if you just literally take a look at any game that they've released recently... <laughs> what was that? That was me barking and also trying to talk. I thought maybe you like hiccuped and burped at the same time. There was also that that happened too. Have you ever held your eyes open when you had to sneeze? Maybe we'd made by some asshat way with Sega. Come on, game designers. So are we making are we making Mike um, game dude then? Yes. <laughs> Is he in every cave pass to now? So. How long has it been since I've done this? A while. I mean, I'm a bit out of sorts. I'm like, uh, well, Jacob, can you just tell me first of all what the fucking creep passer is? <laughs> like, okay, yeah, you you, you are a bit loud. It's, sort of it's been a, it's been a while, you know. Well, I don't actually know what a creep pastor is because on my video, top five best and worst creep pastors, somebody wrote in the comments once, that's not what a creepy pastor is. So. Apparently, I don't know what a crew bester is. It's good that you're still taking his message forward now. You still remember his comment. Yeah. It really it got to really... that comment. That's what... <laughs> I don't know that it got to me as much as confused the ever-loving shit out of me. Yeah. Because it was like, well, I gave like a pretty much a, a textbook definition of what it, what it meant. <laughs> ever so... Sorry, I was going to say, ever know. Was... <laughs> that face went Toby. <laughs> JC the hyena. Mmm. He had a sexual role play with a boy that he knew was 14 on Discord. Yeah. Yep. What yes. the? Yeah, it's real. Okay. That's real, yeah. I love the way you come out of these things left field from nowhere and then... Wow. <laughs> yeah, I would fight JC the Hyena. How old are like, even, he's, he's 25, I think. Jesus like, Christ. So he's you know, about our age. So that, yeah. Like I would absolutely fight him, no doubt. If it was internet tough guy shit, if like oh fight me in real life, and like obviously I never mean it, but with JC the hyena, I would, absolutely. Right. Mike mean, reasoned as he Tom, Vicky, and Roger had lunch together the next day. I mean, I can name quite a few people who don't like some of the more recent Sonic games. Literally anyone with taste. Um, oh, how did Tom talk? Who remembers how Tom spoke? Anyone in the chat remember what Tom's voice was? Tell you what, Toby, why don't you voice Tom? Ah, uh, sure. God, I sure hope so. Tom muttered as he ate his nachos. Oh, it was Skeletor. Oh, of course it was. Yeah, no, sure. it was, no, it wasn't Skeletor. It started as Skeletor and then it became a 1930s TV announcer. That's it. Because I was playing Tom for a while. It's like, God, I sure hope so. Oh, basically, <laughs> but like um, them really teeny microphones from when you're watching a war documentary. And there they are, old yeah. hands. Things are hotting up here in the Winnie the Pooh fandom. The... No, get them, scats! Let's... Get the ass! Let's hear it for our boys in grey, fighting off against the, uh, invin the uh, invincible armies of Sonic. Also in grey! <laughs> I just realised I literally cannot see colour, so I don't know if, if they're actually wearing grey. That's... It's the camera. They, they haven't invented colour film yet, is what it is. That's, that's the situation here, folks. I... <laughs> This is Chet Bunnington reporting live from YouTube headquarters. A, a, a woman has broken in with a gun. Does anyone remember that? When that lady yes. fucking shot up YouTube. Yes. I was in a gun-free zone, folks. Remember, gun control works. Tom, <laughs> Tom muttered as he ate his nachos. The memory of seeing Tails' body get burned alive. How does a body get burned alive? Like a person gets burned alive. If the body's being burned, it's, the body's a dead thing. It's burned alive. And then Sonic's doll... And that Sonic doll head's horrid smile was fresh within his mind still. What? Uh, is this 
please, please. Yeah, please. If, I think you're Tom. I'm a Sony star! Whoever made the game's got one hell of an imagination! <laughs> You know how much this suit cost? <laughs> Buddy, it costs more than a saxophone full of a hundred dollar bills. I just thought Roger drank his soup. <laughs> Let me tell you something, kid. I'm looking for a good director. Someone who can shoot a picture in five days, see? Someone who can make me a hell of a lot of, lot of uh, money. This kid's funny, see? He's a funny kid. He's going to send me to the hospital because I need stitches. Yes, we don't like to drink, see? So we make moonshine and I can't see, see? Getting very far into this, ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so awful. Like the story's so unentertaining. We have to keep ourselves entertained. You haven't even read thing. two paragraphs. You, yeah, Toby, I've read four chapters. All right, I I oh, know I'm what so this sorry is. Sorry that you choose to I do know these what this when is. I'm working. Right, let's see. Um, oh yeah, Roger drank okay. his soup. Jesus Christ, I can't believe that's the thing. <laughs> what a scoop. <laughs> Which one's Roger? Oh, you're Mike, so I guess I must be Roger. Yeah, you made it sound like a nerd. I think. Okay, Roger drank his soup and then asked. Are you going to play more of it later? Maybe we can watch you play it just to see what it's all about. Sorry, are they... So what, what, yeah, I'm not going to bother I guess you're probably is. Vicky there as well. No. Oh, no. Vicky, is she from Russia? <laughs> oh, no, the Chernobyl Reactor 4 has blown up. I made a Russian remember. <laughs> I made her like a Russian KGB agent. Vicky interrupted. You did not see graphite on the ground. That's what Vicky said. I'm not gonna watch you guys play a game where Sonic is killing his best friends and shit. That's just not like him at all. Okay, um, I'm, I know I can't do this for every sentence, but what the fuck is wrong with JC the Hyena? Like, He's writing. Do you remember how in the first story like Tom was freaking out because Sonic's acting crazy and Sonic's normally nice and in this fan game where they've made Sonic evil, that's weird and makes me uncomfortable. Like, And everyone in his world thinks like him. There's nobody in these Sonic EXE stories who thinks like a normal functioning human being. Again, it puts me to the mind of the Sonitude comics where everyone is super one-dimensional and has this very weird worldview. It's like, you know, I'm Chris and my blood can cure homosexuality. Like, it's that same nonsense. Like, it's a bit less, like, weird, but I don't know. Right. Um... Oh, it's you, to Toby. Uh, oh. That's the thing, though, Vic. Oh, right, okay. That's the thing, though, Vic. Tom explained. I don't know what character it is. It really was Sonic. Even for a kind of model, his design looked weird. He looked into his nachos. <laughs> <laughs> looked... I'll tell you what, that's what I often do. I cry into my he, nachos. No, he's, so he, he's psychic, but instead of reading tea leaves, he reads nachos. He's it's crying more... into his nachos. Yeah. It's, um, he, he sort of looks down to see his future in the nachos. It's, it's uh, what they do in Mexico instead of using the tea leaves. Uh, as he continued eating... Vividly remembering how the creature transformed. It's like it was someone pretending to be him. Like the Sonic I saw was just some kind of costume the character was running around in. It was like somebody was wearing Sonic. Some kind of Sonic suit. Mike chuckled. What is he? Some kind of Yandere fans of Sonics? Who does he think he is? Jesus. <laughs> Who do you think he is? What is Art what is that? Sir, kid? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Amy's got competition. Come yeah, on, kid. Can I just say... <laughs> oh my god, this now, is so awful. Who does he think would ever speak like this? Like, have a sit-around conversation like some sort of King Arthur and the Round Table, but and they're talking about fucking Sonic. Because to, he, talks talks to about that. he talks to Yeah, plushies. to be fair, this, oh, this is a, this right, is a guy who okay. most of his human interaction involves him trying to have sex with 14-year-old boys. I love the way so, you just sort of skip that in, just like, smoke. It's, it's like a subliminal yeah. message. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, oh, Vicky scoffed. Vicky Scott. Oh, please. Like Amy ever had a chance with Sonic. Oh, God, the, these these people do not exist. I know. Quite frankly, I think Fiona's a better choice for Sonic. Who? who? Who's Fiona? What, like from Shrek? <laughs> Planet Mushroom Speed. I'm going to do this fun just for you. This is my seed knocking impression. It's not bad, is it? It's Mike. not bad, actually. There's this great video. Do, do we still have that video of you and Duncan doing that scene from Grey Scene in we that do voice? It somewhere. Because if we've still got it, I absolutely think we need to put that on the channel. Help me. <laughs> I am stuck in this body. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Was well, it a situation where like, you, someone else's soul has been transferred? <laughs> <laughs> someone else's consciousness is going around as My Stephen Hawking. Nelson Mandela. I stayed in prison for 65 years. Was it even that long? Fuck knows. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that now. <laughs> 
Well, what is this? It's like the, it's like the worst body swap movie ever. A freaky Friday. <laughs> just like, I would like to talk to you about astrophysics. Say something about baked beans. <laughs> Why are you the only audience member? Because <laughs> okay. who would go to a talk by Nelson Mandela about oh, fucking what? the physics of black holes? All right, oh, I, oh my God, Toby Senpai I, I, noticed I'm, me. I'm looking, don't worry, I'm looking at every... <laughs> every comment, I love the comments, I'm always looking at them. All right. Because, Someone's got it, haven't they? So just because I don't acknowledge, don't even, I'm not looking, I always look at comments, I love them. All right, I've, I've already lost... All oh yeah, Fiona. Ha, Fiona's a better choice, right? Yeah, that was where we were. And, that's, and, you, and then you used to write Mike. Uh, Mike looked at his girlfriend he doesn't have one. with a quizzical... I mean, that's nobody's girlfriend. Like, if you're coming out with shit like this, the only person you're dating is Christian Weston Chandler. Mike looked at his girlfriend with a quizzical look. Who? This made Tom and Roger stiffle laughs. I think it's meant to say stifle, but, you know, proofreading <laughs> is for facts. <laughs> Vicky groaned. Ugh, one of these days, I gotta introduce you to the Archie comics, Mike. These two definitely don't have sex. Like, that's just... No, no one's gonna fuck either of these people. The Archie comics that I get in my hometown of Chernobyl. I was born without a vagina. <laughs> I'll cook you dinner tonight, Mike. <laughs> it, dinner is potatoes. Hey, Jacob. And make you make you strong. Jacob. Goulash. Break break van says the only person JC is dating is a fourteen year old boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, J- JC the hyena. <laughs> get fucked, you. Fucking furry paedophile sped. Do you reckon he gets notified every time we chat shit about? Probably him? Googles himself every Is that day. Is more interested in reading about a story about Vicky's childhood in Chernobyl? Before anyone could continue with the conversation, okay, right. a loud scream broke out <coughs> in the cafeteria. Thank you. Tom, his friends, and pretty much everyone else in the cafeteria spun their heads, looking around for who was screaming in terror. When was her screaming? And then Tom saw her. Brunette cheerleader Rachel Faulkner had burst into the cafeteria sobbing hysterically for help until she collapsed to the ground. One of the teachers pres- present in the cafeteria, an elderly man of Japanese origin, he's going to be a Sega fucking director or something. An elderly man of Japanese Rush, I lo- That's the most descriptive I've ever seen. Rushed to her and helped her up. Murmurs and whispers were all around us. Everyone was watched. The teacher tried to calm down. Watched down. the teacher tried to calm. <coughs> About no, no, watched the, the teacher try or watched as the teacher tried. I mean, again, the like proofreading is a thing. Is this the teacher? What yeah. is wrong? What's going on, Mr. Falconer? He asked. Tom got up with his friends. <laughs> he, he, he aggressively asked. I was like, man of Japanese origin. It sounds like he's like. It sounds like some sort of like you know, like Suzuki violin or something like that. Got Japanese his origin. <clears throat> friends. Oh, fucking piece of shit. Oh, that just sounds like some sort of manga. The man of Japanese origin. <laughs> to see what was going on, Tom saw Rachel as the teacher tried to comfort her. Rachel was in tears and was struggling to form speeches in her hysteria. Me. I assume so. That's Toby, actually. Do you want to do your woman? No, because you can do both characters then, won't you? It's, it's Miss Wilkinson! Rachel sobbed. She's, she's dead! She's dead! Oh, thank God she gets away from these bloody conversations in this story. I bet she's happy to be dead. If I was in this story, I'd be happy to be dead. Tom's brain jammed for a moment. He, he'd had more than two... <laughs> he'd had two thoughts in an hour and it was an overload. As gasps of shock and more frantic whispers began to escalate... Excuse me? Escalators. <laughs> okay, I think we should open this up to the chat. Um, what do you think he meant to say? Why don't you check? Why don't you, why don't you... Tom's brain jammed for a moment as gasps of shock and more frantic whispers began to escalate. Escalate. That's definitely what he's trying to say. You think say. he's trying to say escalate? escalate but what? Yeah. What? Do, but that doesn't mean anything. Frantic whispers began to escalate. That's yeah, meaningless. Yeah, it began to build Escape. up. Well, I know, but yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, but escalate doesn't work in that context. It doesn't make sense. Well, well you think it's escalate, though, right? Yeah. You're trying to say escalate. Okay. I think it's your phone. Everyone loves that ringtone. Hello? Hello? Oh, my God, you have the worst bloody microphone ever! Oh, my yeah. Christ! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I think, did you get a new microphone? Jesus Christ! 
it's either Jacob's speaker or your microphone. Oh, it's my speaker. It's just murmurs. It's... it's just murmurs of Matt. Hang on a second. It's like, it's like, like mumbles in Matt. <laughs> it's just like... This is an escalator type of car. Quietly mumbles Dixon Lee. Like... Did you Dixon. read the other chapters while you were gone? Um... Hell no, no. Toby. Does. I had to try and like catch Toby up to speed on this story, and I realized how little of it I understood. Basically, it's for any saying this goes for not only Toby, for anyone in the chat who missed the first couple of episodes of the streams. It's a basically a fusion of meat and no, it's a fusion it of just, yeah. the first and second story, really. Isn't it just Kyle and Tom and the lads dancing around some Monster Energy drink to try and? <laughs> Bring back a new Olympics. Yeah, I love that everyone has like the most fucking millennial ass names in this story. I'm trying to summon a new Limp Biscuit album. Try and bring it's like Kyle and Bradley. Um, someone's really into you. Who? The Japanese. Planet Mushroom Speed. Oh, well, that, that's. How into you are, mate? Are you? That's a bit weird. Should consider doing ASMR videos. It's bloody erotic. ASMR is gross. Sorry, Matt, I didn't realise you had a new number, mate. I had your old one. I, I literally was, yes. I apologise for that. Oh, well. I probably have, mate, to be fair. Anyway, so Toby, you caught up on the situation of uh, the story? No, not, not at all, mate. All I've all been right, given... The really important thing to know is that we discovered in the last time we read this that the guy really likes Domino's pizza and he enjoys watching Batman. Oh, Christ, I forgot about the whole, like... <laughs> because that's how we got onto the fucking Michael Caine voice, wasn't it? Yeah, he's just like... There's so much to unpack in this fucking garbage pile. Because he's an everyday normal motherfucker. Yeah, he explains what's on the pizza and how long it took to arrive and everything. Completely bonkers. Really just awful. I was just going to say, all these people saying Toby ASMR, you do realise that Toby has a, uh, has a YouTube channel and also a Twitch channel on the Dreamcast. Look it up! Sorry. Anyway, that's my... Uh... That's my advertising done for the day. So we've, we've, we've got this story up and we've read about, what, a whole page? If that. It's about it. Oh, yeah, we got to Escalade and then you sort of had a fit and then just... <laughs> yeah, I, I admit, I had a, I had a fully-fledged spurk fit about Escalade. I don't even... If I get people subscribed to my channel today, I'll do, I will do an ASMR <coughs> video. Anyway, like that. Hey, hey, it's a little oh, that's, that's, that's a little Bepis's job. That's, that went slightly <laughs> no, better than Matt, the worst no. could possibly gone, I guess. Oh, Matt, I miss you, uh, man. Where have you been all my life? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Over there. It's like, why are you never here? Guys, can no, we just, can I'm we not... start like making? I mean, there's quite a lot of fan art where you know we're all sort of friendly and kind of looking, you know, funny and everything. But I think we need to start having some artwork where Matt and Toby are a very grumpy married couple that always fight. And I'm taller than Matt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we have the new poster. The new poster looks really good, except that like Gemma is tiny. I'm five <laughs> ten. I'm taller than you. I'm at least the same height as you. In which case, Matt, you have fucking appalling posture because you do not look taller than Gemma. I am. I just slouch a lot. Same here, man. Well, well I stand slouching. up straight a lot, yeah. so there we go. Toby's actually set a big toe, which is really slouching. Yeah. yeah. Boys, this stream has escalated in, in like a direction yeah, that I'm really not a fan of, so the Japanese Ouch. teacher looked quite shocked himself. What? You couch later. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, Miss Wilkinson was the new teacher for English, having applied for the job two days after Kyle disappeared. Well, was Kyle the English teacher? <laughs> she was quite a young woman that got along with nearly everybody. Oh, sorry. Uh... The teacher asked, his voice shaking. Oh, you sure, my dear? Yes! Yes! Uh I saw her, her mouth shake. Rachel sputtered. Tom's jaw dropped the minute he heard. No. Could it be? Could it be? Someone else in this school has a fucking mouth. Christ. I, is it me? Yes. Oh, sorry, I forgot I'm the Japanese. It's all right. I'm the Japanese. <laughs> Toby is the entire... <laughs> Toby's actually the entire nation of Japan. You guys I didn't know this. Socialist Party of Japan. 
Oh, fuck off. <laughs> I've seen your search history. The word donkey comes up way too often. Mate, the... war is the thing that comes up. <laughs> oh, guys, a true... True story. When last play Toby was in, and Gemma, Gemma was in as well. I um, I I hadn't seen Toby's dad IRL in ages, right? Like outside of like jokes, oh dear. like. And I saw him there, and he, we started chatting. He doesn't know about the meme about me, like about him, he, he and I being, you know, an item. And so out of nowhere, he just goes, "So have you lost weight? Yeah, you look really good." <laughs> and all I'm thinking in the back of my mind is just like, "Is he? Did he really? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> just that like would amazing. Crack, I would have cracked up. I, like I don't know that. how I didn't just I'll crease up. Like I was talking to like him and your mum, and I was like, <clears throat> "Yeah, I've lost weight. I I do a lot of um heavy lift, heavy li- heavy lifting of work." And he's like, "Yeah, you look you look really you look really good." He's <laughs> like, like, "Yeah." Lunges. <laughs> it's like it's just a very like thrusty kind of work I do. So. <sighs> <laughs> The teacher told Rachel as well you are. Before addressing the cafeteria. All of you will return to your dormitories. For a Somebody moment, I read that them. as return to your Doritos. <laughs> Somebody get the principal. We need to call the police. All the students. I'm going to get offended by doing that voice. Like, oh, I don't want to do the Japanese voice. I'm going to get offended. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, fuck off. <laughs> fuck off, Matt. No one likes you reminding us of the past. I, I like Matt. I didn't say I didn't like Matt. I said I didn't like him <laughs> reminding us of the past. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> House Rage just said, "Yeah, I lost weight, but I can give you a few pounds." <laughs> oh, could you imagine if I'd said that? I think he just looked so confused because he has no idea. He would just looked so confused. Like, what? Are you offering me money on each? My dad, everyone. Uh, yeah, you go. All the students were escorted straight to their dormitories. Tom had bid his friends farewell during the commotion and immediately pulled out his phone, searched Gun. through his contacts, and he found Detective Green's number and dialed it. Dr. Professor Green. As he walked down the hall, he waited Smile. until Green answered. What's up, Tom? Green asked. Oh, yeah, is it, is it me? Yeah. Yes. Don't have green. Let's put it up a murder. And it's the same as everybody else. Tom explained as he entered his room, closing the door behind it. Care to comment on this? I love how he yes. knows this yeah, before yeah, yeah. the before the cops do. It's like, wait. Seriously. Green asked quietly with a hint of fear in his voice. Yeah! Tom confirmed. I got it, Rachel. Just came to the cafeteria. Just came to my show then. The college is calling your station right now. Can you actually say that in an understandable way? Nope, I will continue to do it this way. Oh, sorry. I will, I will just travel fucking down there and I will punch you, Toby. Green I muttered. Swear to God. No, you all won't. right. I fucking will, don't touch me. Mate, if you do travel all this way, I'll be gone by the time you get here. I know where you live, fucker. Fuck! <laughs> all right, I'm on my way over there. Yeah, I already so know there, where your room is. <laughs> so I'll pick you up there and we'll check it out. Okay. All right, see you then. Tom said. With that, he hung up and sat down, looking up at the ceiling, trying to process what was going on. Aren't we all, Tom? Aren't we all just trying to figure out what the fuck is going on in this story? Process, do you mean he's working out what to watch tonight and what to eat? Which will be described in a painful detail later. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking of going down to that gelato joint. Get me an ice cream. Give me the big scoop. If Matt travels by train, they'd be dead by the time he arrives. That's what uh, Joe always just said. <laughs> fucking press that. Walking up to the fucking Morelli's ice cream. It's been like, Morelli, give me the big scoop. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love that. I love that joke, Tom. It always tickles me every time you come in here. There you are. He goes, oh, that bit of, I've put a bit of chocolate sauce in there. That's on the house. Don't you even worry about that, Tom. You funny little fucker. Thanks very much, Morelli. No, he's, You've no, always been there for me. Now I've, I've got to find out what's going on with old Al Capone and, and these, this racketeering. My mother died. I'm quite depressed. <laughs> so, Chad White, that's genuinely a funny joke. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 
Has like... Mrs. Wilkinson really been murdered? Who cares about this? Had Kyle's killer really returned to the college to look for another target? Oh, Did this... the author of this story really try to have sex with a 14-year-old boy? <laughs> if so... I do keep coming back to that. Why? Why would you do any of this? Alright, so... It turns out that JC the Hyena is a total pervert. Shock horror! If you go on his publicly available uh, fetish list on his blog, he lists off all the things he's into, and some of it's like basically like making love holes and stuff like that, like necrophilia and bestiality and all sorts. And one of the things is age play. Now, age play can be you know role play between consenting adults, where one of you pretends to be an old old person, like a sugar daddy, that kind of thing. Um, but that's not what he describes it as in, in this clarification. He says, and I quote, <clears throat> a sexual situation where one or more participants is, what was the adjective he used? It was an adjective is, oh, that was it, significantly, is significantly underage. Whoa. Now, if that's not bad enough, I have it on good authority from some of the boys in the Discord server. Me and the boys. That in a private chat with a, a boy that he learned during the chat was 14 years old. He continued with the sexual role play they were having. Despite learning the fact this boy was 14. This is the man who wrote this fucking story. This is the kind of individual we're dealing with here, folks. So you'll forgive me if I make a few autism jokes or call him a cunt, won't you? And people go, oh, you're being a bit mean. No, this guy is a cunt. Also, uh, Jacob, remember what we learned about hyenas last week? Oh, about how they give birth through their dicks. <laughs> really? Thank Shadow. you, Shadow White, for the £2. He wants a big scoop, but it's not of ice cream. <laughs> yes, I've, you know, I, I've always wanted to know how the, uh, the hyenas of dicks and yeah, whatever. Well, who's next? Had Kyle's killer really returned to the college to look for another target? If so, why? Why this college, of all places? Tom thought about what Green had said, that the killer had to be a psychopath. He tried to imagine the murderer, an insane individual with blue spikes and <laughs> the goddess thrills, Way too fast. just randomly killing anyone he wants and somehow giving the cops the slip. The police do not have power sneakers. That's the situation. <laughs> giving the cops the slip ever step of the way up until now. Again, th by the way, I should point out that this story was sent off to some of JC's friends for proofreading. Great job they did, I have to say. Tom shivered at the thought and tried to take his mind off the killer by turning to his laptop. <laughs> Open and... Open. Turning to his laptop... Cruising for 14-year-old boys. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we continue? Oh, okay, let's listen to this fucking sentence, all right? <clears throat> Right, so hold hold the fuck the fucking phone. Hold on. Turning. Okay. By turning to his laptop, open and it's screen black. That doesn't mean anything. Just as he left it last night, he got up to turn his laptop on, but when he did, he spotted two things. One, dust. <laughs> One, all his kiddie porn had been deleted. The first thing was the X icon on his screen. He was sure it became slightly bigger than the last time he saw it. Oh, no. It's going to give it to him. The next was his battery. His battery was originally a good 95% when he played the game last night, but now it was at 36%. That's no batteries one work. gives a shit. That's this, how batteries work. This confused Tom, because a computer battery wasn't supposed to go down when the computer was turned off. Turn However, to Nintendo Switch. he assumed it was just a minor fluke and paid it no mind. I hate that expression, paid it no mind. That's a, such a, like a redneck turn of phrase, isn't it? Like, yeah, I paid it no mind. Yeah, it's like, are you paying it? There's like some really scary, like some like, old woman talking about a really fat, scary fat guy in like dungarees. It's like, you pay no mind to old Bubba. He just he just wants to touch your hair. You know, it's just it's weird. It's not a nice expression. Turning his laptop off, he looked at Kyle's. Still at 11%, like he left it. So he just, you know... uh Fucking three more percent, thought we all enough to fuck him. So he decided to unplug his charger from his laptop and plugged it into Kyle's to charge it. After that, he got up and turned on the TV to watch some anime. Of course he did. <laughs> while he waited for Green to show up. Half an hour later. He is, he, to... is he watching that Neon Evangelion Genesis that was on fucking Netflix? And, and complaining about it, yeah. 
Half an hour later, a knock on Tom... Imagine watching dubs anyway. Half an hour later, a knock on Tom's door prompted him to get up and answer it. To his relief, it was Green and his sister Sarah. It was Weed and his sister Sarah, Mandy. <laughs> Sorry. It was a good thing you called me, Tom. Derek said as he, Tom and Sarah walked to the crime scene. Wait, is, this, is that his name? Derek Green? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Right, okay. Everyone keeps saying, everyone keeps saying, you should know about this, Derek Green. I'm like, I literally do not know. To be fair, this, was, ye- this was years ago. From fucking Sonic EXE. Like, it's always one of the things I go revisit. So I'm like, ah, oh, lovely nostalgia. If the college called first, it would have taken a while for just the cops to issue a warrant. I was looking for the warrants. And I saw them blowing around in the gutter. My secretary had been throwing them away. <laughs> Right, I'm going to leave my phone here for a second, go out for a wee and probably shoot off it. Right. Was... Believe me, I want to see this guy cut just as much as you guys do, Tom said flatly. He's already taken Kyle. Last thing I want is for any of my other friends getting killed. Is for, again, just fucking delete, right. My dude. One, get rid of some of these spaces because they're entirely superfluous. Bomb, bomb, right. And then two, this word for, just lose it. Like it just takes a moment to proofread your shit. Last thing I want is any... There we go. Sorted. Oh, thank you, the back row. When Sonic autists get caught being pedos, they go to Chris Jensen! Uh, why don't you, uh... Why don't you have a seat over there? You do not know the way he's looking at me. Hmm... Well, Chris, Chris, Chris Jensen, Jensen. Uh, fucking yeah. yes, mate. Oh, oh wow! Is that hyena just Thank goodness I caught the stream in time. Uh, this time, here's a donation because why not? Enjoy the suffering. Reading this. Thank you, Cal Queen, for your extremely generous donation. And uh, weirdly enough, we actually are kind of enjoying it because it's we're we're at a point in the story where it's just so bad. It's not like it's not like he's explaining his fucking pizza order it, they're trying to solve the case and the retarded way that jc goes about it makes it funny yes first thing we need to do to solve this is burn all the evidence yes absolutely it's the best way to, to fucking solve or at least leave it lying around for other people to contaminate like oh well, uh, so his, uh, his laptop hmm please should probably help with this hey cleaning lady can i have my friend's laptop sure Okay. Sonic.exe. Some people liked it, but it's uh, it's considered quite bad these days. Sonic.exe too. Everyone hated it. She's like JC the Hyena. Better combine the both of them into a really long story. Jack, Stonks. Wait, Jacob, Jacob, and most of the people in the chat. I'm gonna throw this out to everyone else. What are you doing tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Um, I don't think I'm doing any. I don't think I have any plans. Do we have plans tomorrow night? No, apparently I, I'm working, but I won't be. Because okay, because I'll probably get out of work by, <clears throat> by 7 p.m. at the latest. Because I feel bad because that guy, what's his name? Donated 20 quid just now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, what was his name, sorry? It was, it, was a, it was a lady. Cow, cow, cow yeah. queen. Sorry, my lady. Yeah. <laughs> Tips for Dora. Um, she just donated 20 quid. Unsheathed katana. I literally have to go. I was supposed to be gone by half five and it's now quarter to seven. So what we could do is stream, well, you can do a bit more, whatever, and we'll stream uh, tomorrow in the evening yeah. this if you if you, if anyone would be up for that as a continuation because I could be here and then we could call up Matt and he'll be asleep but still we could call up Matt call anyway up, call up Matt at 3am oh it's really Matt Dixon you guys or you could come round but how late would you be able to stay because I won't be able to come until the I evening know, Ooh. Well, it's really Matt Dixon the hash thing is that sure comes on. Uh, don't worry, we, we will continue right. this for a little while longer after Toby leaves, because obviously some of you have just arrived, especially if we're getting Super Chats as well, and I don't want to be dicks to you guys that have Super Chatted, who uh, maybe yeah. can't be here tomorrow. But we will be doing more of the stream tomorrow, so Toby can stay longer. One US dollar. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. From Leaf and Sarah. I've oh, by the way, guys, I, before the, before June is out, um, we've got this ridiculous 1990s PS1 game called Martian Gothic, which is set in June 2019. Now, obviously, we'll never get the opportunity to stream it in June 2019 again, so we'd like to do that before the end. Why don't we do that Wednesday yeah, morning? Yeah, I'm up something. for that, mate. I'm up for that Wednesday morning. Yeah, because yeah, uh, 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 right. I've got to pick up Scarlet on Wednesday. But we can do that Wednesday. Um, right, I'm going to have to hang up now, Matt, so someone else is going to have to call you up. All right, I'm just going to read these. All right. So... So, yeah, me and Matt. Just leave your phone. Yeah, yeah no, leave, I'm not leave, leave your phone, phone here, here, butt yeah. monkey. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> All right. 
Okay. Uh, Can I just say Candle Jack before I leave? Candle Jack? The amateur Sherlockian says, Yes, a stream tomorrow would be great. I'll be driving to Omaha, so this will be a great way to pass You're the time. You're welcome to participate in the investigation if you wish, Tom. Of course, you'll have to stay out of our way sometimes for your own safety. Sarah. Sarah explained. I think that's the sound of a Scottish person doing a Northern English accent. That's what you hear. So, Sarah explained. Is, and normally we don't allow citizens to get involved, but we're very low on leads, as you already know. <laughs> no, it's like, normally we don't allow, but we're, we're so fucking incompetent that we've got to ask for help from outside the force, because otherwise we'll never catch this bastard. So we need to drag some dribbling imbecile in to help us. Yeah. I think there's a spoon in me brain. <laughs> Apparently, it's you, Derek. Yeah, Derek said. And you look like a smart kid. So, as of right now, you're our only lead on this situation. They eventually reached the crime scene, which was the classroom Miss Wilkinson taught English in. Before any of them could enter, however, a cop stopped them. Can we do this? Sure. Hold it right there, Green! The cop said, putting a hand up. Tom got a look at the officer, dressed in typical police uniform. He didn't look he. He didn't, he didn't look like a very friendly looking he didn't look like a very friendly looking again just he how about he wasn't a very friendly looking cop or he didn't look like again let me fix this for you jc because apparently i'm your proofreader now he didn't look like a very friendly cop there you go you stupid cunt all uh, right joe richardson the jc stands for just children um thanks for the five pounds he seemed a bit older than... What is it? Yeah, I just want to talk about... Since, like, JC had, had, so he had a bunch of people in the community, but his community, air quotes, like, proofread and edit this, do you think they cut out all the bits where, he, like, uh, the, you know, all the bits were just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to uh, go look for some child porn, right? Or yeah. Do you think it was actually a college? And it wasn't like, oh, what, it was like, hanging around a preschool. The fact this person, like, it's just, he's, he's just like a lol cow, but it's like nobody's called him on this shit either, do you know what I mean? Like... He's not, that's the problem, like, he's not famous enough for it to be, like, an event, like, you know, when you're in Pro Jared, like, had sex with that bug-eyed goblin, it was like, that was a big deal. Or like, but, like, with Mr. Creepypasta, nobody cared about Mr. Creepypasta cheating on, on his wife with, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of thoughts, like, nobody cared, because he's no one important. This, this community is fucking garbage. He seemed a bit older than Green, uh, red-haired, sharp-faced, pointed nose and had a bit of a sneering grin lingering on his face speaking of pointed noses matt i've been watching uh death note and i've noticed in certain shots how ryuk looks like nathan shepherd and it's really fucking distracting we well, did used to dress kind of like that back in you know uh like yeah, but like the way like he has like that kind of like quite quite like square top of his head, like the the sticking up hair, the little pointed nose, this face, like the actual expression he makes with his mouth, it looks like Nathan. It's really weird. I get, next time I speak to him, I can ask him how he feels about apples. This one. <laughs> he seemed to be older than we are. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Tom could see the prominent lines on the cop's face. This isn't a crime scene, not a daycare centre. Wait, this is a crime scene, not a daycare centre. That kid can't come in here. I'll tell you what, if JC, if JC, if JC the hyena was at a, a daycare centre, it would pretty quickly become a fucking crime scene. Let me tell you. <laughs> It's like this is a, this is a no this this isn't a crime scene. This is a daycare centre. It's not a crime scene yet, my friend. Yeah. He said rather offhandedly, "I'm aware of that, Officer Craven." He's he's named Officer Craven. Did he just go? Hmm. Let's see. Directors. Craven. Green said steadily, looking at the cop. A good guy. How can I do that? It's like, oh, let's well, let's call him a name for cowardice. There we go. Green said steadily, looking at the cop with obvious annoyance in his eyes. However, he's with me. He's a witness to the last victim. And... And because you don't got any leads, he's basically all you got, huh? Officer Craven... 
Yeah, I'm absolutely with you. He's like, this child can't come to this crime scene. He's like, well, he's with me. He's like, well, you haven't got any leads. How are you a detective? Like, oh yeah, Officer Craven is slash our guy. He is the what was the name of the dad in um in Life is Strange? Does anyone remember? Dave. Dave. This guy is the Officer Craven is the Dave of Sonic EXE remake. I'm telling you. And then um yeah, it's David. That was it, David. I was like, Are you really so desperate to catch? Desperate to catching. Are you really so desperate to catch this guy? Hey hey. This guy that you gotta scrape the bottle of the barrel or something green? Or this is directly at JC? The Wait, minor. the bottle? I thought you read it wrong. The bottle of the barrel. <laughs> the bottle of the barrel! <laughs> the bottle of the... You thick fuck. <laughs> the bottle of the barrel. Yeah, no wonder he's trying to fuck young boys because no one his own age will touch him. <laughs> Jesus, could you imagine a, like an adult <laughs> reading this story and going, yeah, I want to date that. <laughs> This guy writes detective fiction. <laughs> a genre one generally is supposed to be quite smart to be able to write as well. That escalated quickly. Oh, Christ. Tom... You know whenever we bring up, uh, like, oh, you don't bother the, uh, uh, Mitchell Webster, like, the research there. No, you're right, though. They don't. They don't bother to research anything. Oh, it's just idiotic. <laughs> the bottle in the barrel, because the bottle had been placed there. The officer had thrown it away. <laughs> 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 Are you scraping the bottom of the barrel? <laughs> I've been looking for my bottle of Biddenden's Kentish Tider. I saw it in a barrel that Detective Green was looking in. My mum had thrown it away. It was a Gemma, was it? A bottle of Biddenden's? <laughs> No, I actually let it die for a while and then, like, we'd start doing the stream and it suddenly became tremendously funny again. Although I was quite smashed the other night and watched that scene on YouTube with, with, with some friends. It was just like, hey guys, watch this. It's like, the bandit had been throwing them away. <laughs> it's just like fucking everybody just dying. Look at that. Everyone, like, there was, like, just oh, the, so some of the some of the Twitch squad are in the chat then. So yes. anybody who who uh, follow us on Twitch, fucking Lucas Aid. Uh, it became clear to Tom from the conversation that Green and this cop did not see eye to eye. One, Derek Green could talk properly and understood what how figures of speech were supposed to sound. Look, kid, here's some advice. Craven continued, looking at Tom now, his smug grin showing more. You don't want to get involved with this guy. Why is he now Italian-American? <laughs> That's just happened. He had quite a normal, like, non-accent a minute ago. He's like, you started with like, look, kid, here's some advice. And then you went to, you don't want to get involved with this wise guy. All right? I just felt it. It felt it right It moment. felt right. Yeah. You don't want to get involved with this guy. He thinks he's some hero. But truth is, he's just a rookie on a wild goose chase. But truth is, no, how about how? Just fuck it. I know it's dialogue, but like, yeah. <laughs> this is oh, he's craving the guy from the ice cream store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you know I moonlight here at Morelli's ice cream place. What? I like that dumb kid who comes in with the funny little hat. Bada bing, bada boom. Hey, I put one scoop on there. Want another scoop? You give that a lick, you tell me what you think of the flavor. Yeah, okay, Officer Craven is going to be Italian American. Right? <laughs> uh, also, he's like, he's just called another guy a rookie on like Twitch. Is he like, isn't this guy detective? Isn't he like doesn't he significantly older than Derek Green? Yeah, he's like 20 years older than Derek Green. Yeah, another guy a rookie. I'm like, isn't this guy detective? Isn't he like, doesn't he significantly outrank you? Right? <laughs> Tom felt the annoyance that Green was feeling. Immediately, he looked at Craven in the face and coolly said, At least he's out chasing the bad guy instead of sitting around at his desk, annoying everybody around him. Craven smiled, dropped. Instead of Craven smiled, dropped at that remark. Sarah tried to stifle a giggle. Is she spelled stifle correctly this time? And Tom could sense Green was smiling himself. All right. Excuse us, Officer Craven. Derek said as he, Sarah, and Tom walked past Officer Craven. <laughs> whose name I apparently really like typing. 
who was red in the face, hotly looking at the trio. So, where was that guy? Tom asked Green and Sarah. <laughs> you should know by now you said his name 400 times. Officer Richard Craven, Green answered, for fuck's sake. He's been harassing me and Sarah ever since we took the case. Real type A personality, that guy. Around a precinct, we call him Officer Dick. Sarah then said, We suspect he's jealous of us trying to solve this case. To him, catching this psychopath is like winning a gold medal at an Olympic sport. Jeez, I must have been right on the nose with that remark then, Tom said, looking back to see Officer Craven back at his post. You've no idea, Green stated bitterly. But don't worry, he's pretty much useless. Anyway, here we go. He gestured the two towards the crime scene. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. And here we go. Mr. Wilkinson's classroom was for the most part intact, though her desk was a mess. All that was on it had been knocked off, and in their stead, lying flat on her back, was Miss Wilkinson. <laughs> it's shocking how much of this story is dedicated to, like, to Detective Green taking an underage person to crime scenes where there are violent murders, like... I thought Tom was JC's self-insert, but I'm starting to think with all the time he spends showing this underage boy in like inappropriate things that perhaps Derek Green is the self-insert character for the author. I don't care. Do you, do you, do you I'm, I'm, want me to read yeah, that? I'm actually really losing patience with this. Deathly pale, a look of shock on her face, her mouth white, kicked and plucked, her jaw hanging uselessly. <laughs> Stop it, me. Tom's stomach almost turned looking at the poor woman. Seeing her corpse like this reminded him of how Kyle died. <laughs> okay. began calmly, walking around, examining the scene and the corpse. <clears throat> so this one's more recent than the last one, obviously. Judging by the state of things, she died sometime around 10.30 to 11.30pm last night. And how do you know this? <laughs> like, He's then, a detective. Like, Yeah, but he, that's a coroner's job. I know, and also it's like they don't explain like how he figures that out either. Which yeah. Is, is, it'd be more interesting. Right, um... Tom? What's she doing here? Tom asked, standing next to Sarah as they watched Derek. Most likely preparing to head home. Derek described, pointing at a folder containing today's homework and a purse. She was preparing to leave the room before she was assaulted. Derek knelt down looking at all of the books, papers and the computer that was scattered on the floor around the desk. The killer easily overpowered her. She couldn't even put up much of a struggle. He did his thing. In no time flat. Jesus! Tom whispered as he looked at Wilkinson's corpse. What kind of maniac is capable of such brutality? Herbert Daring Dashwood and his Star Wars ghoul man servant Argyle. <laughs> Green? Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, freaking animal. That's what. Green answered flatly. But what's weird is that there's no signs of any entry or intrusion prior to the death. What? <laughs> Tom looked at Green uns <laughs> Tom looked at Green surprised. <coughs> That's another thing about the victims, Sarah explained. Prior to all the deaths... All oh, their deaths. <laughs> Prior to all their deaths. There hadn't been a single sign of entry. The doors or windows weren't open or unlocked. We even scanned for fingerprints. Nothing. Not even on the victims. We even scanned. Like, like, isn't that just a standard thing you do? You scan for fingerprints. Like, I was like, oh, we even broke it all the stuff. We looked for fingerprints. <laughs> yeah, lads, we even did the bare minimum. Wait, seriously? Tom asked, unsure if he heard correctly. 
You guys saying this guy just appeared out of nowhere and killed people without touching them? You guys saying this guy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he may have worn gloves. Well, I mean, we don't want to draw any conclusions yet. Derek responded. Point is, somebody is in fact doing this. As bizarre as it looks, there is one other thing. Derek motioned to the computer. Computer laying on the floor, its screen black and cracked. In every single one of the murder. <laughs> okay, there are two ways you can fix this sentence, JC. There's one. Or, and bear with me, it's just a... Uh, Boom. Sorted. Every single one of the murder. <laughs> We've investigated. We've also noticed that the victim's computers are also damaged in some way. Usually with laptops, it's just the screen being damaged and the battery completely dead. Thinking about it, Tom then inquired. <clears throat> Do you think the killer's destroying computers because they contain something he didn't want known? Green shook his head. No, I don't. We originally thought that was in fact the case with the first murder. This is how people speak. But all these deaths are just random civilians who have no association with one another. Not to mention, when we repaired some of the laptops, they appeared to be completely free of any suspicious files. You might say they had been deleted. The owners of the computers had been throwing them away. So that theory, I'm afraid, is out the door. Damn! Tom cursed. It really did seem like they hit a dead end. A killer had been able to invade people's homes without leaving any signs of an entry or, in fact, any trace of his existence. Whoever this murderer was, not only was he a deranged individual, he was also very good at what he was doing, too. Or being deranged. Like. Yes. <laughs> He was so insane that he was really meticulous. Okay. Detective Green! A voice from behind called out. The trio turned to see a cop at the door. The principal's looking for you. He said he needs you help with the assembly. I didn't know Matt was here doing voices. Oh, jeez. I feel like, oh, I feel like we should have made Green talk like Morty. Oh, jeez. I always hate having to be part of such announcements. It would have worked with Richard Craven. Oh, jeez, yeah. Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, Derek. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Uh, can't bring a kid in there. I find this upsetting. I don't think I have a high enough IQ to be in this story. Tom, Tom nodded. Oh. All right. And Tom. Derek spoke up before Tom turned to leave. Remember, you're a part of this investigation now. <laughs> you're my favourite deputy. <laughs> it's up to you to look for anything you might help. If you find anything, or if anything happens, I'll be sure to come to you straight away. Tom immediately finished. This guy killed Kyle. I'm not taking any chances and let him... And let him kill anyone else. Just, again, just this. There you go, and it's fixed. With that, he bid Derek and Sarah farewell and headed straight back to his dorm room. Thoughts of what had transpired. Thrimming, swimming, thrimming's not even a word. What's wrong with me? Thoughts of what had transpired, swimming through his head like a whirlpool in the deep, deep ocean. A lot of things didn't seem to make sense to Tom. He tried to examine... Base... Basic, basic sentence structure, how the world worked, how human beings interacted with one another, why it was inappropriate to have sexual role plays with underage boys. He tried to examine all he knew so far about the murders. One, the killer had somehow entered the victim's home without leaving any traces of his presence or a break-in. What was Tom studying? 
at college? I do not know. Was <laughs> because if he wasn't studying to be like a, a, a for, yeah, a forensic scientist or something, there is no reason he should be like sitting at home like, all right, let's let's crack this case wide open, boys. Let's do what the local fucking police couldn't. Yeah. I hope he's studying something really like this is art history major or something. Two, he had been pulling open the victim's mouth to the point of tearing the jaw off almost completely. I'm going to take a short break so we can cook Logan's dinner. That's fine. Shall I just read? Yeah, you just read for a bit. Um, I'll leave the chat with you as well. As well as severely damaging the inside of their throats and chest afterward. And three, the computers were ending up... Full disclosure, up, I just hung up on Max. My battery's about to die. Were ending up broken during the time of murder. With their screens cracked and their batteries dead. Matt, fuck off. Tom did not want to imagine the possibility of there being any supernatural forces at work, despite the rising amount of evidence to the contrary. Excuse me? Sorry, I just left the room, and apparently there's rising evidence that there are supernatural forces at work. I some Didn't it just say this happened because the deranged person was good at killing and good at covering up his tracks? Yes. What new evidence, in the time it's taken me to pick up my phone to, to plug it in to charge it, and, and go into the kitchen where I can cook... What new evidence in that 30 seconds has, has popped up? Nothing. Right, it's nothing. I thought so. Thank you. It just seemed too ridiculous and perhaps too yeah, horrifying. It does. Yeah, it does seem too ridiculous. For Tom to think about. He always believed that the world we all lived in was a world of reason. There was always a justifiable explanation behind every occurrence, event or action, always a means to an end. Everything had a reason. Hoping to find answers through Kyle's laptop, he returned to his dorm room and plugged the charger into it. Kill me now. The assembly began about an hour later. What time is it? I'm a pickle, Tom. I'm Pickle Sonic. Thank you, Spaghetti Time, for the two dollars. Hoping to find answers through Kyle's laptop, he returned to his dorm room and plugged the charger into it. That I've already said that. The assembly began about an hour later. Tom, among many other students, looked up at the stage in the atrium, while others quietly chatted amongst themselves as Principal Sullivan, a man who looked that looked to be in his forties, walked up to the podium, a solemn look on his face. Tom could also see Detective Green on the stage as well as the sitting next to several teachers. Attention, students. <laughs> Sullivan spoke before clearing his throat. It was, I actually, I, I actually believed he'd written students. Like I, I think I didn't look at the screen. I was walking into the room. And I just assumed he'd actually spelt it as students. As I'm sure several of you are aware, we have lost a recent and valuable member of our faculty. Someone in the chat just said, "I think JC, the hyena, probably never went to college." You fucking think? I don't think he went to school. English teacher Diane Wilkinson was confirmed dead earlier this morning, possibly murdered by the same unknown assailant that has taken the life of a one Kyle Scott. Several students chatted in surprise and shock amongst themselves, whilst others called out to the stage, demanding an explanation. Why has this story been written? Why? <laughs> Just say, yeah. <laughs> Tell an explanation. Why does this story exist? Why is there so much foot fetish art about Sonic the Hedgehog? Why are there so many images of Sonic being pregnant? Why does the author think trying to get off with 14-year-old boys is appropriate at his age? <laughs> Tom remained silent with his friends watching Principal Sullivan... Sullivan... I, I, to be honest, I thought that said caress. That didn't say caress, that says quiet. I need to wear my glasses. <laughs> With friends watching Principal Sullivan quiet the entire student body to continue speech. Now I know this seems like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, just saw in the, in the chat when I said like, oh, I don't think he went to school. He did go to schools, just not for education. <laughs> <laughs> now I know this seems like quite a terrible shock and a tragedy, Sullivan continued, but let us not feel discouraged. We will have time to mourn the loss of a fellow teacher in this faculty. And I assure you, the police are doing everything they can to search and catch the killer. 
The one leading the investigation, Detective Derek Green, he gestured for Green to take the stand, would like to say a few words with you all. Please give him your undivided attention. The principal stepped aside and allowed Green to come up to the podium. Testing the mic, Green began talking. Greetings, everyone. I just want to say that I deeply apologise for the recent couple of tragedies. Why did you kill them? Like, what do you mean you apologise? No, that's not what that means. I'm deeply sorry, yeah, but you don't, you're not apologising. Oh, for fuck's sake. That have taken place. No decent human being should have to suffer to su should have to suffer to such a barbaric manner. How about how about should have to suffer in such a barbaric manner? Maybe let alone. M oh my god! All right, ignoring like the fucking ridiculous constant grammar errors, like let alone murdered at all. Like Jesus Christ, it's just so redundant. Every sentence is so redundant. You're just saying shit that everybody already knows. That is why I want to assure you that we are doing everything in our power to find and arrest this person before he gets away with any more murders. Even though you are all sleeping, eating, and are being educated in this establishment like any other ordinary college, the fact still stands. A killer is out there, and you are all not safe. If any of you see anything suspicious, go to any of your teachers that are nearby straight away. Whoever this killer is, it's likely he'll come back to continue his work. But know that you have the law on your side. We won't rest until we've found and apprehended the murderer. I cannot promise you the guarantee of your safety, but I will promise you this. As long as the law exists on this planet, somewhere, somehow, this man will be brought to justice. And it will be certain that he won't hurt another innocent human being ever again. Thank you for your time. As Green left the podium, Tom felt a strong feeling in his heart as he watched him take his seat. Green's speech brought confidence back to Tom, even though the situation as of right now seemed troubling. Tom was no doubt certain that the chances of the killer succeeding in another death had gone slim. Had gone slim. <laughs> Everyone was prepared for his return this time. That will be all for now, students, Principal St Sullivan stated. You may all return to your dorm rooms. And remember, be careful. Matt's, by the way, apparently here. Hello, Matt. Um, do you guys think the killer really gonna to try to come back for another round? <laughs> might you say, the, might you ask if the killer is ready for round two? <laughs> uncertainty as she, Tom, Roger and Mike walked down the hall. Of course he's gone! Mike scoffed. He's already iced Kyle and Wilkinson. If he's able to sneak into this room twice it'll pretty much be a cakewalk the third time. Come on, game designers. <laughs> Tom shook his head. Nah, I don't think he's gonna risk it. If everyone's now aware he's been targeting this college, charges are he's gonna lay low for a while. I'm kinda hoping he shows up so we can catch him. Like, wouldn't it be, like, insane if the four of us actually caught the bastard ourselves? Yes. Roger asked. That'd be cool, Mike said, grinning, already imagining the scenario in his head. I mean, there's only four of you. Oh, there's only four of the U.S. There's only four of us, and only one of him. Plus, I'm the class football champ. He'd have to think twice before trying to kill me. Sonic's the man. Speeds, Mikey. <laughs> I don't think the killer's gonna care if you play college ball, Mike. <laughs> We're coming to you. If you play sports ball, Mike. <laughs> Mike here's a college quarterback. Tom admitted. He can run the whole field in 31 seconds. From what Detective Green's told me, the dude's crazy enough to kill anything he sees. And from what I've seen in the photos, don't say that. Vicky snapped, hugging Mike, who put his hand Wait, is he arm. talking about the case? Yes! He's talking about this confidential shit the police have told him in confidence. And he's just like, so, guys, 
These murder. Do you want to see the crime scene photos? I took photocopies. <laughs> they just let me take them home. Because that's how this works. Don't, don't say that, Vicky Snap. That creep isn't going anywhere near my Michael. Babe, Mike grows embarrassed, embarrassedly. Embarrassedly? Look at that. Embarrassedly. I, I have a question. Why would you still be fucking there? Two people have been murdered. One of them was your friend. Like, you know, education couldn't wait a year. Yeah, <laughs> year. I'm moving to fucking Canada. Embarrassedly. Uh, don't worry, guys. Tom assured them. Looking you know, at all. I'm quite embarrassed at, at your behaviour right now. Calm the fuck down. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, guys. Tom, he's dabbing. He's wearing. No, not. There's no way you can prove that. He's wearing a skeleton dabbing shirt, and he's dabbing. Don't worry, guys. Tom assured them, looking at all three of them as they took a turn down the hall. I'm not gonna let this asshole get you guys. It's bad enough Kyle's gone, but I'm gonna see to it this guy's behind bars before he much so much lays a finger on any of you. Hey, thanks, Tom. Roger said appreciatively, putting his hand on. He's. How is he doing this wrong? Appreciatively, putting his hand on Tom's shoulder. Oh, Tom! Vicky tearfully exclaimed, running over to Tom to hug him. God damn, man! Mike said quietly, almost chokingly. You really know how to move a guy with your words. This is, this is like, this is just the idea of an inspirational talk, isn't it? I know, it was like, <laughs> it's just a terrible. I can't tell if you're actually crying for real. <laughs> As I reached the door to Tom's dorm, Tom then said, Hey, anyway, I'm probably gonna continue playing some more of that weird game Kyle played in a bit. Anyone wanna watch? Yeah, sure, you can count me in. Roger said enthusiastically. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, game dude! <laughs> Mike agreed. I want to see what this freaky ass game's all about. Uh, meh. I've got nothing else better to do. And I kinda need something to help me get all this murderer talk off my mind. So I'm in too. Vicky shrugged with a smile. Oh, hey! Mike interjects before Tom puts his hand on the door. Why not make this more fun? The classroom for anime clubs still open right now. Why don't we link Tom's laptop to the projector and we can watch his game on the projector screen? Every time I come back in this room, I'm just fucking crushed. Anime club? Are we allowed to do that? Vicky asked. Probably I mean, not. You're, you're probably not allowed to take crime scene photos home, but you know. <laughs> oh, come on, Mike nudged Tom in the shoulder with a sly grin. You're only going to play the game for a little bit today, right? We'll be out of the anime club classroom before anyone has a chance to spot us. Before anyone has a chance to see us and beat us up for being an anime club. <laughs> Tom thought about it. Perhaps if they were only in there for a little while... Uh, all right, I'm sold, Tom stated. Let me go grab my laptop and we can get going. With that, his friends patiently waited as Tom ran into his dorm room and grabbed his laptop, and together they set off to the classroom. <laughs> Chapter 5. Chapter 5. No, no, Chapter 5. Jacob, are chapter we continuing with Chapter 5? No, no, that's the, that's the end. We're finishing you there, chapter five. Hello, everybody! I was going to say, you can call us mid-conversation. I don't give a shit! <laughs> All right, we have hello. Matt, we've got Matt in the building this time, yeah. and not with the I mic. can go outside and bring in if you want. No. We've been, right, well, so Toby, we didn't know what, what, what was happening, so like, I got home from work, Matt was already here, we started drinking. Mm. Um, Toby's, Toby's just arrived, so if, um... I'm, I'm catching up. I'm if you so, say the N-word, it's the booze talking, yeah, it's, not us. It's, oh, whoa, whoa. I'm like, I'm like Mel Gibson, alright? I drink and then I turn grossly racist. Alright. Oh, nuts. Alright, chapter five, everyone. Um, chapter five. Right, I, I'm still posting about the stream, I've got to make sure people show up first. That's okay. Well, we can start reading anyway. Gemma, start reading. I, I always thought no... Toby looked like Gordon Ramsay. How? What? 
That's what Mr. Glass just said. So who's got? Is that Pepsi he's Man? Got glass no, eye? that's Mysterio. Sorry. What Pepsi Man? What? Uh, he, he's picked to look like Pepsi Man. Um, well, we've got seventy-two exactly people Mysterio. here at one point. Dark mode with you anyway. I agree. See. No, I, I honestly, because it makes me think of the crew. One of the things I was criticised about the crew pastor wiki is how it had um, just stories on it. Yeah, but like it was, it was annoying to read the stories because it was white text on a black background. If you remember in our yeah, early episodes, yeah. I'd always be like, "Oh, can someone else?" It's like, this is actually hurting my eyes. Hi, you by the way. Hi, yeah, Matt, I, know, I understand hi, that. Yeah, well, so I guess it's different people for different dogs, right? I'm ready for Chris. JC meets his uh, his nemesis, Chris Hansen. <laughs> Oh, was it last week? We were like, yeah, Chris Chanson. Yes, like, Chris Chanson, yes. It's officially been a year, folks, <clears throat> since Chris Chan turned up at that, that, that anime convention or whatever it was, and he ended up having a fit. And then oh, was that saw, a year ago? That was a year Jesus ago today, yeah, when, he, when he was asked to be removed by security. Oh, oh God, the memories. That was a year ago, why? Oh, that was too many games, he broke the staff. That was it. Thank you very much for correcting me. Spurgonomics. Fuggernomics. <laughs> the Chris Chan. The Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Chris Chan. <laughs> Chris, Chris Chan. Ancient descendant brother. Chris Chong. Yeah, this is like his Chinese self insert. Why is, why is Chris, Chan, Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Chris uh, Chan. The documentary is back on the internet. Yes, it's it's returned. Part fifteen. Uh, but if there's um there's the documentary. Is there, there's um a thing called a PCP University where they basically do a lecture about him. PCP. Isn't PCP. That a fucking drug? Yeah, it's a it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a bunch of like YouTubers sit around while one person oh, gives right. a lecture and it's like just, here's the story of you know Christian Western journalists. <laughs> All about how my Chris life. Chung. His life got to the Fresh Prince of Fresh Prince of Quickville. Yeah. Yeah, how my life got zapped that. straight upside down. All right. Um, chapter five. Got in one little fight and saw two got scared. Yes, yeah. I got in one little <laughs> YouTube fight and my dad got angry. <laughs> Take that shit off the internet. <laughs> I am dead. That's I'm working class. on it. Sure. Are we already? Shit. Yeah. She. Sure enough, the door was open. Tom. Roger, Mike, and Vicky entered the classroom. The classroom? The anime. The anime club. No, no, say it right, Animu. Uh, also, that the Animu club took place in was a fairly large room found on the first floor of the college. Tom placed his laptop on a desk while Mike searched the projector. Vicky sat while Roger sat, pulled down the projector screen. Where the hell there, Vicky? Yeah, I found it! Mike pulled out the projector as well as the cable required from the closet and brought it over to Tom who looked it over and worked on it as Mike plugged it into the wall to power it, the remote to turn it on. Using the remote to turn it on. After everything's plugged in, Tom looks to see his desktop on projection screen, on this projection screen, sorry. Who is Tom? Oh, I'm Tom, aren't I? Yeah. Right there. Uh, right where, where are we? All right. all right, we're all set. All right, we're all set. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ended up being everyone. Does it? Like, Hell yeah, man! Uh, Mike agreed, sitting next to Vicky. Okay. That's a weird-looking game icon you've got there, Tom. The one that sort of sound like That's a weird-looking game icon. It's supposed to be Russian. You've got there. Like, who the fuck speaks like this? Uh, Vicky commented, pointing at the X-shaped Fisher icon. Anal Fisher. Hi. <laughs> I know, right? It's totally fucking W dash dash. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's voice halted as he looked at the X on his screen. His voice halted. Like, why are they being so descriptive? Like, we could do this about Jacob's, uh, sorry, Gemma's <laughs> laptop right now. Like, yeah, keep the keyboard broken. away from Jacob because you start spell, uh, like, you know, doing spelling errors and well, fixing them. Yeah. Was his eyes playing tricks on him? The man was playing tricks on me. What a song that is. Or the X icon even bigger than the last time he saw it. Is this like an X like in the corner, but it's getting slowly bigger? Oh, okay. I thought you said bigger. It's getting even bigger than before. The lines looked as if they had lengthened slightly. A few more cracks farming from the fissure. For farming? This is you, Jacob. Hey. Does. Does. That X look bigger to you guys? I asked quietly. What do you mean? Roger asked. <laughs> it's on a projection uh, screen, so... <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is a pretty big projection. Mike said cluelessly. <laughs> huh. Tom was feeling that old sense of dread before, from before the last time he played this game. <laughs> Not like the new sense he was of dread. worried about what all this could mean. Weeaboo. 
Gamer, furry, the dark trifecta. Thank you very much, Wolfing Sock, for that. Um, he began to worry what this could all mean, what it might happen. What would he see that creature again? Would they see it? Tom ultimately decided to suppress these doubts for the sake of entertaining his friends with his game and to see for himself what else his game had to offer. That was a shit sentence. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is you sort of in the quotation marks. It goes on from the, from the. It's. Never mind. The Nirvana album. Let's just get the play. Well, of course, that would be his favourite Nirvana album because of the naked baby on the front. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This is, wait, wait. It's, it's Jason Hill. It's not the guy from <laughs> The Lost Prophets. Let's not go too far. Da, 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 da. I'm going to stop. Um, <clears throat> why were you doing um, tequila? No, that was... Uh, can't can't catch da, 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 da. No! Can't, can't Catch Tomorrow. No, I was trying to do... What's that song uh, by The Lost Prophets? Uh, oh, what a fucking baby? The, yeah, probably. That was <laughs> one of their hits. The um, one that goes... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Put it in there. Put it the baby. <laughs> oh, it's just... Someone in the chat knows what song I was doing. What no, you gonna, no one What you gonna no do one. to the baby? Tequila! Nobody knows, baby. Put your dick in the baby. The rude, the rude sandstorm. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh. Shut up, <laughs> motherfucker! That's countdown. You're What's never, wrong? you're never gonna live that night. What's wrong with that? Toby can't carry a tune in the fucking bucket. You moved bucket. the mouse over to the icon, clicked it, and then waited, watching, watching the screen. There needs to be a compilation of Toby trying to, to like recount what songs sound like. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Toby can't like, do tunes number forty-seven. Yeah, there needs to be like, a Name that tune. Of it. Could you I imagine mean, Toby on that Never Mind the Bus Call? Yeah. It'd be fucking useless. Oh. Like uh, countdown. <laughs> Jay, Jay sees seven guardians. I like fourteen-year-old boys. I like. Thank you for the three ninety-nine, Uncle Octopus. You've always been there for me. Uh, um. Watching the screen on the on his laptop as his friends watch the projection screen sitting ahead of him while you know we should speak up a little because you're quite far from the mic. Yeah. Oh yeah, lean forward. You, I mean, so I will put your punching range. Like, just like last time, the screen went black, then silence. But instead of hearing the Green Hill music box, just like last time, it immediately cut to the sky background with the Sonic title. This surprised Tom a little bit, but he ignored it and just pressed enter, hearing Vicky eagerly say, "I like that sky background. It looks so peaceful." It reminds me of Chernobyl. <laughs> it reminds me of the town of Pripyat where I was born. And then once we again, ate one potato a year, then, we were decadent. We had to learn how to eat potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> I don't know what back to that was. As an Italian living in <laughs> Russia. <laughs> Mamma mia! I'm a Russian. Better bring, better bump. That's what you do with potatoes. Bubble up, comrade! Come eat this pizza! Traditional rub! That's why he had to learn how to eat potatoes, because he was used to eating nothing but pasta. <laughs> and then you add the thyme. <laughs> and then once again that creature's voice who is the creature can i be the creature no cope's the creature cope the cope cope the creature hey uh glad to see you're back hey it's sonic oh god this is awful <laughs> mike exclaimed with surprise no it's not <laughs> so, okay so let's just picture this so like you like some guys just like, that's like a, Ch a Chris Chan response, isn't it? Or something like that. Like, oh, oh hey, it's Sonic. No, it's not. <laughs> Start stabbing his foot. No, his Luigi. arms are blue. You didn't make it. Sometimes looking in the chat is such a strange experience. I just scrolled up and just saw... Oh my God, some of them... Just... He's like, we found older 14-year-old boys. JC had sexted. He had been throwing them away. <laughs> <laughs> like, fat controller. Ha <clears throat> <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> Uh, Tom oh. assured him. I totally got ninja by someone in the chat. Did I? No, I did. Oh, nice. What they say? It's it it about the Sonic's arms aren't blue thing. No, <laughs> no Luigi. Sonic's arms aren't blue. <laughs> Tom assured him a hint of worry in his voice. They weren't with him the first time he played the game. Hearing that voice already sent a chill to Tom. He was worried about what might happen, but he was going to take. He was going to back out now. He continued listening to the voice as it continued talking. Continued. I have not decided on a new game this time. I've had a bit of a busy day. So instead, I'm just going to drop someone into a new room for you. Feel free to explore. 
No one's going anywhere after all. So do you, realize, you, you do realise you sound a bit like Jared Butler, but from um, How to Train Your Dragon? Oh, I... Spartans! <laughs> As the voice laughed... Tonight we dine in heck. As the voice laughed, with Roger sarcastically commenting, That's not... Look at that sentence! Oh, As yeah. the voice laughed, with Roger sarcastically commenting, Oh yeah, that laugh's still gonna get annoying anytime soon. <laughs> Tom reflected on the so creature's voice... Sorry, let me try that again. Tom reflected on the way the creature's voice worded all that. Yeah, it's not you that's the problem, Toby. It's the story. <laughs> Dread already steeled him to be ready for whatever could happen. Steeled him? That's, a totally, Cold that's steel? a totally fine paragraph and absolutely doesn't need to be completely erased and then reworked from the ground up. Oh, God. Uh, right. The screen faded to a new location. Tom wasn't sure if this was still part of the ruined city level. It looked like a long hallway lined with many doors. The overall bright theme of the place made it look like this was a hallway or a hotel. Tom moved the camera to see, to his surprise, he was playing as a new character, Sally Acorn. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh my god. Oh it's, no. Please, please tell me that Bulging Sally. throat. Yeah, that Sally.exe is, is fucking canon now. Oh, no. Hey, hey! Is that is that chick that Sonic hung out with in that one cartoon? I'm trying to pretend that I don't know her name. I have a picture of her on my wall. And a folder. A folder I must never let my parents... Fortunate son play. Sorry, son plays. <laughs> Mike spoke up, snapping his fingers as if he struck a fork. You, you mean Sally? She's having a nerve rage right now. Vicky asked him as Tom moved over, moved. So her Vicky down doesn't the hall seem um, doesn't seem too sure either, and yet does, wasn't Vicky the one who's going on at the comics? Yeah. And Sally, I'm pretty sure, appears in the comics yep. several times. Okay. That's oh, you found a plot hole. But oh wait, sharp about plot hey, holes. They don't that's marry. That's a chick. Hides E twenty. Hides E six hundred twenty one tab. <laughs> so that's Oscar. I love him. Um, <laughs> Did you ever see that video yes, about shut up, uh, shut up about plot holes? That uh, did someone say that's what she's called? Not yet. That's what she's called? Mike responded. Huh, the more you know. You know what they say, the more the merrier. Uh. Tom, meanwhile, was unsure about which door to enter or how to write a story. He didn't want to risk <laughs> falling for a trap. <laughs> just the just time, sneak that straight in there. No one notices. No one notices. No one notices. It's fine. Roger then spoke up. Go through that door. Tom looked up to see Roger was pointing at a door right next to Sally on his left. Tom moved to the door and had Sally open it. Sally had entered a strange room. It was a large room, except it seemed... Small. It was, literally just a transcript it was a large room, room right? much larger than before. It seems distorted. Furniture looked like there were sl they were slanted or twisted deformed. A number of additional features have been added to the building in a way that was so subtle. Scarcely noticed the difference. And on the walls Speak up, let the people hear you. Yeah. Both of which seemed crooked and bent in bizarre ways. If Tom wasn't unnerved by the whole experience, he would have assumed this room... Hang on. Gra ah, ah, ah. This is Sanic speaking. <laughs> Sanic and the Jotty on Let's Plays. He would have assumed this room... Sonic's using his toy machine. <laughs> <laughs> where's where's the cider gone? Could you where's cider gone? My long lost friend, the cider. <laughs> Jesus got like that. We're like, going to have to get more booze, aren't yeah, we? Like, yeah, that's halfway gone. Jesus got... We, well, you did it in the last room was without booze. Nope. Uh, yeah, but that wasn't like two streams like on two back-to-back -back nights. Oh, man up. If Tom was an Never! Room, he would have assumed this room would have belonged to a fun house at a carnival. <laughs> what? What? Sorry, I just looked in the chat and so, saw Chaos Control! Well done, Sonic, you saved us! <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Who said that? Oh my god, oh, it's very nice. Uh, oh, when is um, episode three of your shadow? <laughs> Get some lemonade, Toby. Why? The chat said so. The uh, there actually is lemonade. Like, right, 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 right here, oh, that's like oh, an eight oh, pack of lemonade. Shit, yeah. guys, we don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he's off. He's done it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. 
Because if you guys think it's all white, I've got a crack addiction. <laughs> delicate balancing act between autism and degeneracy. <laughs> Tom heard Mike's comment with a loud. What? Tom heard Mike comment with a loud. What? Tom heard Mike's <laughs> comment with a loud. Stop it, both of you! I will bang your fucking heads together. We're just stuck in a loop. I just was like, what though? With a loud. Dude, this is fucking awesome! Yeah, man! As he heard Sally explore the distorted room for. Another door. Another door. In Toby's defense, at least his addiction isn't underage boy <laughs> on Discord. <laughs> Thank you, Uncle Palpy, for that comment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it is an old commercial, yes, and I had to, basically the story behind our one. Don't explain the story. Eventually, Tom found one after <laughs> wandering through the room. So he had it opened, and then he found Sally entering another room, and that. One that, for some reason, disturbs Tom even more. Even the author doesn't know why he's disturbing yeah. him. It's like, he's fucking, li he's listening to Disturbed. <laughs> Instead of this, can we hear story, uh, Toby's story about his addiction to lemonade? Oh, no, I don't, oh, I don't. Get any, down with the sickness. Uh, I don't Open any, up your hate and let it flow into me. I don't want any explanation given to the lemonade commercial. Like, the less people know about it, the better. Yes. I didn't even know, I didn't know, like, this is my lemonade I bought. I was like, um, I, I was going to get a bottle of water, but I fucked up and got spoiled. <laughs> I was like, fucking sparkling water. Yeah, you fucked water. it twice. Sorry, you went to get water, you brought back sparkling water, which, as as we discussed, tastes like TV it static. It exactly yes. tastes like that. Like, Jesus Christ, it's it tastes... fucking awful. <laughs> I don't know anyone. Who? Who? Yeah, in the world. It's currently it's sitting in a corner. <laughs> fucking aliens in Tell disguise. Me, who? Who let the dogs out? One of my asshole friends at work, you know that tricky flower people when they're hungover and you go like, oh, you're a really good cure for a hangover and you say something that, like, to make them ill. But like, I was really spaced, I was super hungover and I was like, oh, oh god, all the all the water that I can find in the fridge is fucking sparkling. Who even likes this garbage? And my friend said, it is rubbish, but it's really good for a hangover. And of course, me not thinking, because I was hungover, I was like, oh, really? I'll drink some. Halfway oh. down it, I'm like, this isn't helping. And oh, god, I just realised what you've just done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. You know, so you, you know what's a really good uh, uh, hang, uh, cure for hangover? Seawater. Have you ever seen the sea get drunk? He's right, you know. Drinking lemonade out of your dad's sea with a suffix compared to being JC the high, you know, you're off the hook, Toby. Thanks. Um, yeah, anyway, that really makes him best, you know. It was another large room, except it wasn't distorted or deformed like the previous ones. Instead, <laughs> it was a nice looking, dimly lit room. But that wasn't what Tom or the others had noticed. In the centre of the room, suspended by what looked like strings, was what looked like a red was fox. What? Was, what the lo <laughs> was what looked like a red fox? Turns out it was no, no, a vinyata. No, 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 no. It's in the centre of the room, suspended by what looked like strings, was what looked like a red fox. That's not a real sentence. That is actually what it says. It's not a real no, sentence. No, it's not. It's not mine, Gemma. Who, what looked like strings, was what looked like a red what, fox. What in the what? Oh what, my god. What, 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 oh, what my, is this? oh my god. Help me. That's Fiona. Who? Literally. Fiona! <laughs> li literally <laughs> fucking who? <laughs> Sparkling water doesn't taste that bad. How do I, um, how do I, like, just ban someone? Ban someone for how, a while? Ban someone from the internet? Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go to the dark web and hire an assassin. Yeah, how do you, how do you, go how how do you delete? Web, Matt, if you don't like, uh, dark mode. How do I delete <laughs> someone else's channel? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I was going to just hire an assassin to kill him. Who's Fiona? Uh, I haven't even done that bit. Vicky suddenly shouted in surprise as Tom had Sally walk closer to get a good look at her. Who's Fiona? Mike asked confused. Fiona Fox, your dumbass. Oh, that's cleared it up. Thanks, oh, Vicky. Thank uh, you. Oh, oh I, I get Because they're a fox. Vicky answered wrong. And their last name is Fox. Irritably. Yeah. It's your turn, Jack. Jack. Jack Jack. Jack Jack from The Incredibles. <laughs> Holy shit, it is! Tom muttered. Indeed, it was Fiona Fox from the Archie comics. <laughs> Jacob, why what? did we have to avoid this? What, why? What, the, the, she seemed to be only wearing a bra and panties and was strung up suspended by the strings. <laughs> and it was some kind of puffy. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. She looked, hold what's on. the next sentence? Sexy? Hang on. Unconscious. Oh, okay. Close <laughs> <enough. She laughs> yeah. If you read, if you read this motherfucker's fetish list online, he's into shit like people who are unconscious, and he's into shit like love holes, like new love holes. I love the fact that I taught you. Isn't that, that another song from the Cardigans? Right. Okay. So before I, are you Back saying from, from reading this, I think, are you saying maybe 
JC the hyena might be a furry. Potentially, but I'm not confirmed. Nani! They also, began, Nani! they also began to notice how beat up she looked. Grandma! Her hair was a mess. Her fur seemed unkempt. There was a map. Drenched in semen. There was a map of surgical scars all over her body. A note saying JC Hyena was here. Uh huh. Some of them appearing to be recent, as if someone performed a live autopsy on her. A live autopsy. <laughs> a live autopsy! <laughs> <laughs> so he has improved oh the God, last time. Right, a live autopsy! You mean a, a live autopsy? You mean surgery? <laughs> <laughs> you mean surgery, yes! A live autopsy! The day, uh, <clears throat> the day of the was what looked like a red fox, starring Fiona Fox, granddaughter of Edward Fox. Sister of Jamie Fox. Says some Jamie English Fox! <laughs> all right, partner. All right, you Polly Nottos. Right. Suddenly, they all jumped as Fiona's head shot up with a sharp gasp. Shrek! Her <laughs> eyes wide and terrified. She looked at Sally, then she spoke, her voice tiny, weak, and scared. All right, who's doing that? Help me! Get me out of here! Quay, start the reactor. Save Mars before he comes back. This is fucked up. Roger said, clearly disturbed by the predicament Fiona was in. No See you at the party, Richter. No fucking kidding. Mike. So these kids are all just a bunch of colossal pussies. Then look, like, when this stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're uh, they're in the anime club okay, and they're yeah, still the wimp. To be fair, yeah. But like but, in the original uh, story, then some guy over the headband comes know, and people, beats him up. People got freaked out by the shit because at least in the original story, Tom was on his own. Uh -huh. Do you remember? Know, like these guys are all hanging out together and like they kind of in the schoolyard. They can't even fucking tolerate the thought of you know something scary when they're all around each other and they know it's just a video game. Why right. would sorry this guy sit this here? Why would you want his fetish list? I Someone know. lick me his fetish list seriously. Uh, Roger said clearly the several figures have been there from the beginning. No. Mike agreed. Uh, Vicky nodded, looking at Fiona, her hand over her mouth, as the poor female fox was breaking down in tears. Oh, let's break it down uh, in her begging. I've got to read this from the chat. If Jacob could delete channels, only him, five sock puppet accounts, and Game Dude would remain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I only have two sock puppet accounts. <clears throat> and they're just old accounts that I can't seem to delete. Please, you have to get me out of here. I can't take another cop. Got one. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Tom, let's go into other room. This is starting to freak me out. What? Fuck off! Roger said looking at you Tom. You fucking baby! <laughs> Tom nodded, uh, already scared about what was going on. He had Sally head out the door he came from. As he did, Fiona started to protest in her, vo uh, her voice rising in fear. No, don't go, don't leave me, please. Don't leave me in here, don't leave me in here. Don't Wait. Leave me in here. It's so insane, you sound like someone from the League of Gentlemen. Hey, hang, hang on. Okay, right, so... No. All right, no, I get it. It's just stupid, never mind. It is stupid. The minute Sally was out the door, Fiona Forensic screams for help immediately stopped as if someone had muted her. Because that's what TVs do. Yeah. Tom and his friends were in shock. The room Sally had entered was not the room he was in before. It was a disturbing looking room. Far, Far more, more disturbing than the floor. surreal than the distorted room from earlier. Wait, wait, I just thought something. Right. I so, just, wait, stop everything. Look, so these guys are supposed to be going to college. Right. They're supposed to be college students. Is it an actual college or is it just a place they call a college? And these guys are like fucking 12. It's like a special needs school. Yeah, that, that obviously we know from, we know this day and age, just, they're going to go to clown college, <laughs> quite clearly. Yeah, we are living in clown world. We are living in clown world. Oh. In my screenwriting class, we had to write a 10 page script. I couldn't figure out what to name my protagonist. So I settled on naming him Toby Sherwood. That's that fantastic! Yeah. And Matt oh got totally God. mugged off. <laughs> Also, you got left they, in the they, dark. Also, yeah, where to start, like, dark. you're naming your characters like Jacob. You're basically I, After yeah, his true. friends. He's had so many, like, small, short stories and scripts over, like, all the years I've known him who all just named after people he knows because yeah. he's terrible at No, names. to be honest, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with doing that because I, I do it all the time in my writing. Like, Every single person is yeah. called Toby, Matt, like, James, Fox, Nathan, and yeah. Sherwood. Yeah, there you go. Thank, Thank you, MLK Mew Free Warrior. Really it's not MLK. <laughs> I, I, Martin Luther King? It's TLK. TLK, whatever. See, because apparently I'm basically Sherwood, so apparently I'm included in that. Yeah, pretty much. That was my thought. That was my thinking. 
Tom and his friends. To be fair, shot. Toby Sherwood's not a bad name at all. Like it's it, not. if I respected you more, I could call my firstborn son Toby. Oh, isn't that nice? Maybe like um, if you had like a child, like oh, I really don't need this child. It's, just, it's like an extra. Buy one, get one free child. Uh, Toby. Yeah. Like, oh my God. Can you imagine someone's just put it here. Uh, Bob is a child's default name. Imagine if you don't child, choose a name for your child. It automatically, after six weeks, gets just chosen as Bob. No, no, like, you, need a random, you, need, like, you need a random name selected. Like, not just name everything. So, like, oh, this, uh, I couldn't think of a name and the time ran out. So, this is my child, uh, Luke Skywalker and Ravioli. Give me the formioli. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, to people asking about screenwriting software, I would recommend Celtex. It's completely free and it correctly formats things for you. It's spelled C E L T X. Get the free version, you don't need the full version. Honestly, it's the same thing. Like, the full version is bullshit. Yeah, absolutely. Tom? Jacob and Toby are not getting married, okay? Who, what? Oh, me and Matt get married. No, Jacob and Toby are, got married. If, if Jacob and... Last name. No, because Jacob Mitchell sounds awful. Yeah, it does. Whereas to Toby Sherwood sounds, sounds okay. less awful. So Toby would be the woman because he's got long hair anyway and he's mm -hmm. skinnier than me, sort of twink. -ish. You're gonna cuck me. So you're actually gonna cuck me. No, of course I'm not really going to do this thing. <laughs> but someone in the chat saying, "Oh, they could keep Toby's name." So no, Toby would be the woman and he'd take my name. What about Matthew Mitchell? That's quite a good no, name. No, that sounds that sounds like an East character. Awful. Matthew Mitchell. Yeah. He it does look a bit like a Mitchell brother. Shave the motherfucker's head, like. Matt Mitchell. And he's saying he's fucking it, all right? This is what it sound like if you could swear in his tenders. It's a long time. <laughs> so he's tenders is a language. He says it's now fucking language. Tom, Tom and his friends were in shock. Yeah. <laughs> the I'm room sounded like... Was no, was not the room if you want to be, before. If you want to be Phil Mitchell, you have to remember to exhale at the end of every sentence. <laughs> it was a disturbing looking room. Far more surreal than a distorted room from earlier. A distorted room from earlier. <sighs> you slag. <sighs> Yeah, I'm spatious. Taking, yeah, I'm taking. I'm Jay. sure I'm he means spacious there, but he put spatious. Yeah, I'm taking. Jay I, I I am taking Jacob's last name, so yes, I would be Jamish. She's taking it and running away. Jacob Miller. She's taking the pair of his good. last name. Many, sorry, what does many angled mean? Many got, angles. Got multiple angles. Four candles. The, the spatial or What's geometrical. Spatious. Geometrical logic of this room was completely wrong, and so was that sentence and spelling. Super I chat. hope no one makes this version into a real game. Literally, I think the only reason the game is much more detailed than this one is it's like a blueprint for shitty fan games. Logan Dixon. Tom had felt like he was looking at MC Escher's relativity painting in this room. Motherfucker, you had to look that up. You definitely yep. did. This is the only research you did for this story, is look up... You went what like, that picture's called. Yeah, you, you, you were literally just like, Oh, did they hit crazy stairs? <laughs> it literally is. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you know, MC Escher's my favorite MC. <laughs> he probably watched that episode of Family Guy, with the stairs and doorways all being in places they shouldn't, couldn't have been in. Wouldn't. What the fuck? Mike exclaimed breathlessly, looking at the strange sight of the strange? room that Sally was currently in. Strange. Strange. Um, that's, that's my new favourite word, strange. <laughs> strange. Like strange rage. Stranger things. Strange it just sounds like you, you saying strange with, like, it's, with it's a cold. It's Cypher Rage's cousin. Strange. <laughs> Did that. Not allowed. Get J down. JC the Hyena's browser history. Underage furry porn. That painting with the stairs. <laughs> Erotic RP Discord service. <laughs> Dr. Strack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, weren't we just in that fun house not too long ago? Come on, game design. <laughs> <laughs> Came up halfway through. Didn't need to set finish it, did he? This is getting goddamn freaky. Oh, I, bet you did. I don't know if we should keep playing, you guys. Vicky I said, think you should stop playing but because it's boring. With an obvious hint of fear in her voice. What a bunch of fucking pussies. Just what is this game? Tom fought as he had Sally traversing the room. He watched as instead of going up one of the stairs, the stairs looked like they were going sideways <laughs> instead of up towards a door that looked like it was upside down. And I'll, I'll get up these stairs. After opening the door, Tom and his friends became even more confused as Sally had entered another completely different room. This one not as distorted or many angled 
but instead he entered a dilapidated street. Tom was back in the ruined city area. Whoa, talk about your fixer upper this place. Shut the hell up. No one <laughs> this is, like, this is real people dialogue that he heard from my computer one time. Fixer upper, shut the fuck up. Mike commented as Tom had sadly traversed the city. This game is really weird. Roger mumbled, sitting back with a sigh. So Tom, is, is this a creepy pasta or a test of patience? It's obviously a test of patience, Jacob. That's every single creepy pasta. I'm at that point as well. Tom was on the alert by this point. Last time he was in the ruined city, he stumbled across that sonic creature. Thankfully, his fear subsided as he felt like the creature wasn't here this time as he explored it. Suddenly, those fears immediately shot back the minute he heard the clown-like laughter again. He is going to clown college. Um. Fuck. <laughs> what? Is what is this? Is this Mrs. Mrs. Krabappel? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, where are we? Uh, echoing across the silence. Hong Kong chicken tendies, my dude. <laughs> The sudden abruptness of the laughter making all of his friends jump. Oh, fucking hell. Who's Mike? Who's the hell laughing? <laughs> yeah, yes, I know. Mike asked in a demanding... Suddenly! <laughs> See, I was going to say, I thought one of them was spell wrong. Suddenly! Suddenly! Yeah, it's a college sudden. Life has no meaning. Do you think from now on we should always just copy... The pasta into a Word document. So it just makes it its point out. Suddenly, we have recorded, recorded blog of a real college sudden. <laughs> <laughs> just then, Tom's screen froze and suddenly. I love that song. I know, started to glitch and distort. It also started to heat up at an alarming rate. Withdrawing his hands from it as he looked up at the projector screen, his heart momentarily stopping at the minute he looked at it. <laughs> he died. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, the doctor's like, ah, sorry, your friend died of being a pussy. <laughs> uh, uh, another case you of did, pussy Your ideas. kids didn't love him enough. Yeah. <laughs> we may have gone a bit too far with the season finale. <laughs> the creature was in the projector screen. What the fuck? What the creature was in the What? No, I just looked down at the bottom of the page. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> this cannot be real. This has did JC become self-aware? Sure. I swear to God, this must. This is the fucking it. movie script. This is <laughs> this is the screenplay to the fucking Sonic movie. I swear to fuck. Do you, do you think that um, the hidden writer behind this was um, obviously Christian? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that is a collab. <laughs> Well, so we did it, we made memes real. <laughs> the creature was in a projector screen, facing a brick wall, his back towards Tom and his friends. And Don't Sandy call was anyone. Hey, it's Sonic! I'm not even there. This Sorry. confused Tom as the projector screen. I understand you want to get through this quicker. As soon as you see lights, ah, fuck it, I'm going for it. Basically, uh, I'm going to have to save your planet. <laughs> yeah. Meow? This uh, Look like creepy teeth. <laughs> This confused Tom as a projector screen Dr. Robotnik, fine. I'm gonna say the N-word. Hey, it's Sonic! <laughs> Even though his laptop screen was getting eaten up by a pure glitch. Hey, it's Sonic! Hang on, his laptop screen was getting eaten up by pure glitch. By pure glitch? <laughs> pure green. Uh, Mike spoke up. Roger. Wait, why is arms blue? Sorry, you want to say, say that a little bit louder? <laughs> Why is arms blue? Put some effort into a woman. <laughs> this is like the most shocking thing this person ever found out. Why is arms blue? Well, yeah, I am blue. Matt, what are you doing? There's too much directing <laughs> there, Matt. For God's sake, I wouldn't direct any living actor in Shakespeare this way. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Roger asked, a look of concern on his face. Jimmer escapes the room. No, he's doing the stage. Uncle, Matt, uh, that's the stage directions. You don't read them. Uncle, he says sarcastically, <laughs> who's in charge here? He says sarcastically. sarcastically. He's like, who's in charge here? Sarcastically, I am. Sarcastically, I am. So in the chat just wrote, I'm quite drunk. Uh, me too, buddy. Yes. Me too. Can we I mean, it was a big boss. We, we, so we need to get more booze before the shop's closed, yeah. Yes. Can someone give me money? Pineapple Pizza is great. Fight me. How do you delete someone else's channel? Hang on. Sonic goes Put to KFC, the out. Netflix adaptation. Prezzo Amanji. Someone deleted their me uh, message, so I'm guessing they were about to say something. I, I think I've just accidentally fucking put someone in timeout. 
Whoops. Oh, you probably should be doing this while you're drunk, you <laughs> idiot. Sorry. Can we get all the fucking ah! story? I've got a to- Okay, okay the Red Collar Channel didn't do anything wrong. I just, I was trying to, as a joke to like, f- fucking... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, words, Jacob, go on. Okay, <clears throat> I was trying to temp ban the guy who said, uh... That pineapple, pineapple on pizza, pizza is nice as a joke, and I ended up just tempting some random guy. It was like, oh, hey guys, I love bad creepy pasta. Oh, this, this, this oh, I finally, I finally managed to get to his stream. I'm really happy, and I've been banned. <laughs> and you can't unban him. Like, why can't I? It's okay. I've made it better by saying that we love him. How do I unban the motherfucker? Is it? It's so sad! It was a total accident! <laughs> it's just like you're, you're going on about some motherfucker of pineapple pizza and you ban some random <laughs> dick because of this! It's entirely the wrong person! I really regret okay. buying that side. You've been doing it for 300 years, mate. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's children. His ancestors it's children. Ancestors it's children. Ancestors children. Will be able to Until the ninth generation. The creature's head slowly turned, and turned, and turned, until it was looking directly behind him, looking at Tom and his friends, who were now looking at the creature face to face. The creature was smiling a demented smile, and spoke. In that Kefka laugh. In that fake sonic voice, which was now a slow, airy, eerie, uh, eerily perverse <laughs> tone. Like, I'm, like the way I might speak to a 14-year-old boy. As the rest of his body twisted until his whole front side was facing them. So many souls to play with. I need that close to me because I can't see. So little to <coughs> You are literally the first person to pronounce my name right in the first tie. Congratulations! You was that win me? money! Was that me? And then the creature began to transform again. Tom's friends shot out of their seats and backed themselves towards Tom in fear as they watched the monster's eyes blacken, his smile widening and showing fangs. Much like the werehog's teeth, (laughs) except (laughs) more vicious looking! (laughs) Tom could see the creature was growing taller and lankier. Toby? His limbs looking... (laughs) creeping down the stairs, thirsty for blood. Lemonade! I'm a secret lemonade drinker. All whites. Tom, I've been trying to give it up. But it's just one of those nights. <laughs> All right, lemonades. <laughs> I'm dying. Like, I, think I'm go- I think I'm going to die. Jacob, very soon. Super chat this. <laughs> What super Daddy, chat? I don't know. Well, well, I don't What's know. this? What are you Daddy talking Davros about? The Le- Vive diet lemonade yeah. made with real fruit. <laughs> Daddy Davros the Turner says, I'm back out from timeout. Pineapple for life. Okay, how about I calm you down with a nice soothing message from JC the Hyena? With a nice soothing message of shut the hell up. Now that the Sonic EXE remake has been booming for a few days now, I feel it's time to introduce you to the main stars of the story. These two guys with a stupid face, and that's the picture I just showed you. Everyone, say hello to Tom Miller, the main protagonist, Tom and X, the main antagonist. Which one's which? These two. Okay, you know you don't have a main protagonist, all right? It's just the protagonist. Start by being the main characters of the first Sonic EXE story, but now they are here for the remake XD. Wouldn't the, I wouldn't hope the you antagonist? Like it. I hope you like it, XD. He actually wrote XD. Uh, Tom Miller and X are both characters from the Sonic EXE remake, created by copyright me. That's not actually illegal to copyright, you know. No, it won't. Let's carry on anyway. (laughs) What's amazing? Hang on. Burn someone randomly, Jacob. Here's what I have to ask. Why do people who make video game fan fictions think they own the copyright to them? I know, right? Pokemon Pokemon Dead Channel guy, you don't own the copyright to me having sex with Toby's dad. No, I mean, you don't own the copyright. You don't own the copyright to Scary Pikachu. And JC the Hyena, you don't own the copyright to Scary Sonic, who's now already ripped and a bit sexualized. Revealing nothing but black as the fur darkened and grew more wild, the skin more sickly pale. An X shape cut began Cucked to form chest. across. Cucked into his chest. Cucked by Tom Morgan. The creature's chest and cracks were forming from the blackness of the eyes over the dark blue fur. 
the sight of this thing was truly monstrous. The size of his dick. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Mike screamed, clinging onto his no. clinging onto his turfy oh, girlfriend. His, <laughs> his turd filled girlfriend. Yes. You know, like he'd been shitting in our ass to assert his dominance. <laughs> his turd filled girlfriend. As he saw the creature transform. Who wants to be Vicky? Remember I don't Vicky? fucking know. Vicky yelled in response, who was clinging onto Mike herself. Who was cringing onto Mike. Eyes. Comrade, wide I do not get it. With shock. Uh, it's, it's just not the sh uh, Toby's is just not the same about Gem. We need to put the whole thing on hold and wait for Gemma to come back to do her shitty Russian It's accent. amazing to think, how did we even do the show without Gemma for yeah. those years? I, I, don't even I can't even listen to those old videos yeah. now. No, we didn't even really start. We only really hit our stride when Gemma came on the show. Also, yes, uh, I have going to start making YouTube sandwiches. channels soon. Uh, if people subscribe. What? Tom was at a loss for words as he looked at the creature's smiling face. Next PewDiePie right here. Two red dots faded into view on its black eyes as its head tilted slightly, and it spoke again. It is voice more feral. It is voice more feral. Mm. It was a Russian person reading it. It is voice more it feral. Just, more you, feral would, you would not use it here? More vicious. Wouldn't you all agree? The creature then began to reach a hand towards them as if he was planning to grab them, and but Tom could see his hand. Grab by the pussy was black. Racist. He's scared of the black guy. Ending in long, sharp claws. Uh, what, what sort of voice was Tom? <laughs> oh, no, sorry, Roger. It's, it, no, it's Scooby-Doo. <laughs> turn it off, turn it off. Roger screamed. Yikes! Black <laughs> man, Scoob. It's not a works. <laughs> As everyone, <laughs> how much better would it be if it was just Sonic X versus the Mystery Machine, like the Scooby Gang? I don't know, man. That was bad. Um, that was just that was just that was squeaky voice teen. <laughs> no. If I had a girlfriend, she'd kill me. As everyone was back in, ow, ow, and screaming in terror. Talk about the <laughs> Tom began to see why. The hand looked like it was actually coming out of the projection screen towards them. I too have seen the movie It. <laughs> Oh, we realised we had 3D glasses on. In a moment well, of flight, if they instinct, watched, uh, Jules 3D. Tom lunged towards his laptop and slammed his finger on the power. <laughs> Regardless of how hot the computer was, shutting it down hot. as he unplugged it from the projector, which also turned off, the giant black clawed hand that was in the room with them was gone. Yes, but Jacob, would you molest a 14-year-old boy for a Scooby snack? <laughs> You don't need to bribe him. Silence. <laughs> also, like, can you be like, you know how it's supposed to be epic the way he, sl he, goes, he slams his finger on the off button? Like, considering how most computers you need to hold down the button yeah. for a few seconds, it really, <laughs> even if it did, you know, even if it was supposed to be epic, it might, oh, oh no, one, two, ah, and it shuts off. Tom was sweating and breathing quickly as he looked at his laptop's black screen. I had fallen over a desk in his panic, and Vicky was on the floor with him, hugging him while looking at the blank projector screen. The anime, the anime convention guy was really pissed off that his kids fucking tripped over his desk. Roger was not interested in Soul Reaper. Roger was backed up against a wall. You're all sorta, right? Oh, do you want to take over for a bit? I remember everybody in the chat said they wanted you to read anyway. Oh no, I was just um, don't want to do it. I don't. I, do I was not, doing the voice. I was doing. I the... do not like that the light is off. I'm going to turn the light on. Oh, yeah, You're scared. Good. Yes, I'm, like I'm terrified. And certainly, sometimes with the fact the I'm Spanish drinking a lot of computer. alcohol, and I'm going to fall asleep sitting here. Spanish the black hog. <laughs> Spanish the N word. <laughs> That's what I call a pro gamer move, man. You all saw that, right? Do you want to sit here, Tony? Shakingly spotted. I mean, you sit in my lap if you want. It wasn't just me, you all saw it. Mate, like, he's looking at me. He's looking at me, but he's just going to put his hand in the lap just like Jacob, slowly. It's your Tom for turn. God, I hope we didn't. Tom muttered in response, Oh, what the fuck was that? Mike asked the third time as Vicky helped him up. Tom, what kind of hell of game did Kyle give you? Kyle! It was fucking Kyle and the boys. Uh, Vicky demanded to know, uh, desperate. 
Is that Jim as drunkenness, or is someone breaking into our house? Probably a bit of both. Uh, you're... You. Where are we? I don't oh. know. I don't know! Uh, Tom's responded defensively. Oh, thank God you're back, Gemma. We could not get the Russian accent down. <laughs> Whatever that thing is that we just saw, that is... That is a lot of booze, Gemma. That is definitely not Sonic. Yeah, I was asked no. to get yeah, I did say, I did say get a lot. Um, I am to blame. I'm Mark uh, Brown, suddenly the I do as Jacob says, or therefore or I get Or else you get a beating. Yes, I was about to say, or else I get a beating. Or else she gets the hose again. <laughs> Right, Gemma, no, the lights aren't... The... It's too scary with the lights <laughs> off! No, I'm going to fall the fuck asleep if we have the lights off. Right, that's fine. Plus it's harder to... You're not supposed to stare at what? screens in the dark. I don't think there's bad, much left bad, of this chapter anyway, Jacob. Bad, what have I missed? Nothing much. Nothing a hand came through the screen like it's a they shitty Jaws 3D yeah, knockoff. they ripped off the, the remake of It, basically. Can can I sit down yes, now? you sit on my lap. Okay. To Toby wouldn't do it, so you have to. Jesus. No shit, man. My groaned. Suddenly, the classroom door opened, and before anyone could say anything, and then a teacher came in. Matt, you could be the teacher. Uh, shit, I should pay attention. Did 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 Where is it? Until ten now. Oh yeah. I was gonna say you won't go Okay, what sort of voice should I do? Any voice you like, mate. Think. You're you're auditioning for a really big play, and these are the lines you have to deliver. Right? No pressure. No if you fuck this up, your family's dead. <laughs> yeah. Go. It's a really intense stage play. What the hell is going on here? Tell you what, your family. Right, who remembers <laughs> Weeble and Bob? <laughs> yeah. They sound familiar. Is anybody on the on the chat old enough to remember that? Okay. It was this weird, like fucking. Yes, yeah, so I remember that. I'm actually gonna move Jim. She's really hurting my testicles. Sounds <laughs> fine. <laughs> Rough sex. The teacher demanded. You got a rest of it there, Matt. You first should be in here. Ewing. The, or the, the evening, especially when there's a killer on a loose. As a, as a, as a, as a, <laughs> how did this man become a teacher? Who <laughs> was, was there to fill a quota? <laughs> He's got to be teaching Jim. Right? Right? There's no. Verse, <laughs> star, verse In fact, I teach says, English. Time to float. Uh, I mean, gotta go for. I mean, gotta go, go fast. fast. Um, so like Gemma sits on Jacob's lap. Is that a bottle of Lucas Age in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Uh, Tom and his friends try to explain the situation. Toby, to the I like it firm and fruity. <laughs> Am I pleased to see you? What? I just put a canoe in my pocket. Whoosh! <laughs> Love that. Tom and his friends try to explain the situation to the teacher, but he wasn't having any of it. There you go, Matt. Du -du -du -du. Enough excuses! Oh, another one. <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> talk! Like he definitely teaches PE, there's no doubt. He grumbled. <laughs> what? He grumbly stated. Just get back to your dumb rooms! <laughs> and don't let me get you or any of you out of your dumb rooms! Dumb rooms! <laughs> 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 twice! Dumb room! <laughs> Is this what I'm paying you for? Kids, you're making your new rooms, and if you leave your new room, then we're gonna get very mad if I see you I have a very interesting backstory where I got yeah. shot in the mouth. <laughs> Sky, my little boy. So why is that such a hard voice to emulate? I'm trying to do an impression of it, it's just not happening. <laughs> like, Don't worry, I'll forget how to do the uh, voice. You will. Uh, right, without saying anything, they left the room. Tom carrying his. How big? After a while, they began conversation. Did an alien write this? <laughs> they initiated conversation. Yeah, there's never. <laughs> and Jesse Hyde is actually generally known no. as an all right no. time. What, like, think, like, I Initiate out. sexual RP right. sequence. I figured it out. I'm actually, 14 does not compute. <laughs> uh, Jacob, I figured it out. Think up. The internet is full of DJs. Uh, DJ, uh, full of DJs. Full of DJs. <laughs> yeah, full of DJs and degenerates. The two go hand in hand. And that mass of degenerates has all come together to create the first AI, and it named itself JC the Hyena. Oh my god, yeah. by the way. Whenever someone says DJs, I don't even think of actual DJs. I those do you remember those keyboards you used to get in the music room? DJ! Yeah, you press the button, yeah. DJ! And like every, and keep every key would make the worst fucking sound imaginable. <laughs> DJ! I fucking DJ. love that, because all I kept on was going, DJ! DJ! Jesus, fuck, that was weird. Oh, yes, Roger's back. Roger's Jesus back. wet. Jesus wet. <laughs> By the way, that's Shadow White's favourite impression. Though. No kidding. I knew that 
dude was a friggin' Sonic fanboy. What? <laughs> Mike replied. Excuse me? No, sorry, what? What? Oh, uh, I just remember something. Sonic uh, EXE Final Mix. <laughs> sorry, that's my. No, Toby, I just remembered something that like, you missed out when we left. Is the guy immediately jumped to conclusion for no reason that it's supernatural stuff was happening. Do you remember that, Jacob? Yeah, I do. But no, hang on. I'm... What are they talking about? No, this is the same thing. Like, this is sort of scroll fucking... up. Like, go back to your dorm rooms. Okay. Go back to your dorm rooms. I mean, you that was, was weird. Fan, like, yeah, right? it, was, it was weird. And it was a Sonic fan. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't... Do you think we'll just imagine that hand coming out? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not anywhere near done. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what in the name of God is and he? Buddha. Is he talking about? What was the Sonic fanboy? I don't know. The, the, prin- the principal? I wasn't the teacher. The, 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 the gym the teacher. Guy, the, the, the gym teacher just came in. The, the Sonic monster. Sonic fanboy. When did he say? What the f- fuck are you talking about? I don't know, but I'm here for a good time. So, Sipping my alcohol now. Break you, up the booze, Gemma. Do you think we all just imagine that and come Matt, out? To be you fair, people pe- did the best name for a booze. Break our booze. See, Holy Matt, shit, you, Matt, you were saying you were saying we're pussies for drinking, but it's Sonic EXE, man. It's tradition. We should be doing a drinking game, essentially. Yeah, you don't know this. Drink like... every time you want to kill yourself. Yeah. Every time. I've been playing that since the beginning of the stream. Yes. Uh, high five. Another high five moment, Gemma. I don't care. Um, we could have done like every single time Derek Green like uh, breaks like the laws of man and god <laughs> in terms of common sense. Or every just time every a police time... officer like throws the actual law to the wind. <laughs> officer Craven reporting for duty and things. Roger asked with a hint of what the fuck did uh, Mike just say? Uh, worry in his voice. How could we all? Oh, you know, how could we all imagine this? Vicky asked in return, a look of doubt on her face. Mrs. Doubt. It Fire. Is, it's, it's, it is Mr. You. No, it's me apparently because Roger has spoken. What? Because it's like oh. Thomas sure Roger was in a small state of denial from what's oh, happening. Right, okay. right. I don't know, but there's no way that that could have been real. We had to have hallucinated it. Tom was sure Roger was in a state of denial, but from what <sighs> just happened. Uh, from what just happened, but he didn't feel like calling him out on it. Right now, he had other things in his mind, like 14 year olds. Anyway, we should probably end back to our dorms. That was a weird game, Tom. But Let's never talk about it again. But it was fun hanging out with you during it. No, it wasn't. You were terrified. You were terrified, and then a monster attacked you. Oh, other than that, they haven't well of a time. All you guys did was complain about how scary it was and how you wanted to stop. <laughs> so, Jacob, it's not about the freakish inexplicable things that happen to you, terrify you, and make you question your sanity, your beliefs. It's about the friends made along the way. Yeah, perhaps the real Sonic EXE was the friends we made along the way. It's you. Yeah, you too, man. Tom responded. See you guys later. And with that, everyone went their separate ways in the hallway. The and then, yeah, it's going to be like a little <laughs> tune playing now in the background. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's like an American History X end, uh, uh, yeah. like, um, yeah, American Graffiti ending. His, Tom went back to his dorm room, yeah. placing Tom, his laptop Tom, onto his desk. And Tom, Tom continued Tom to investigate murders, despite not being a trained detective, and was very quickly murdered. And sitting on his bed, looking back on what had occurred moments before. Did the spell occurred wrong? It's an there. Occurred. Occur- occurred. Occurred. Did he and his friends really hallucinate, or did that creature really try to grab them? Honestly, Tom couldn't think of a way to rationalize what had happened as as much as he deeply wanted as much as he deeply wanted to. He didn't want to admit what he had experienced was something supernatural. Toby, why are you talking about you have a mouthful of peanut butter? <laughs> Cause he does. I am dying, is. Jacob! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, I'm going not, to die! Not you specifically with peanut butter, but like, oh, no. something sticky. Yeah. Alright, so if anyone wants to murder Toby, he's super why allergic to that? bullets. Oh yes, I am. Yeah. Absolutely, but I love bullets. It's bullets. Still drinking cider. And so, that's for Toby. Toby, do you want this? Uh, I will have one, even though I'm still drinking cider. But I will have one. Well, one just one. combine them with the lemonade. I'm not no. going to combine no. the lemonade. Drink and but he didn't want to admit what he what he had experienced was something supernatural, and that there wasn't a rational way to explain. I noticed what that one happened. guy. I'm your senpai. 
That scared him, as he also began to think of how coincidental all this seemed. A killer targeting the college. And Wait, did he say like? Did he say coincidental, or was that you? No, no, I did say coincidental. You did that's actually write that. That's yeah. not my word. Oh, there you go. Coincidental. Yeah, coincidental. There we go. Carot, it. Tomorrow was the weekend. As Tom settled for bed, he resolved to look into the case. Green was investigating. Why? You're not. <laughs> you, like, detective. you are not a policeman. The next day, Tom went into the library, hoping to find something that could prove useful to the investigation. After signing him in, he looked through the books, uh, first on his way to the computers. After a short browse, he stumbled. <laughs> After across... shortly deleting his browser history, probably one of his more favorite. Well, no way. SpongeBob, me boy. Favorite. I'm suffering from chronic diarrhea. We need Sonic EXE. <laughs> Beneath the layers of reality by Jack Cranley. He was a fan of Jack Cranley's novels and thought about. Checking boy, out. you ain't read a novel. He probably went to the library, mate. Was like, what's the first thing I could see? No, no, he didn't go to the library. He went to a library. <laughs> yes. Uh, and thought about checking out a couple of copies himself once he was done. He sat down in front of a computer, logged in using his student ID, and began research. He went onto Google, great place, and then searched up on the murders. <clears throat> Being sure to specify. I took a chicken gravy. Snapped jaws and the broken laptops as he did so. Not surprisingly, a lot of articles regarding the murders come up. Tom looked through some. Some same details as what Green told him. People found in their homes. Malthus. Malthus ripped open. Their esophagus uh, torn apart from the inside. Their laptops damaged in some way. Truly, that was the real crime. Everything. Take forever. He looked through several more articles. He was still quite surprised at how many people he had been killed in such a cruel and monstrous way. But Lasers. nevertheless... He continued reading. No, Mr. Bond. We wait, 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 wait. Were they actually dead? Oh, oh God, I hope they don't do that shit. Mind you, I've already said living autopsy. Eventually, he came across a peculiar, unrelated stories in these articles, particularly about a uh, cult that seemed to have been active around the time. Oh, no. The <gasps> it started. could have been. Please tell me it's true. It's definitely going to be. The cult of why? Oh, wait, no, X. It's quite clearly going to be that. It's the cult of women. The cult of Tom X. thought of this oh, as odd. The most <laughs> evil force in the world. The women. But he thought he had better ask screen about it when he called him again. Then Tom began to wonder something, remembering how Derek right. and Paul are saying about the computers were always found with their screens broken and their batteries completely drained and their ball sacks. <laughs> Uh, and then he proceeded to look up on how it was happening, unfortunately. <laughs> Googling! <laughs> Google! Siri! How are these murders happening? <laughs> to his disappointment, most of the services in, in Tom's defence, it's been established he's not a detective. This is on Derek Green for hiring this fucking idiot. <laughs> Siri, please solve this case for me. Oh well, that was fucking easy. I'm all out of ideas, Tom. <laughs> Master Tom. Siri, I've tried nothing and it hasn't worked. The recycle bin was throwing them away. Unfortunately, to his disappointment, most of the searches ended up resulting in the usual articles regarding the computer's batteries dying, such as old batteries, the or CPU design, it. or overall negligence. Then he began to think about what the creature said last time he played the game. So many souls to play with. He was thinking about the Dark Souls series and that there's four now in the series. Right. <laughs> Three. He repeated the words in his thoughts. Excuse me, one of them is called Demon Souls. Oh, that's actually. why I just said four. Then he googled souls and he found an interesting article called the 21 Grams Experiment. A scientific study way back in the early 1900s theorizing on how... Yeah, I know what the 21 grams. grams Experiment was. I went to school. A soul is believed to weigh specifically 21 grams and then the body dies and the soul leaves the body. Well, the body itself fucking leaves at least three fourths of an ounce in its own weight or at least 21 grams grams just like the soul however before tom could continue reading anymore he heard the college's intercom go off his blood ran cold the minute he heard the announcer's voice unnerved and shaking well we all know what we need to do for this voice 
Attention, students! <laughs> Attention, students! There's been another murder! My hair is telling me there's been another murder. Like, was that not the principal? Or All students different? report to my packs! <laughs> Hang on, isn't that... Attention, students! You know why I've called you here? There's been another murder. Attention, all students! Everybody in your dad knows Kaboom! It's breaking out the you know, fucking old school memes, lads. Uh, oh, I wish we know we're not allowed to do old school memes. It's like <laughs> Steph is here in the room with us. There's been another murder! Almost changed the book to you, you will read it now! And, look, and that was chapter six, and we're done for the evening. No, we're not. Yes, we are. We're I'm f- going soon, so. Fucking aunt, mate. Um, Would you, you want to do more? Yes. Yes. I will be leaving in half an hour. Yeah, you can leave. That's fine. But you know, we've we Gemma's picked up quite a lot more. You don't need you don't need an excuse to drink booze. Yes, we do. No, I think we, but I think we should take a short break though from reading and just yes, shit for a we while, should then. take a short break. So I totally. What else am I doing? Toby, should he do? Right, chat. If you want Toby to eat this chocolate bar, that will kill him. Stone dead. Super chat. Money up. To be fair, yeah, just super chat two bucks. That should be enough. Yeah. That's what Toby's... We can get a replacement, Toby. They come in packs of like six. You can't get a replacement Kinder Bueno, though. So mm-hmm. it's no. important that we pull this off. No, you can't get a replacement me because my Russian voice is the best. Yeah, yeah. without that, I mean, how, did, how would the show survive? Right? How did we even start? Like, we're like what, what really happened was, you instead of that day when you said, hey, Matt, come read this uh, crappy thing with me, it was like, we like... We like there's a Gemma shaped hole in our lives, but we need to fill it with something until the, one day Gemma, our goddess, comes into our lives. <laughs> true right. story. I'm all right uh, you, you heard it here. It must be true. You heard it on the internet. I, I'm all right with that. I'm going to keep that as a story. Um, Some people outside. Is uh, my turn? Yeah, that's your taxi. All right. Bye I'm everyone. Bye. See, you, see you like uh, Saturday. Uh, bye, people. We'll finish story by then, hopefully. Bye. 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 See you for my birthday. Bye. Last bit from there. The assembly line this time. So, where have we gone from here? Why is there an assembly line? Oh, right, we're in school. Uh, Just the assembly. This, uh, the assembly. T- yeah, anyway. The assembly this time was regarding the murders that had been announced. Three people had been down, found dead this time. Two students and another teacher. The college was in a state of panic from this revelation, but the principal tried his best to quell the fears and questions of, right. of the student I was body. the principal. Because of these recent kills. These recent kills. Are they playing fucking <laughs> COD? They're murders. Say killings if you don't want to say murders. These recent kills. We exactly play a fucking video game. These recent kills. Uh, these new rules will due be put to this in recent a- kill streak. I've got three. UAV. These new rules will be put into effect as the right now. He explained with a look of minor dismay and frustration. Firstly, all students are to return to their dorm rooms by 6 p.m. every evening, and uh, they are to under stay no circumstances there. Secondly, go to the West Wing unless they wish to die a most painful sexual death. All students are to be taken to their classes by teacher. No exceptions. I know these rules are all seem unreasonable, but I promise you that they are far for your own safety. <laughs> the police are still doing everything they can to capture the killer. Please remain calm. First of all, right, if this actually happened, send the kids home. Send everyone home. Yeah. If there's a murderer, this could send be them the alone. end of Hogwarts. Did Gemma just say students? I did. Uh, yeah, right! Mike grunted as the assembly line ended. This college is going to get closed faster than Marvin Roberts breaking his marathon record, like we know who he is. Tom worries. Meanwhile, we're starting to increase by the hour. What? There must have been a thousand... He couldn't... Oh, right. Oh, Tom worries, meanwhile, we're starting to increase by the hour. He couldn't stop thinking about how the computers during the murders had always had their batteries die, as well as what he googled about the bodies losing weight when their soul leaves. After the assembly, he sat on his couch watching Kyle's laptop charge. 36% power. It, it just says, Kyle's laptop charge up 36 and then it's like, and then 36% power in like, as if it was a different sentence. Indeed. Because of what he had researched, he wanted to call Green about the autopsies to see if it was true. 
So he dialed up green. What's up, Tom? He's, <laughs> He's actually calling. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do I miss? Oh, I got a second. If you're gonna do this, let me grab my phone. It's got a bad speaker. Uh, although it's on charge, isn't it? It's Fuck, there. fucking. There's an, there's an assembly at the school, and Tom has just phoned up Derek Green. Basically, uh, yeah, what you missed was that uh, the, they did an assembly. The principal said, everything's fine, you got a curfew for 6pm. It's fine, I'm not going to send the students home, because there's three murders. Students, go back to your dorm rooms, you know, like where the first murder took place. Yes. Remember, be alone. Yes, hey, uh, what's up to uh, Green asked when he... Uh, asked when he answered. Hey, sorry I didn't talk to you when the bodies were discovered. Tom admitted. It's no trouble. That's work for you, honestly. Green responded assuringly. Anyway, what's on your mind? Um, I want to ask you a question about the bodies. Tom again. When you had all the autopsies performed, was there anything in reports about their body weight? Were they alive? <laughs> yeah. Um, I might not be able to tell you that, Tom, because that is classified information that is not for the public, like okay. yourself. No, that's not what he fucking says. He says, um, there might be. I'll have Sarah bring the autopsy report real quick. Green answered, and then he asked. Why do you ask? Did you find something that might help? Tom was not sure how to explain himself to Green. He wanted to tell him about what he found, about the 21 grams theory. But he didn't want to seem crazy, so instead he said... Sort of. I might have found something that might be somewhat useful, if not the very least informative. I also want to yeah. ask you another question. It's sure. It's the scientific bunk of, like, the, you know, the 1900s. <laughs> but, no, I've stumbled onto the existence of a soul. Sure thing. What is it? Well... While I was looking up old news articles about the murders you covered... Tom explained. I also found a couple articles about some... Wackadoo cult. Said they were founded sometime around that time. Sometime around that time. The murders happened. Is that true? Ah. Green responded. His, sound, his voice sounded like he exactly knew, he knew what Tom was on about. About. I fucking hope so if he's a detective. Uh, Matt, ring me, by the way. Uh, okay. I had a feeling you'd come across that. Yeah. Sometime after, maybe the first five or six murders, this group started popping up all over the media. A bunch of psychotic oddballs. But they don't seem crazy enough to warrant an arrest compared to this case. Though I do have my suspicions about them. They call, they call themselves the Cult of X. Dun, dun, dun. Fucking end me. There they are. Cult of X. It's, 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 like, it's, like it's like a Star Wars film. Oh, yeah. Right, let me. Yeah, the, the stories rhyme with each other. It's like poetry. Could you pardon my bit? I can't reach it. But even though I'm a lanky as fuck, I can't reach that. Um, I can't I'm reach Freddy it. It's, it's too fast for me. I do. Uh, Tom froze. Surely he didn't hear Green right. I... I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Tom spoke breathlessly. What did you say they were called? I love that he still hasn't learned that a cult wouldn't call themselves the cult. The cult of X. Derek confirmed in response. Again, a bunch... A bunch of crazies. It felt like Tom's brain was going numb. He could feel... I the know air. the feeling, Tom. I really do. I it's the only way to get through this fucking story. Become so numb, I can't feel you there. <laughs> he was... Smile, he, he, don't <laughs> encourage her, Matt. He was looking at his... Okay, I'm not there, I can hang up anytime I want. <laughs> he was looking at his own laptop like he was looking at that monster that he had seen once again. He felt his heart pound in shock as realization began to run over him like the world's most harshest slesh sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. Oh. Like the world's most harshest sledgehammer. No, that still doesn't make sense. Okay, so one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Everybody shut the fuck up. Okay. Um. Okay, so. Hey, everyone wants me to sing, by the way, in the chat. Well, God damn it. Um. Why is a sledgehammer harsh at all? But that's not even what I'm getting at. Most harshest? How about just 
Harshest. That's like saying more better. Or the most best. It's not... Again, it's not correct use of the English language. What about... I wanna be... That's what Toby's allowed to say. No, he's not. He, none of you are. Stop it. It's just... I, when Tom spoke up again, his voice was quiet and quivering. You like when I sing mostly. When we're not streaming... You. Something wrong, Tom. So why does it? Uh, Green asked in a tone of concern. It's uh, it's nothing. Tom cleared his throat. I just had a thought, and it scared me. The idea of thinking is all. Did Sarah get those reports yet? Um. Green trailed off before. Ah. Uh, yeah, she did. Let's see. Wait. 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 Here we go. The latest victim originally weighed 153 pounds before he died. Dread built up within Tom. Then he kindly asked... Did he lose weight or something? Uh, yeah. He shat, he shat out a lot when he died. About 21 grams, actually. Green answered. Tom's breath was shallow. He was in shock. He couldn't believe what he was being told. Fearing upon fear. Hoping against hope. His next question wasn't answered correctly, and then he asked... Do, do you always switch from the Imperial to metric system while, dis <laughs> while talking about someone's body weight? It's really confusing. Did, did all of them lose 21 grams in weight? He had to sit down as soon as he heard the response. Um, holy shit, yeah, they all did. Said Why is the kid figuring out things the detective can't? Prada with an O, US four ninety nine, more young, or as in JC would say, more sexy. Let's <laughs> see <laughs> uh, who Derek Green loses his job and good. He's a terrible detective. How are the research I looked up? Tom interrupted. Are you familiar? Just so think back to what Matt said earlier, like, part of the research chat looks at Tom interrupted. Are you familiar with some scientific bunk from the early 20th century? <laughs> um, <laughs> Green said in surprise. Uh, sorry. A theory by Duncan MacDonald in 1907. He believed the human soul weighed 21 grams. But what does that have to do with this case? Oh my god, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, this, this detective is actually... Did this... Did Detective Green win a competition to become a detective? Like, how did he just save up enough tokens from fucking cereal boxes? How is this oh, man a detective? Jacob, I realise it's Professor Green. He just upgraded. Like, yeah, it's Detective Green because he's just constantly baked. Like, honestly, it's like fucking Cheech Marin was the chief of police. Cheech and Chong. Un-fucking bearable. It's actually some... Derek is actually his middle name, his first name is just Detective, and he turned up one day like delivering a package. Yeah, hi, I'm Detective oh, Derek Green. Oh, oh yeah, you must be, you must, you must be the new DCI. Come in. <laughs> Green asked in a doubt on his voice. Uh, that what does that do with the case? I just explained it. Yeah. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Tom answered honestly. I mean, I don't want to assume anything supernatural is happening. You did it. Yeah, I mean you're talking to a you're talking to a police officer. Too. Please don't bring up ghosts. But that cult of X you mentioned, I think they have something to do with the murders. That seems like a bit of a serious thought you got there, Tom. Green says I'm not saying a bit of a stretch because you know there's no real conflict other than a coincidence. But no, a bit of a serious thought, yes. Do you got any evidence to support that? <laughs> do you got? Do you got oh, wow. any evidence? Wow. Like that's a that's a detective. This is Do an educated got... member of the police force. <laughs> Do you got any evidence to support that, <laughs> Jacob? <laughs> just do you have a waistcoat? Right, um, <laughs> not just yet. I'm operating on a hunch. Tom had his eyes deadly set on his laptop. I want to die. Closed. And Same. Sitting quietly on his desk. <laughs> his laptop sitting quietly on his desk. But still, it seems weird, doesn't it? I mean, these murders start happening, and then suddenly this cult starts showing up. 
That just seems a bit too coincidental. For this story. <laughs> a brief pause, and then Derek spoke up again. Now that you mention it, the timing does seem rather odd. I'm going to talk to Sarah about it, and then we'll look into it. I'm trusting you on this theory of yours, Tom. You understand what that mean, What that might mean, right? It means you're a really shitty detective. I know. To be honest, I want to be proven wrong. Tom admitted genuine worry coming from his voice as he spoke. Something fucking weird's going on here. For example, detectives just deputizing random college students. Detective Green, I'm starting to worry about the safety of everyone here because a shit ton of people have died and very little has been done about it. Especially my friends. Frankly, I don't think you're smart enough to solve this case. I honestly don't know if I'm going crazy from Kyle being fucking dead or this whole serial killer shit. But I'm starting to get fucking scared. I thought he was going to say, I'm going to go get fucking stoned. Another pause and then Green was... It's 4.20. Time for blazing there, Green. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have any on you? It's in your name, you fuck! Yeah, sound like a drug that less bored than you. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's not actually a yeah, drug. Yeah, I hear Dr. Green's got some stuff down the road. Uh, another pause, and then Green responded with his tone more calm, more assuring than it ever was. Almost a caring tone, almost but not quite, because he's a cunt. Tom, please calm down. I know you're afraid right now, but you need to be strong, especially for your friends. I'll get to the bottom of this for you. I don't know how. With your help. But I promise you, I'm gonna find this guy, and I'm gonna stop him. Just basically Throwing two dudes on the phone. That's it. Talking about their murders. No need to be lost. Fucking worthless. worthless uh, that story. calmed Tom's tits down significantly. <laughs> Green's words renewed his confidence in the detective. Deep breaths. He said. <laughs> in a... Sorry, I'm trying to... Deep breaths. So. What was that? <laughs> Green's word renewed his confidence in a detective deep breath. He said in a breath of relief. All right, thank you, detective. It's like he was like it was like um, JC Thigh. Right. You never know, say deep breaths whilst he was writing this. Oh god, I get going. Call me if anything happens. All right. I will again. Thanks, see ya. With that, he and Green hung up. Tom sat back on his couch, trying to recollect his thoughts. Trying it, to recollect his thought. Trying to remember what he just yes. thought. <laughs> what was that thought? Okay, listen, JC, you have to know what words mean before you use them in a story. Hey, this is like that practically business again. Chuck it in. I want, I, I'm waiting for the practically. You fucking dimwit. Adults. Toby ASMR foreshadowing. What, how, what was any of that foreshadowing? How was any of that there was an ASMR killer going around, brutally murdering people and somehow getting away with it. How was he killing people? How, as ridiculous as Tom perceived it, he spelled that completely wrong right before me. Uh, perceived yeah. it. Uh, he was stealing less souls. Does he think this is Call of Duty Zombies or something? Fix me that souls! Someone's saying hi constantly in the chat. Oh, hi! Hi, so hi! Can hi. Just stop that! Oh, that's easily that's chat. easily that is easily dealt with my dude um he couldn't figure out how the killer was doing it but it somehow involved forcing their jaws to the point of breaking their insides and getting them ruptured oh. excuse me how was he getting away with it he never had to enter or leave the crime scene. He was already. Right, so, so he starts to question the logic of this thing when he believes he's like this, the killer stealing souls. Like, I would have gone with magic if that's what you think. The computers were damaged and lacking battery power because that was where the killer was hiding in, and that was how he had gotten away with all of these killing people, uh, all those killing all those people. People, Kyle and those. Died at the f college. Sorry, let me try that again. College Kyle and those who died at the college, all the murders that were taking place within the college all started with Kyle's death. Uh, that letter came with the game disc. Tom had realised it was not written by Kyle. He had to assume that it was done by the cult of X, the fanatic he had to. Why had to. would they call themselves that? 
Because he had to call the ads, didn't they? You wouldn't call yourself the... cult, with a cult of X. Have you heard what happens, like, how mad Scientologists get? Fuck trying to get it on your own. When you call them a cult. They get so pissed off. People don't like being called cults. X called delivered to you. Knock, knock, open the door, it's real. Pop, pop, banging. Sex Stainless steel. Thank you, Toby, for that commercial for, um, DMX's delivery service. DMX's deliverance. Yeah. No. I'm fucking waiting for you to get in your own. Yeah, yeah no. Deliver to you. And knock, knock. You open up the door, it's real. <laughs> it's real. You know, it's a non stop pop pub of steam. That's it. Yeah, thank you. I couldn't remember that part. I was like, oh, I don't it? know. I thought it was sex appeal. Sex appeal? What a fucker. Stop my real eyes dead. It was not written by Carl. We had to assume it was done by the code of the gang. So go and give it to you. The fanatic group. Yeah, the thing is, Toby, mate, I, I break bread with the enemies, you know. I break bread with the enemy! The thing is, no, no matter how many of these cats you send, I will break who you send to me. Toby, I'm coming up to Downton, I will get out and uh, walk back to. Uh, <laughs> walk back to reality! Oh, there goes gravity! You should come back and hurt her first. <laughs> return of the toe! Now, if he comes back, show me his return of the mat. It's return return of, of the mat! Don't you know all that I'll be back. Anyway. Um, oh god, I just remembered this thing yes. where we were like, we were sitting around talking about, um, like, imagine being stuck as a DJ but you've lost all the records, you're sitting there like, having you trying to fake it on the radio, sitting there going, Return of the Mac, that was, that was Return of the Mac by uh, that guy who sang Return of the Mac. <laughs> Return of the Mac. The terrible thing is, it was a talk show, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the, the pattern back and it's like, something, it was a talk show, that's. <laughs> um, that letter that came with the game disc Tom had realised it was not written by Carl like Carl Vex, the fanatic group that suddenly appeared as the murders started many months ago which meant Kyle had to have gotten the game from the cult somehow um, albeit oh, unwillingly oh, the ex of the cult crack. what? Uh, about the ex of the cult Tom was sure was the game that was the same ex on the icon on his desktop the same ex that burned into the game, game disc X! Yeah, so Tom whispered. Imagine if it was like, if it was the other whole thing was complete coincidence, and it had been like playing like XCOM or Triple X or any of the other fucking like games. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. Malcolm X. I don't have the charger. This, this well, is on charge. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get on charge in a minute. Malcolm X's adventures inside school for the NES. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He grunted in frustration as he clenched his head. Ooh. It aches as more unanswered questions formed in his head. The idea of a video game being taken around, stealing people's Again, souls the word was beyond. In his head is completely useless, though. Anything Tom could accept as rational for a murder case. Because it's ridiculous. Tom's and there's been no evidence for it. And then he slowly looked at his laptop, and then he began <laughs> to harvest a very dangerous To thought. harvest a very dangerous thought. Fucking, he's got crops in his head. Clean the stupid out of my brain. Maybe he'd get some answers by confronting the killer himself. Stupid idea. I tell you what, answers, a stab, you know, death, quick and painless. That's what you need to do. If there's a serial killer on the loose, go up to him and ask him what he's all about. He's all about. Tom well, could feel every... Killing people is not that cool. Second of hesitation as he sat down. Eyes locked down at his closed laptop. He had remained shut down since the creature had tried to grab him and his friends back in the anime club room. Can I just, can I just pause you for a sec? Uncle Poppy says, We're spending most of our lives living in the groomer's paradise. And then that's just hi in <laughs> Very good. Thank you. And he's remained shut down to the right. His heart pounding. It felt like he was preparing to open Pandora's box. What, the Anime Club? But taking in a deep breath... Was he going to open the fucking Overthemed collection or something? Tom opened up his laptop and turned it on. No, that's the Darkness collection, sorry. He audibly groaned in shock <gasps> and outrage when he saw the two things on his, de on his desktop. First was the X icon on the center of his screen. It had certainly grown noticably larger this time he was sure of it a large dark cracked x-shaped fissure the second thing tom spotted was the battery power it was at three percent it was god god fucking damn it 
Tom shouted in anger at the laptop, like he was actually speaking to the creature that was hiding inside it. Frustrated, he yanked the charger off of Carl's laptop, now at 57% power, uh, into his own to charge it back up. The one fucking time I actually wanted to face you, dick! Ducks! He jim... jimped. He jumped <laughs> back... He jimped back in the gym! <laughs> he jimped back! <laughs> made some mad protein gains! From his chair and stormed what? out of his room. Fucking so he, he, he Leaving he the laptop oh, to so let, let it charge back up and for him to cool off. Tom, Roger and Mike were sitting in the cafeteria during lunch. Tom had explained to them both on... And I'm a little drunk, so it might be me. Let's try that again. Tom had explained to them both on what was going on and what <laughs> no. he had pieced together. No, it's not me. Whoa! Dude, what the hell are you smoking? I'm smoking. I'm smoking it! That's, that's how the dog talks. Talks like a person. <laughs> Mike explained, dumbfounded. I ain't smoking anything, dumbass. Tom retorted. I think that Sonic, that thing, we all saw an anime club. Anime club. Sorry. I think that too has been killing everyone. They saw Sonic <laughs> at I... anime club. Is that anime club and he thinks Sonic's killing them? I don't see Sonic when I go to Hyper Japan, the most weeaboo event. All right, so my mum forces me to go. Page, and what I'm yes, going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to delete all of it. Like when you bring in when you bring in the time and all oh the cult not Carl's letter and how easily the psycho is getting away with killing everyone it does actually seem to be make sense no it doesn't it does actually seem to make sense no it fucking does <laughs> club <laughs> let anime <laughs> Jesus, he's been killing right under everyone's noses and nobody even has suspected it. Is that again, Matt? I'm saying, like, this, is, this entire, like, premise of this, like, deduction is based on something he read about in a, like, a 1900 guy thing. Oh, yeah, the song will totally weighs this much. Uh, this is his entire basis for his fucking, like, the hypothesis of this. But, like, oh, the song has physical weight, and some guy in, like, what was it, like, 1904 figured it out. Alright, okay. Jesus, he's been killing right under everyone's noses and nobody even suspected it. Man, fuck that! Mike scoffed. I'll believe Sonic is trying to steal people's souls when I actually see it. I mean, we don't even know how he's doing you it. You don't yeah, have just... any evidence that there's a real Sonic monster. Do you know, it would really depress me. It would really, honestly, I don't think anything would depress me more. If this is an actual conversation that actually took place in actual Japan, like, you know what I mean? Like, if, if this is an actual conversation that took place, just give me the gun now. Just give me the gun and I'll end it up. Because what's the point of going on? If someone's sitting there saying, "Oh, if Sonic can steal soul, no fuck off, he can." It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It is, yeah. And what's so shocking about it is they're not even talking. He is a video game. Character. They're not even talking about a fictional story. Like they're talking about this like it's like it's real. Like it's actually happening. Like it's one of the things that really is messing with my head. Like the only supernatural occurrence that's happened in this entire story, in the entire thing, is that at one point Sonic seems to stick his hands out of the screen. But they've all kind of rationalised it didn't really happen. That's it. That's the sum total of all the, the all the supernatural horror in this fucking story so far. What evidence do they have? Like, oh, you know what? You add it up, it starts to make sense. No, it doesn't. You fucking imbeciles! So you, I know that that's what worries me. We have an inhuman killer in this college, and we have no clue what he's capable of. Do you think we should tell somebody about this? Somebody! Toby, do you want to read again for a bit? I'll do the chat for a bit. Sure! Well, it's a bit of a sore throat, so I shall become chatty man. Sure. I have my phone's. Oh, is it? Use yours. Roger asked. Oh, and what? Makes us all look like a bunch of crazies? Hell, I bet you people would start thinking we're the killer. Jeff the killer! Uh... I wouldn't worry about that, honestly. This is what Roger quietly said. It seems like less and less students are coming to class. Ass. He gestures around the cafeteria, prompting Mike and Tom to look around. So, Wait, to see we? Tom. Tom was rather surprised. 
Mike Strode. No, no, you see Tom was surprised he had noticed it. Oh, sorry. Tom was rather surprised he hadn't noticed it, but indeed the number of students he present in the cafeteria it. seemed to have reduced. Tom did a head count to confirm it. How many people go to college? Especially okay. clown college. Tom was rather surprised he hadn't noticed it. Notice it. Mike shrugged. Maybe they're all in a club or maybe club. they're sick. Or well, maybe there's, they, there's a killer on the loose, so they decided to leave college for a while. Jacob? It'd be you, boys. Mike, you better fucking hope. Mike, you better fucking hope you're right about that. Or I swear to God, someday I'm gonna strangle you. A bit excessive when you've just been talking about how Sonic could steal people's souls, but okay. Tom said in his most serious tone as he did another head count. His head counting was immediately cut short the minute he saw Vicky running towards them. Hey, Vic's coming, guys! That's that was Tom. That was Tom, alright, you do that. It's alright, it's done now. The prompt, this prompted Mike to shoot back up. To, to shoot re- up! <laughs> to just put him on to just shoot up! To <laughs> shoot back up to Peter. <laughs> hey, baby! What's. His voice falters when he sees the look of worry on her exhausted face. She looks at the trio. I can't find Alana anywhere! She gasped. Who the fuck is Alana? I don't know. She gasped in desperation. Tom? Tom asked. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. What? Tom asked, standing up. <laughs> what are you doing? You're serious, what? Roger. Fuck. What? Asked. What are you talking about? You, Jeff Fader. <laughs> you, serious? Mr. Stevens. <laughs> no, I'm not fucking Mr. Stevens. I'm Darth Vader. I run the Death Star. This is a star. This is a fucking star. <laughs> yes. I went into her room to come visit her, and she was gone. Vicky shouted. Do, do you do you think she is Tom again? Do you think she is what? I don't think that, Vicky. Tom stopped her. We'll find her. Come on. He starts running. His friends immediately. There it is. Him. It's the t- That's the first ten stop I've actually noticed. Oh yeah. Look, yeah. starts. We've been in the past tense for like five chapters, and he's finally fucked it up. Wait, won't we get in trouble for being it's an, out it's an of event. class? Vicky asked worriedly. Tom? <laughs> Fuck. Fuck the rules! I have Tom money! <laughs> they don't mean shit if your life's in danger. If some disgusting furry is trying to have sex with you when you're like Sorry. 14. Sorry, hang on a second, Tom. Let me just stop you there for one minute, yeah? Fuck the rules. They don't mean shit if your life's in danger. Generally, rules are put in place to stop people's lives to be put in fucking danger, you fucking teenage fucking cuck. Tom and his friends searched beer. through <laughs> Alana's room I don't to know if you look noticed, for beer. anything that could explain her disappearance, but unfortunately, they couldn't find anything. Tom. Tom, that's your second name. Where am I? Think, Vic. Think, Vic. Where else could Alana be? You're slowly oh, giving up the ghost. Is he just hung up? She yeah, put her hand. Going cool, is that Matt? Yeah, yeah. She put her hand oh, on her yeah, chin in deep me. thought, and then in deep off. thought. She always liked to hang around get, their computer the lab. Oh. With that, they ran down the hall to look for the computer lab. Tom praying that he'd find Alana. They're safe inside. And his worries. He thought he saw something small and blue in the in the window of one of oh. the classroom doors. For a, for, a, for a split second, he thought it was Son. It was that Sonic doll head smiling from behind the window. Son is the EXE versus Ben Drowned. But as soon as he slowed down and turned his head to see, it was gone, as if it slipped back into out of view. Trying to keep out of his mind, Tom continued running with his friends. Eventually, they found the door onto the computer lab. It was empty, quiet, the lights turned off, and all the computers turned on, and the screen was all glowing, glowing brightly in the dark. Anyway, if this, if this killer, right, uh, purely runs off laptop batteries, just get desktops. Fucking just get desktops. What's so hard about it? I don't get it. Tom? Alana. Ah! Yep. Tom whispered as he and his friend slowly snuck into the room. <laughs> Searching every part of the room for any sign, any sign for Vicky's friend. Heaven is devoid of light, John. Alana? I no longer need eyes, John. I'm sorry, John. 
<laughs> Alana, are you in here? Roger whispered, a hint of fear in his voice. Do you think... Wait, hold on. Do you think that freak went and took his soul too? What? Vicky asked loudly, her head zipping to Roger. <laughs> zipping. Oh, fuck off with that man, Mike said impatiently. There isn't some monster going around pretending to be Sonic and stealing evil souls, damn it. I'm with you, Mike, and I would be friends with you. However, you're friends with these guys and you hang out in the anime club, so therefore I physically cannot be friends with you. What the fuck are you guys talking about? What are you talking about? Vicky desperately added, Tom? Mike, I'm telling you, it's the only... Tom tried to reason, but Mike wasn't having any of it. And I'm telling you, Tom, there is no fucking on, can monster I just, can here. I and I'm fucking telling you, Soldier Boy does... Tom, oh. Cope. Soldier Boy versus Sonic EXE. Super oh, yes, there is. Why is this coming on like a fucking, coming off like a fucking pantomime? He's there behind you. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, he isn't. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, no, JC didn't try and sack a Peter first. JC. Oh, yes, he did. We're on seven. Let's stop the stream. That's it. That's it. Yeah, fuck it. I don't want to do any more. Chapter, we finished that chapter, so I'm sorry. Like, I think it's Are getting... the end of the chapter? It's getting the chapter. It's getting pretty late and most of the audience have left, so... Well, I, I think, don't blame uh, you. But, um... I think it's time to... I'm just look, look forward to the uh, Jacob on Saturday. All right, let's fucking crack on. Uh, let's this, do it. this entire production would fail without me. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we need you to do a Russian voice. Yep. Yes. All four of them jumped up in shock upon hearing that horrifyingly familiar, mocking, fake teen voice from behind them. Tom and his friends frantically whizzed their heads around, like the fucking exorcist, to find the source of it within the large, dark computer room. I, I remember that was Chris Boris' was mic. The fuck? You all heard that, right? Mike sputtered. And then I'm also Roger as well. Okay. <laughs> can, we just, uh, can we just make them all... Game, uh, like people, like uh, like Chris Bors, uh, Dark Side of Phil, like <laughs> those guys all have the same voice anyway. Like it'd be really confusing. And they're all just like, "Come on, Kojima!" Like they all just sound like that. Yeah, we all fucking did. Roger answered. Tom tried to muster up whatever courage he had left, trying to speak in a brave, commanding tone as his eyes shifted. Who are you? The room echoed with the creature's clown-like laughter, and then the voice responded in the surreal child's voice he heard it speak as the doll head. What's wrong, Tom? Don't you recognize me? Tom felt his blood run cold. It knew his name. <gasps> Quit, quit playing around. We know you're not the real Sonic. JC, there <laughs> is no real Sonic, you fucking freak. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you, you Christian tier autist? Sonic isn't a real person, you stupid fucking pedo. Get your shit together. <laughs> you're Sonic. not the real Santa Claus. Fuck you. You imbecile! <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> fucking couple of paragraphs there, it's already derailed. It's like I've already broken him. Not the quickest fucking derail we've had. 29 pages left. You're just some thing pretending to look like him. <laughs> the real Sonic is too pure. <laughs> He's brave and handsome and will hug me. Tom, trying to ignore his growing fear of his eating. Big blue arms. Tom, it's no use. <laughs> the creature's voice turned back into the tea. A now bored tone, but still taunting. Chris bored. Condescending. Pfft. Killjoy. It's been you this whole time, hasn't it? Tom, what does that mean? You're the one that's been killing everyone and stealing their souls. 
You're the one that killed Kyle. You yeah, bastard. See? Roger, Mike, and Vicky looked at their friends. <laughs> it was retarded. <laughs> looked around and realised that they shouldn't hang out with Tom anymore. To their surprise, the creature spoke in a voice that completely threw them off. It sounded genuinely offended. Emotionally hurt, even. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. Wait. You think I'm going around killing people? You think I'm a murderer? This is where the big twist comes in that it's someone else entirely and it's just a different haunted magic game. Tom wasn't sure how to respond to it. It was Link. It was Ben Drowned this entire he time. In, he was interrogating a supernatural... <laughs> Fuck off. How do you write that? How do you sit there and write, he was interrogating a supernatural monster about murder, and here it was acting like a child that was in trouble with his parents? How do you write that sentence and not want to just smash your own hands with a hammer? Also, I wouldn't say he was interrogating. I would say reing accusingly. Well, you know what you want. Yeah, it's you, isn't it? You're the one who, like, great interrogation. Yeah, when you get arrested, you know, sitting there like, they don't know if it's you, and just the detective, I think it was you, you fucking dickhead. <laughs> and then the suspect pulls out a gun, but don't, he's neuroto running, so he's faster than the bullets. How's, how's the chat going? Anything to not fucking uh, read this. You see, X was telling the truth here. He hadn't been murdering people. Instead, he'd simply been throwing them away. Please stop. <laughs> you started it. You. I just. I always forget about the internet's like godlike power to run something into the ground and keep running. Wait, there's people. There's people. Really? <laughs> you see, he was probably held back a lot in school to the point where he was 24 in the third grade. <laughs> She's got this picture of, do you remember in Game of Thrones when um, Jon Snow's reeing at a dragon? Oh, yeah. And now it's just Jon Snow in a first, just as a fox <laughs> or something. <laughs> just like a giant Scottish Sonic looming over him. Oh, look, Matthew Perry is here. What is this creature going to fake Sonic as opposed to the real one who killed his friend? We're in so fucking deep. We are so far down the rabbit hole now. All right. Oh, fuck oh, it. Fine, fine. Oh, thank you very much, Sun English Bloke, uh, who says... Someone get Kiefer Sutherland to show this kid how to interrogate people. The trick is to ask them where the bomb is before punching them in the head. Not the Tell actor. me where Marwan is! I, I assumed you were not the actor. I just, it was your name, Matthew Perry. This is not the actor. I am not the actor. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's gotten in trouble before. He's like, legally I'm obligated to tell you. Don't make me laugh. I've never murdered a single human being in my life. What? Tom was confused. Where? He said to worry. What? What do you mean, never? I'm like, Where? Oh, and what, exactly. Like what? What? That's not a question that needs to be asked. Exactly what I mean, smart guy. Why would I want to waste such a perfectly good toy? Um, Tom's brow furrowed in confusion, and he was sure his friends were just as clueless as he was. Just what was going on? A perfectly good t What the hell are you talking about? Tom demanded in frustration and fear. By the way, just just a uh, quilted on you guys. I don't want attention. I don't want another shout out. But I'm literally cry crying with joy at the moment. My second favorite YouTube channel, and I don't want any. I don't want any more attention. Who's this number one? Well, I was about to say yeah. and kill them like the dogs they are. I was about to say yeah. I was quite. I was quite enjoying that. And then you said second favorite, and for that you are fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> Give it? us the silver Get medal. Get me the hammer. <laughs> What? Us, the silver man, the first to lose, you spit upon us! Second favourite. I've killed men for less! You call me second favourite You again. come here on the day of my daughter's wedding! I will take your head! It's like, oh, like, just put them on a pike outside our castle, next to all those Turks. Sorry guys, I've been watching too many Jacob Rees-Mogg interviews and his personality is, is rubbing off on me a little bit. Yes, um, we do appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like someone subscribe. Oh, Hoodoo Hoodlum is my favourite. Hoodoo Hoodlum is. You know, now I'm really fucking insulted. <laughs> Not even like John John or something, no. Just some other creepy bastard channel. Riding our coattails past us. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you. 
Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate the support. <laughs> what stepped into the computer lab from the distortion on the walls made Tom's skin freeze up and his friends recoil? <laughs> he had some fucked up teeth. It's playing gangsters paradise. <laughs> Tall, lanky, with long, thin arms and legs that appear to be stretching into black sharp. <laughs> Toby's, Toby's persona. An X-shaped cut across. Can everyone please, anyone here who can draw, please make first Sony pictures of Toby and DM them to him on Twitter. <laughs> no, make it, no, make, give him, instead of make it a first Sony, make him like a persona cat. He's got his giant ghost persona behind him. Yep, yep, you could do that. So long as it's furry art of Toby, that's really what we want. An egg-shaped cut across his bare chest. His dark, furry quills wait, wait. wild. An egg-shaped cut across X, his chest? Oh, oh, he said egg-shaped. <laughs> it was robotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a, a bit better. There was an accident with the mean bean machine. <laughs> and that's why I'm evil. <laughs> Fucking Nelson Mandela. Oh, Christ, that was it. The reason Dr. Dr. Eggsmund was evil was because of his failed big bean chemo administered by Dr. Nelson Mandela. The oh, fuck God. is wrong with us? Oh, us, that was you. Yeah, that but was I'm saying, all... like, yeah, like, you wouldn't have said something equally fucking bizarre, like, in that scenario. Like, like someone's like, furry Toby? I am on it. <laughs> like, what do you mean? He doesn't mean he's on a drawing. Yeah. He means he's, like, on furry Toby, just, like, bumming him vigorously. <laughs> Like right, Toby's been tied to a radiator, dressed as a fox. <laughs> his skin grotesquely pale, and his face, eyes <laughs> black with cracks over his face. Two pinprick red dots for pupils staring down at them, and an unnaturally wide smile. More fangs than there should be in his mouth. Much like the werehog's teeth. Yeah, you looked. You thought that might be in the story, didn't you? Yes, I did. I did. I, I'm going to be I looked as well. <laughs> oh, um, we have a $5 from Charo Toad. Thank you very much, my dude. Uh, Charo Toad, probably pronouncing that wrong, says the following. Toby already has a Fursona fan art. It's featured in one of the Fan Pasta episodes, which you need to continue. Oof. <laughs> We've been, you've did been we, told. Did we fucking, like, abandon, like, a Fan Pasta and, like, never read the rest of it? Yeah, that sounds like something we do. It's like, here it is, incredibly lazy, doing the bare minimum required to be on YouTube. Thank you, Sarah, for the title. Tom noticed that the outline of his entire body seemed odd, distorted even, like this thing wasn't even in sync with the space he was supposed to occupy. As the creature walked closer to them, the computers that were near him started to go haywire, and Tom saw, to his surprise... Child porn. <laughs> fucking hell knows it. No, this isn't. This is if JC the hyena. That wouldn't be horror, right? That, that's like erotic. Fantasy. Yeah, no, no, it's like a cenobite. It's like come yeah. enjoy like, the ple pleasures of the fur, of the flesh, pleasures of the fur. <laughs> um, someone's just like I want to be Yahtzee is the name, and I'm no, I'm just like yeah, uh, like the very very large teddy bear that hangs out in our living room is called Yahtzee. If anyone didn't know, so this guy like, I want to be Yahtzee. Just like <laughs> looking at the our enormous living room bear, like God, I wish that were me. <laughs> All right. Uh, as the creature walked closer, mm, uh, the computers went into blah, 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 blah. They started to shut down due to the batteries running out of power. At that moment, Tom realised that the battery power was being... Was being... Thrown away. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bang the table with that crappy mic on it. In his left hand was a girl, struggling in the air to be free from the creature's grip. It was Alana. Who? I've already forgotten who that is. Have we established who Alana is? I just remember there being, like, there's... Derek Green, a Superboy detective. Derek Green's Derek sister. Green again. He's about to act up. Um, and then his friends involve girl, guy, other guy, and maybe other other guy. The creature spoke. Tom saw his wide, drooling mouth move as he spoke in the heat. I'm just picturing like a mora. So, so that bottomless pit meme with the open scars. That's just the author. A hideously fake sonic voice, an apparent hint of a growl lying under. What does that mean? What's a hideously oh, it's a so bad sonic voice? What? The voice I'm doing. Uh, wait, you, you're too slow! Murder! What I'm talking about is that I haven't been killing anybody. 
have no reason to. If I kill someone, then that'd be one less human for me to play with, pure and simple. And I want to play with every long pause. <laughs> Single one of you. The creature shifted his attention to Alana, who was whimpering in fear in her desperate struggle. Vicky, I don't know who that is, let out a cry. Is Vicky the Russian? Russian yeah. yeah. Let out a cry as he put... Do a Russian cry. As she put her hand on her own mouth. Oh! Um. <laughs> that was a, that's a sneeze. It's like... It's like <laughs> well, I'm a Russian cry is just like, oh God, God there's no food and yeah. I'm being sent to Gulag. Um, <laughs> Take that's, that's, that's not a Russian cry, that's a Russian afternoon. Sweet little, little miss, for example. It's a very loud turk car. It's, it's really, you know, like, it, I know this is supposed to be, like, oh no, he's about to kill what's-her-face, but it's like, we cannot remember, like, he could have just made someone up, because he brought out Stanley Princess Man. Yeah, we have no idea, yeah. do we? She's a bit of a dork with computers. Just imagine the fun I could get having someone like her around. What, she's going to tell you how to get around your fucking parental controls? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, oh, she's good at computers. Imagine the fun I, a sadistic, like, sex murderer. <laughs> it's you know, sort of basically like a s shitty Cenobite. Imagine yeah. the fun I can have with a computer nerd. Yeah. Or well, you're going gonna, to, like, jam USBs up her clunge. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, well, well, he's supposed to be like, he's an all-powerful... A multi-dimensional demon bullshit thing. Oh, is that canon in this one? It's I have no fucking clue. Like, but like, it's all off the table from the original stories. Like, yeah, but I'm just like, like, it's like, oh, like, I, I've hacked my way into this dimension. Imagine what I can do with a college-grade hacker. Oh boy, I might be able to get in someone's fucking League of Legends account. Just imagine the havoc. Like, it goes into there. Goes, oh god, it's so toxic. It's killing me. As Tom Imagine said. the things I can do with your Overwatch account. All those loot boxes. <laughs> I'll be spending five hundred dollars. Yeah. Then I'll be opening online. <laughs> Thank you very much to Schlongson McJohnson. <laughs> the name. Sonic EXE is JC the hyena. They're both sexual deviants who want to play with children. <laughs> hey, I mean, he's not wrong. Thank you for the five pounds. Slongson McJohnson is not wrong. Not Jason the Hyena. He's very. Like, <laughs> he's, that clear. To fucking clarify, he's very wrong. <laughs> you know, after reading this across several weeks for several hours, I've come round his way of thinking. Yeah. That's the secret message in the story. Now I now I'm going to get you know get on a flight on the Lita Express to Tommy Podesta Private Island. <laughs> Why aren't we storming that instead of Area 51, by the way? Like, there's a there's an island full of child sex slaves. Basically, the people perpetrating that are going unpunished. Uh, so, the creature look, uh, the creature shot his look back. Okay, then. What? Oh, no, I haven't. I'm still... Oh, I'm paragraph ahead. As Tom saw the creature's expression turn into a... Hung, expression. I can't even speak. Turn into Expresso. a hungry, Expression. predatorial look. Child <laughs> never ends. By the way, somebody somebody photoshopped Chris Chanson and it was like fucking photo perfect. Like it looked real. Oh, it find amazing. that picture. It's, I think it's on the Discord. I'll show it to you when I've got some more charge in my phone. Look as he looked at the terrified Alana. Uh, look as he looked. Great writing. Tom muttered out, fear and anger rising within him. Let her go. You leave her and my friends alone. God damn it. The creature shot his look back at Tom, and his predatory smile changed into a kind of smile as if he just got... As if he was about to give a child some candy and ask... And his predatory smile changed into a kind of smile as if he just got some kind of sick joke, learned to write, and then he tossed his head back in laughter. The clown-like cackle angered Tom more and more as it rang across the room. Or oh, you'll do what? Truth be told, you've been the most fun I've had in months, Tom. Mm. Your insecure desire to keep your friends safe. I give myself an injury doing this. <laughs> Wanting to play a hero and all. It's been a while since I've met such an adorably delusional human. That look on your face when you saw what I did to your friend Kyle. Priceless! Ha! <laughs> 
Ah! Which is also funny because we remember getting out um, Carl being. Actually hurt myself. Do you want a drink of water? Yes, please. <laughs> you motherfucker! Tom yelled furiously. <laughs> Just like old timey radio. Motherfucker! He just heard the word constantly using it. Somebody today called me a motherfucker. It was a stitch. <laughs> Tom yelled furiously. The minute Kyle's name was mentioned, it was like something inside him snapped. He ran towards the monster. <laughs> Thank you again, Mr. Chero, he says. Adorably delusional human. Is this just JC describing himself? No, no, it's true. Imagine it. No, I mean, like, adorable... <laughs> By no. the way, I just realised what your profile picture is, and that the fact that your name is Charo Toad, and I, I just was like, I just remembered Thumbelina. <laughs> Carl's name was mentioned. Like so, uh, <clears throat> he ran towards the monster with, with his arms stretched out behind him, so he could dodge the bullets against his friend's protests to strike at him to hurt him. Unfortunately, it seemed reality struck first, as Tom was sent flying back. The creature had knocked him back with his free hand. The amused look on this monstrous face, stifling. <laughs> stifling. Another hateful laugh. I mean, literally, it's underlined because spell trick is a thing that exists. Yeah, but Jake, this isn't like word. He didn't actually have to fork out money for it. This is free. He got this for free. Yeah, this is open free offices. Sh- open offices fucking free. Shitty program I've downloaded, and even this has good enough spell check to show me that stifling is not the word stifling. As his friends rushed over to him when he landed on the floor, I was lucky, Tom struggled to get back up, not taking his eyes off the monster. Anger still lingering. Why? Tom demanded. Why? Why are you doing this? What did we humans ever do to you? Nah! The creature looked at Tom. She's turning into like an old time gangster now. And then answered. Just like, I don't put you in cement shoes, see? Yeah, see? Yeah, we're sleeping with the fishes tonight. Casually speaking, as if he was completely oblivious to the fact that Alana was still struggling in his hand. Once again, who the fuck is Alana? Nobody cares. Can we just change it? Like, from now on, her name is... I don't know, Luigi. Ooh. Yeah, didn't it do oh. anything to right. me at all? Oh, um... Oh, so that's that's got to be an accident. How, fuck. How do you... Sixty-five dollars. That's gotta be accurate. There's a mistake. You, right. You accidentally hit the sixty yeah, instead of another five. Right. How do we refund that? Hang on. I mean, I was like, well, we never know. But just check. Like, yeah. Thank you for me... remembering the beauty that was the sexy Let's... toad played right. by Charo, who also played the. It was not an accident. Really? No. So thank you for remembering. Shit. The thank you. That was the wow. The sexy toad played by Charo, who was played the clue queen in the Sharknado Five. Did like? Did you do it because Gemma knew who you were? Is it because I knew who it was? Yeah. <laughs> because thank you. Fuck, that is that is a, so like so is that, that, is that, is that how this scene amount of me. is this how this works? If you can guess like obscure crypto, they right, give you everybody a phone. Everybody, open up the fucking Google search on your phone immediately. Yeah, literally, I'd open up Google to like I've got a little bit of batteries. I open up Google to to how to refund a super share. Like I, I'm genuinely that's it, that's so it's like oh that you're, that's a reference to the Podling Peas, so and it gives like the times like sixteen. And so I could buy a Discord link. Honestly, yeah, no. Discord just... links in the, in the description, mate. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, oh yeah, guys, yeah. if you you know if you get bored of listening to the story, you can click the description. There's a shit. Jackson Carroll says uh, gives five dollars. I have nothing to say. I'm just laughing a lot. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, so if we can I have like, you, random citizen? No, thank you uh, for the. Uh, if we can, j- if we can just uh, guess where his name came from, does it like give <laughs> us like, a six? Yeah, sixteen <laughs> times multiplier. <laughs> It's, it's like it's like a um, 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 like poi poi tetris where it's like a multiplier in points. In fact, you humans are the most amazing thing I've ever come across in this boring universe. I was bored out of my mind when I first came here. So but I went man. for the most exciting thing ever, Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your kind anthropomorphic animal. <laughs> I thought, Jesus. Fuck, these are some sick bastards. I'm joining in. And, I so felt I, like... and then I, I wrote a story called How Do You Get Bloodstains Out of a Fursuit? And I felt like I had to have every single one of you to do as I wish. To play with me however I desired. Which is playing fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. And to eat my ass with some jelly. 
First thing I'd make him do if I was in prison, I'd make that boy eat toss my salad. <laughs> it's just like, so what the hell happens in X's evil dimension? It's like, well, the first thing I do is make him toss my salad. Oh, oh to toss your salad. What's, what's that? Well, having your salad tossed <laughs> is having your asshole eaten out with either jelly or syrup. Now me, I prefer syrup. <laughs> to do as I wish, to play with however I desired. Granted, it's taken me a while to complete my collection of fun little humans. But that's that's me. Oh, that's you. Sorry. Uh, that's fucked up. Vicky yelled. No, Vicky. Uh, oh yeah, Vicky uh, yelled. She's a new character. The way you talk about humans is like you think we're nothing but toys. He has literally said this. <laughs> like it's like you think we're toys. He has used the word toy to describe humans. Pay attention to a conversation you're a part of. Also, as sort of in a meta way, I like the the person who objects to being, you know, people being disposed of like they're absolutely nothing is the Russian person. <laughs> In Mother Russia, we do not throw away for silly things like fun. We do it because great leader tells us to. Run into the guns. We do not have enough. Soak up those bullets. It's like that, we you, know, you don't need no fucking Kyles to storm Area 51. You need some Russians. Like, I think like, they really want to. It's just like a genuine thing. <laughs> just like one gun between four, okay? But, it's like, we will do whatever And those four are family. Mother, uh, youngest son, youngest daughter, and baby. Baby holds the gun. <laughs> I just, Putin just turning up in like fucking ceremonial, like, regal garb, dressed like the fucking Tsar Nicholas. Just like. I'm opening up a bag of crisps. There we go. Um, and you guys can can bitch in the chat about how Area 51 memes are played out. Fuck you guys. There's right? only one, played out has been like oh, about half a week. Everyone's like, because everyone thinks it's funny, people can't enjoy things. So it's like, oh, fucking Area 51 memes on the timeline again. Like, shut up, cunt. I just watched the, um, was it like, there's like the actual news report and just someone laughing at it. It's hilarious. It's like, it's a news reporter saying that thing with a straight face. I like that to think that there's nothing in Area 51. The whole thing's a fucking smokescreen. And all the really secret, scary, dark like Area 52. Shit is happening at Area 52, which is like a... Which is at the back of a Home Depot. And just like fucking no... They're like torturing people, testing chemical weapons. Because Area 51 is like literally where they just... They just like manufacture the engines for jets or something. Like it's, that. It's, it's a giant... Back in like the 60s, someone ordered... An outrageous number of chairs. <laughs> they just need to store them at Area 51. Like, lethal force is here. So everyone thinks that's where the fucking secret military base is. It's actually somewhere else. It's just where they I'm keep... fucking calling it, by the way. Like, if, if anybody ever got into Area 51, I'm saying it now. There's fuck all there because the secret shit's happening elsewhere. It's just, it's just filled with ladders and chairs and tables. <laughs> Whenever, like, oh, someone in Nebraska needs a new chair, they have to get it from Area 51. Could you imagine getting, like, working your way up through the Secret Service? You get the gig of a lifetime, you're finally going to be on detail at Area 51. You know, you've been working there for years now. Like, <laughs> it's a box like, factory. What's in there? Oh, I don't know, I never ask. And, like, you're, you've you're exactly the right kind of attitude. You finally get promoted, you're going to be working inside the facility. And it's just like, you realise you just go in there, you're just looking at computers, making sure they don't break, and playing fucking snakes and ladders with some other guy. Like, what's here? Ah, oh, we make, like... We make uh, boxes to, you know, to shift screws to the military. <laughs> so it's it's actually a giant the box factory. Being <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right, okay. I just care so fucking little about this. Oh, but you are. You all exist for my amusement and my amusement alone. Do you want me to continue reading? Yes, yeah, my throat hurts. Okay. We got spare water. The creature returned his predatory glare at the terrified Alana. At the, no, at the terrified. <laughs> the terrified? The, the she's, been, she's been turned into a turf. <laughs> terrified. God damn you, Sonic! You are pure evil! Uh, turning these perfectly nice young girls into bigots! But then his smile widened as he looked at Tom and his friends the one last time before saying that matter-of-factly, his growl more prominent... What? Oh, his growl more prominent... <laughs> <laughs> Besides, it's not like you guys are gonna stop me. 
Please give donate more money in Super Shack to pay for Jacob's reconstructive heart <laughs> surgery. Thioplastic. There it is. I don't know what that meant. Um, what happened next was something. It's not because he's doing the voice. It's all the thick he's been sucking. <laughs> what happened next was something that had vividly burned itself into Tom's memory to this day. Is he okay? Whatever horrors he was imagining before what the creature did. So we know we know that. Tom survives. Yeah. He well could done. never recall. Uh, oh no no! A monstrous snarling rattle was heard as the creature slowly began to pull his entire head back. Uh, oh wait, like, okay, I thought you could like pull his dick out. And Tom and his friends watched as his mouth began to stretch more and more open. Okay, so furry. Shall I, shall I nab this one? Wait, hold on, hold on. Okay, so Jacob, furry, pedophile, male. Four. Right. Doesn't surprise. Again, I've been on. I've been on his blog where he lists off his fucking fetishes, and there's all kinds of sick shit on there. I'm pretty sure four is on there. The, va- the fangs more exaggeratedly popping out. Alana screamed as she looked into the vast maw, and for a, mo- a moment, Tom thought that I was called a moment. A mo- moment, Tom thought the creature was going to eat her, but then the hands came. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing about the way he tries to be frightening works. Yeah, it's just, it's all funny. Yeah. Oh god, what happened? <laughs> you just were leaning on the enter key. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what yeah. happened? It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter because we're, you know, we're all right. at the top anyway. Oh, have we done that? No, I oh, no, no, we haven't read all that. There oh, we go. Hit the gun. From, from within the creature's extremely wide maw, Tom saw hands immediately snake their way out. Long, black, writhing. <laughs> Throbbing. Where are we? Go back up. I'm, I'm trying to fucking put the words back in. There uh, is, you, yeah, there they are. I was going to say, just keep hitting the go back button. That's, that's, what, I, that's what I did. I As many shadowy hands grabbed a hold oh. of the screaming Alana, been on his deviant art and fur affinity, he is. Ugh, doesn't I'm, I'm pretty sure he listed it, but it, did you? It was way sicker shit than that on his like. like do you remember any of what it was? Like, yeah, like um, uh, wound fucking. Okay, that's um, horrifying. Age play, which doesn't sound creepy. That, doesn't sound that bad until you click on his definition, which yeah. he lists as uh, scenarios sometimes sexual, where one or more participants is, and this was the exact wording he used, significantly underage. Yep. A few okay. Um, the, the, the Tom could also hear Vicky screaming in terror. A few of the hands grabbed Alana's arms, shoulders, and neck, while other pair. Um, well, while, while another business. pair was working with her mouth. Alana shrieked and struggled to keep her mouth shut, <laughs> but the hands latched on. Tentacle play. The hands latched onto her jaws and began to force her mouth open. I feel like he had a hard on when he wrote this. Like I don't have any proof. But you feel like deep a, in your heart. It's like a vibe, you know. Yeah. yeah. Tom's brain was jamming. <laughs> jamming. As he, as he, <laughs> when I'm like like kind of looking at it, like it's just like he just drifts off to think about music he likes. It's like, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> When I get scared, I just start hearing a, a smooth reggae beat in my head. Tom's like, Tom's like, like ripping his goes like, oh, I'm just gonna like, like you see Tom's eyes, like what's he thinking about? He's like, fuck his brain, and it's just like, it's just like Miles Morales sitting there going, needless to say, <laughs> Tom's brain was jamming as he helplessly watched the hands pull her mouth open. The sound of bones snapping. Alana's body convulsed. Should we fucking skip this? Do you extra think? hand forced its way down her throat. Disgusting sounds of flesh tearing and squishing inside her. Tom was beyond terrified. Horrified. He couldn't think. Aroused. After a few seconds, all of the hands let go of Alana, who had gone limp at this point, as the arm that went down her throat began to pull itself back out. Alana's body dropped to the floor when the hand yanked out of her mouth, taking with it something unusual. Or unsual. I think it's something unsual. It was a small caravan. Within the hand's claws was a small orb of bluish light. Oh, you've had a message. Oh, no. DMX it. Its glow layered and seen through Alana's blood. To Tom, the sight of this orb was surreal. Oh, wait, I, d- I just remembered something we learned in the last one. That uh, the soul has weight. Remember the thing? Like, oh, yeah, the 21 grams theory from like yes. the fucking 19th century. <laughs> 
The hand placed the orb onto the The real horror is why was somebody using the metric system in the 19th century? Uh -huh. I mean, using it now is likely to get you a smack around me. I mean, <laughs> the hands placed the orb onto the creature's normal hand and then retreated back into his mouth with the many other fiendish arms as his maw shrank back to its normal wide grin. A greedy, perverted look on his face as he, as, as he stared at the glowing orb in his hand. Holy shit! You fucking killed her! Mike choked out, his face paled with holler. Ho the, the, holler? Holler! Holler! His face paled with horror. The creature's eyes moved towards Tom and his friends, an annoyed look on his face, his voice back to that bored tone. Jeez, how dense are you, dude? I told you I don't kill humans. Your friend's still alright. Turning to face them again. I the don't think they are. Because, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I reckon if you had a hand shoved down your throat and you heard squishing noises, even ignoring the whole, you know, they remove the soul, which is 21 grams, horseshit, sounds slightly fatal. Yeah. But don't, don't, don't quote me on that, because I'm not a doctor. Unlike JC the hyena, doctor of hyena sex. Creature grins. has a PhD in it and everything. I don't know why, I just thought of another really old fucking reference. Like when you said, I'm no doctor, it just made me think of Kung Pao. So <laughs> I haven't seen in years, which is like, crap, man. That's like his stomach <laughs> plug on the ground. <laughs> I don't think that's even possible. Yeah. The creature grinned again as he held his hand out, showing them the orb caught between his claws, like it was some kind of prize for him to show off. His voice, that teasing child voice again. See? She's right here. But she's dead. Realization hit Tom, and he quietly asked, You, you mean that's... that's her... her soul. Correct. Just like all of my other playthings, your friend is still alive and well right here. Because the soul never dies. Like, ever. Because, yeah. the, because the soul never dies, like, ever. Um, oh, it doesn't be like the, yeah, yeah. But, but, but I'm not here to fight your war. I'm here to end it. <laughs> oh, did you, I told you about Lumpy Space Princess to the movie. Oh, like, yeah, they've announced it's... the new Lumpy Space Princess film, haven't they? The Who cares? Because Blade. That's really what yeah. I give a shit about. The, the creature's claws opened up, and then the soul sank. All, into... all humans are my playthings. All of them, aged three to fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> and then the soul sank into the palm of his hand until its blue glow disappeared. He closed his fingers again as he licked his lips. A long purple tongue slid, sliding against his gleaming the fangs. Was sliding. And now it's all mine to take home with me. Just like the rest of you. Home? Roger asked shakingly. What's home? He's homeless, Roger. It hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't come up. No, he's, and nobody's ever really talked. People are too sensitive to talk about having houses around him. I just feel bad. <laughs> What's home? <laughs> My home, of course, where all the souls I've collected are at. To do what? Why does he talk like this? Like, I swear in like the original story, he talked like a monster, right? He spoke like a monster. In this one, he he speaks like he's a valley girl. To do whatever. Can you I just? Want. Can you? I know you always do King of Red Lines for. Uh, can you please just be Lumpy Space Princess? I cannot. I'm afraid this is bigger than you and I. <laughs> Even my desire for Lumpy Space Princess will not allow me to do this. To do whatever I want with. I feel like an immortal demon wouldn't end a sentence with a preposition here. To mould and break as many times as I desire. An eternity of playing with me. Awaiting every single one of you humans. The creature laughed also, again. Oh, okay, so imagine if this was you just randomly clicked on a website and you still managed to get here. And... You just read that paragraph, and okay, this is a bit dog shit, but it's some sort of demon that has just claimed a human soul. I wonder what it looks like. I'm sure it must be a terrifying visage, and not a fucking blue hedgehog. <laughs> I feel like the scariest thing is like, oh man, why has he got blue arms? Like, I'm never, I'm ever gonna get over that. Yeah. Why has he got blue arms? The creature laughed again. Tom felt terror more than he ever did as the creature took another step forward, 
more computers dying in his wake. As JC he's... the Hyena has the writing standards of a first grader. No wonder he can only get dates with preschoolers. Oh! Fucking body! <laughs> More computers. I would st if that had been said in front of well over a hundred people, I would steal that and use it as my own joke. Ah Woo! Aha. More computers Aha. Woo. dying in his wake as he took a more predatorial stance. An ex Aha. Aha. Woo! An excited and sadistic grin loomed on his monstrous face, drool beginning to seep from his mouth as he looked at the kids as he spoke growling rising in a volume in his voice with each slow step he took they took a step back he looked like he was about to lunge at them already i've started my <laughs> little shopping spree <laughs> thinking that really would be a very good Already, I've started my little shopping spree with this college of yours. An entire smorgasbord of entertaining souls all to myself. What the odds of that? Okay, please stop. <laughs> it's okay if I do the voice. Yes. It could be like, you sound had... exactly like Brie Larson and it needs to stop. It, imagine if Toby had read that. Is that like a personal attack? What are the odds of that? Ha! And it looks like I found ha, myself ooh. four lucky souls for the price of one right now. The creature got down on all fours. Fuck! <laughs> and presented. <laughs> In a pousing position. Fucking proofread your stories. Like, you just expect assholes like us to fucking do it for you. This is getting... He licked his fangs some more. Oh! His red eyes gleaming in the dim he room. He definitely was hard when he wrote this. His voice changed to a more beastly his baritone. His dick was throbbing. Today is a really good day for me. Tom's heart pounded. Do you think he came when he wrote that? He Definitely. saw the door to their right. Fucking it was nutted everywhere. It was now or never. All over in Guys, over. run now! He suddenly yelled. <gasps> they all jumped out of the way as the creature leaped to grab them, crashing into the wall and snarling in pain as he missed them. Tom and his friends ran out the door and started running down the hall, hearing the creature's laughter from within the computer room. Nice dodge! Go on then. Run, run, run! The fun's only just begun. <laughs> if you just like, replace that run, 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 like with the with the one from I Feel Fantastic, just run, yeah. run, run. We gotta get anyone that's left in the school out of here, and then we gotta warn Green. <laughs> quick, quick, Detective Green, Sonic has come out of the computer and is eating people's souls. Terry Green's but oh, I see that the. Uh, I, I was wrong to just grab a random teenager. Yeah, I see the stress. Yeah, yeah so the, the PTSD. His mind. So I probably shouldn't have shown him all those corpses. Tom shouted as they continued running. Mm. What the hell? How? What the Mike hell? squealed. The intercom in the offices. We can warn everybody there. <laughs> Come on, Pikachu. <laughs> Every, anyone who's listening, we found a murderer. It's Sonic. <laughs> That's on the head, Jock. But not really. Okay, you... With that. Now, being generous, this is an additional $6.17 from Charity. Now, being generous, I've given the tea in $80. By the way, Jacob, learn what the bloody subjunctive mood is, and Gemma, I made a Twitter.com just for you. Thank you. So you mean kind. subjective mood or. So kind. Um, okay. With that, they entered the administration offices and found the intercom mic. Tom turned it on and then. Calming himself down, he spoke into it. Attention, students! Now, who's this? That's you. Oh, Tom. Attention, all students! This is not a drill. <laughs> the killer is in the building right now. Please evacuate the college right now and get as far away as you can. I repeat, this is not a drill. There is a killer inside the college right now. <laughs> I would not describe him in painful detail. And get as far away as you can right now. <laughs> Zones blue! After a few minutes, they heard a commotion going on outside. They had succeeded. People were starting to leave. Ha! We did it! Roger exclaimed, and he and Mike happily high-fiving each other. And then you... Phew! Suck on that, you psychotic freak! Tom whispered to himself as... We've already won, now let's go back to our dorms! As he triumphantly sat back. Like, we well, won give the war! Those, we'll give those Jerry's a bashing! <laughs> But then his relief began to diminish the minute he began to notice the commotion outside not dying down. Why are there still people here? Vicky asked quietly. 
dread returning within them all, they all left the offices and headed towards one of the entrances, where a good number of students and teachers were trying to fight their way out. It was zero success. On the other side of the doors was what looked like wooden boards. <laughs> Could have rhymed. Someone had barricaded them in. Tom? Tom? Sorry, I was reading the chat. No fucking way! No fucking way! Tom repeated in dismay. There was no way this could be real. Yo, this entrance is sealed off too, Mike said in a shocked tone. He was checking one of the entrances real no like the 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 he was checking one of the entrances nearby. Someone fucking locked us in. The teacher tried to calm the students down. They then tried to lead them to any other ways out, but Tom wasn't sure if that would mean anything at this point. Tom tried to call Green, but the minute he pulled out his phone, no service. When his friends saw this, they tried to use their phones too. To their shock and horror, their phones had no service either. It was terrifying. Actually, yeah, it wasn't actually because of Sonic's uh, magic power. It's just they went with. Um, it was like, a school in Canterbury. Yeah, that, that, I was just say it's AT and T. So. That's that's not possible. Vicky whimpered. What the fuck is going on? Mike yelled desperately. And that, and then that voice again. That teasing, singing child's voice coming from from the, somewhere from the ceiling. Oh. Uh oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Tom and his friends shot their heads up to see the sonic doll head dang 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 <laughs> dangling from the ceiling. Danking. Danging. Danging rumper. From the ceiling. I don't even know what that is. Smiling down at them all as it swayed lazily like a pendulum under the black appendage it was attached to. The head spoke again without its smiling mouth moving. I have a few friends. Oh, it's... No! <laughs> no! Oh. Wait, put the hold. We're gonna go get Toby. <laughs> it's like, roll up to his fucking house. It's like, Tobe, get your ass over here. Right, I'm, I think I'm gonna take over reading now. Okay? okay, that's fine. I have a few friends that like to make sure my collecting goes off without a hitch. Is one of these gonna be my boy, Uberu the Warrior of Sadness? <laughs> None of you are going anywhere! Anger rose up within Tom as he looked at the wretched doll head smiling that mocking smile down at him. Oh God. That wouldn't happen to be the cult of X by any chance, would it? He snapped. Fuck! Oh, you knew about the cult already? The creature laughed as the head swayed more. Yes, they've been helping me with my little collectathon ever since they found out about my existence. Imagine that, a group of humans that actually want me to play with, actually want to play with me. What's great is it's sort of implied that there was already a cult of X. And then when they found out about him, they started helping him. I know that's not what he meant, but it's just really clumsily worded. So, uh, little... so we started worshipping this interdimensional being called X, who just happened to like Sonic. And luckily, <laughs> it's like, I was by doing a it fucking as... one in a trillion fluke. <laughs> like the guy who started it was just doing it as like a fucking tax haven. <laughs> but... <laughs> Toby is working. The rest of you humans all should learn from that example. They all think of me as a god because of what I can do. I'll become a god of this new world. I am Kira. We've been watching Death Note. Yeah, we've been watching Death Note. Actually, it doesn't sound like that because I've been watching it in, in weeps. Yeah, it's, it's sounds like fucking Ash Ketchum has played, like, trying to play... Um... What the hell kind of crazy assholes would want to think of this thing as some kind of god? I mean, it has the ability to... It, it can sort of appear where it wants to and has the ability to rip out a man's soul out. That's, yeah, I mean, that's... that's I, I mean, people have worshipped lesser beings as gods. Roger asked, utterly baffled. The creature continued to speak. Sadly, I can only do so much in your world. I can rip out souls from people's bodies. For some reason, my powers are limited every time I cross over. I can't even change the reality of any of the rooms in this dull-ass place. But ah well, that's not important right now. What is important is me getting to the snagging of souls. I'm saying I said snagging. You're not stealing any more souls tonight, Tom yelled. Die, monster, you're playing this well. Tom yelled defiantly. We're going to find a way to contact Detective Green. Oh, that'll <laughs> save the world. <laughs> and then he's going to arrest you and send you to prison. And 
And the whole world's gonna know about you. It's got the whole world in his head. The creature only laughed as the doll head began to transform, the tiny black dotted eyes widening and crackling as red dots began to appear, his mouth opening up to show his fangs. Well, we'll go on and bring him over. All the more souls for me to collect and play with. I just like this idea of him actually, you know, he does bring over Derek Green and he does the first incompetent ever, and he just arrests Sonic. And then the rest of the, the rest of the story is like a procedural where it's like Sonic goes to prison and, you know, he's like, because he's tidy and he gets, he's the bottom bitch and he's getting assaulted in the showers. The doll head then split almost in half as its mouth opened up. An unearthly snarl was, hurled in, uh, was heard as the multitude of arms springing out once more, this time for Tom and his friends. The hands went straight for Vicky, who fell for the floor. So are the cult coming to help him, then? Who fell I want to know about these seven guardians. I want to see Uber back. And shielded herself, but Mike jumped in the way and started to wrestle with the arms that had grabbed him, preventing them from grabbing a hold of his girlfriend. Mike! No! No, Vicky. Mike! He was my favourite character! Vicky screamed in shock. The fuck are you doing, you idiot? Tom shouted in protest as he helped Vicky. Don't worry about me, dipshit. Mike yelled back and grunted as he struggled and tried to overpower the arms and now had his attention. Just get the fuck out of here. Go! Oh, my God. I'm, oh, I'm so heartbroken that Mike sacrificed himself. I, I know, it's That tragic. was such a powerful character moment because obviously when he started out, you know, he was all... He was very selfish, mm. but, you know, the experience... But he let them grow as they went on their journey. Films, over several films and, of course, having a daughter... Yeah. You know, it's really changed him. And I was obviously seeing, seeing Spider-Man as a sort of surrogate son. And that, that, that time he helped Boromir like, get over his troubles with the ring, and yeah. Not seeing any other option, Tom dragged the crying Vicky as he and Roger started Pushed running. her in the way. Like, no, Mike, my boyfriend. Just dragged her. He didn't say dragged Sobs her to in a, Russia. Like, fit, fit, like, dragged her, like, verbally. <laughs> hoping to find another way out as Mike continued to fight back. By the time they had reached a classroom, Tom's heart plummeted as he heard Mike screaming far behind them before eruptly stopping. Eruptly stopping? <laughs> so, does that mean he exploded? <laughs> I just, I think it's because it's Jason that I know, I'm just picturing him coming. Like, <laughs> Vicky sobbed in his arms in response. Trying to fight back the tears himself, Tom looked around the classroom. Already students had been taken as well. More screams were faintly heard all around them. The creature was taking all of their souls, one by one. We gotta hide somewhere, Tom muttered, trying to suppress his grief and anger. The cafeteria kitchen! We'll hide in the food storage! <laughs> he said very loudly! <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you, you know! Roger no, said, he can't. Roger said, breathing heavily. Alright. As more screams were heard all around them from multiple places around campus... Tom, Roger, and Vicky continued to run down the halls for the, for the cafeteria. Vicky was lagging behind, no doubt exhausted and traumatised. After Tom and Roger th threw... Oh. Threw. After Tom and Roger threw an open set of double doors as they entered the cafeteria... That doesn't make any sense. The doors suddenly slammed shut and locked themselves, preventing Vicky from following them. Cope? What the fuck? What the fuck? That's what you have to say. What the fuck? Tom shouted as he turned around to see the doors shut. He rushed back and tried to open them, but to no luck. Roger joined him. Vicky, open the door! I'm trying. Wait, I'm trying, Vicky wailed. She banged her fists on the door, sobbing. Let me in there! I want to get that potato! <laughs> How the fuck did these close on their own? I don't know! It's almost like... Something supernatural's happening! Roger demanded as he tried to kick the doors down. Tom froze. Through the window, he saw the creature in his lanky, beastly form standing behind her as she obliviously struggled to get the door open. In his fursuit. Smiling evilly at him, the creature raised a finger and waved it, doing a no, no, no motion before bringing it to him. Uh, 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 he didn't say that. I was thinking of the T-1000. No, 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 uh, bringing it to his curled lips as if he was shushing Tom. Tom? Uh, Vicky, Vicky, get out of there! Get out of there! Tom started to say, Get the fuck out of here, Vicky! Vicky looked at him. Vicky looked at him with a confused look before <laughs> turning to see the monster. <laughs> looked at him with a look? Fucking <laughs> enemy! She recoiled and slumped against the door, sliding down until she was on the floor. 
down the floor. Sliding down until she was on the floor and started to walk the dinosaur. And just like, there, hold to the fresh, spicy memes here, folks. As Roger and Tom were banging. Yeah, that means those are jokes, they're different. As Roger and Tom I were banging the against the door and screaming for her to run. Tom! Tom, help me! Help me! Vicky screamed and sobbed. The grinning creature casually strolled towards her and smiling with a fang smile down at her, very clearly enjoying the terror he was inflicting on her. Roger was trying to break the door down while Tom was yelling desperately and banging his fists on the door. Tom? You leave her alone, you goddamn monster! Tom screamed. Tears of rage were streaming down his face as the creature drew closer Tears to her. Tears of impotent nerd rage. He then stopped and moved his black and red eyes towards the angered Tom, amused by his anger and his helplessness. God damn you! I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you! You hear me, you son of a bitch! I'll kill you! Didn't we decide that um, he was gonna have like a neck beard and be like super lame? Like, can you imagine some tubby? Fedora wearing neck beard yelling this at fucking Sonic. The creature flat. Like, so, it's so bizarre. It's like a locked door with a little window, and there's just like this fucking ginormous, like ripped Sonic the Hedgehog, like walking over to a girl. What a fat neck beard screams at him through the door, like, what the fuck is this story? The creature flashed. <laughs> An amusing glit grin at Tom. Like, do, you remember, do you remember that picture you showed us earlier? Like, you've been warned. Like that, but Sonic. <laughs> yes. Tom, before opening his mouth wide again. An unnatural growl was he heard once more in combination to Vicky's screams of terror. Tom could only scream in despair as he watched the monster sadistically lift Vicky up with many arms that shot out of his mouth, holding her in place to pull open her own. So he's just like, once again, this, this fat neck beard just ringing at these doors. All right. With a choked sob, Tom forced himself to shut his eyes and look away as he heard Vicky's jaws, jaws break. Jaw. Jaw. Break, she and, got two. And the grotesque sound of the creature's hand forcing its way down her gullet to rip her soul out. Tom, we gotta keep going. Come on, we gotta hide, dude. Come on, keep going. Roger spoke in a pained voice, shaking Tom's shoulder to get his attention. Opening his eyes, Tom saw the creature had vanished. Why? And only Tom and Roger remained as they ran down the cafeteria to head for the kitchen, running past the dozen dead bodies that lay in there, the 90s. there on the floor and, and tables. It was dead silent all around. Tom was numb. He didn't speak as Roger found the steel door to the food storage and pulled it open. He and Tom walked right in and Tom sat down as Roger pulled the door shut. Okay, we, we should be safe here for a while. It's not like you can teleport. Roger panted. We just wait until it's safe to head back out and find a way to get out of this college. I couldn't save them. Tom muttered quietly as he sat. What? Roger asked. I couldn't save them, Roger. Tom said more loudly. Mike, Vicky, Kyle. Well, to be fair, I mean, no one could have saved Kyle. None of you knew what the fuck was happening. I couldn't it's save too anybody. Stuffy dick. Tears formed in his eyes as he said that. Dude, look! Roger sat next to him. It's not your fault this guy's after everyone, and we still try to stop him. How, though? Tom asked desperately. The cult of X has sealed every way out, and they probably cut the Wi-Fi out of the whole school, too. <laughs> oh, gonna check my Twitter. <laughs> well, there's always the fire exit, which is, like, somewhere on the roof, Roger innocently answered. Tom sat there silently and then chuckled, wiping his eyes. At least you're trying to be optimistic about all this, man. Well, as long as there's still someone in this college, <laughs> yeah, we can put Carl an by end walking to down the this corridor. somehow. He hasn't caught us yet, and we're not gonna let him, Roger assured. Tom sighed as he sat back. No, why not? We're not gonna let him win. Still, I wonder what he meant by his home. No one cares. Like, why would you be thinking about this right now? Did he mean the world inside the game? Roger asked. I don't know. Probably. Tom answered, sounding tired. It's pretty obvious this guy isn't of this world, and wherever he came from isn't a home I want to be in. No kidding, Roger agreed, sitting back. Fantastic. Roger's gonna, Roger's gonna die. So what do we do now? Tom asked. Roger looked at him, then at the door, then finally him again. We make it to morning. If it's safe then, we'll start looking for a way out. Chapter 8. Right. Chapter 8. Should we take a short, uh, short recess?
Do you want to uh, have a little uh, Jimmy at the uh, little Jimmy Wiggy at the yeah, chat? In a month, where he's like in a garment and a bunch yeah. of other stories. All uh, right, yeah. is everyone ready to get back into the story? I'm ready. Do you want to do this again? Or I'll do you... chat for a bit and then we'll swap again. Let's All do right. this. <coughs> if chap any luck, this might be the last chapter. Chap, chap per eight. In the morning, Tom awoke. In July. His, Tom awoke from his sleep in the food storage by the sound of his phone ringing. His last best friend has been sucking his dick all night long. Last night was absolute hell for him, and he was sure he and Roger were the only ones left in the college. The creature probably had taken all the souls of everyone left in, camp by, in campus by now. Right, turn the fan on. Yeah. Lifting his head, Tom's sleepiness dropped signif significantly when he heard the ringing again. He sat back up and pulled his phone out and answered it. It was Detective Green. Oh, God. Tom. I've got oh. more evidence. I've got more evidence to show you. I've got more murder photos to show a teenage boy. Tom, <laughs> I've just been to the campus. I've got to show you all these pictures of all your classmates who are dead. Tom, are you there? Green's voice asked. His voice sounding concerned. Green. Oh, thank God. Tom choked with relief. <coughs> thank God. He is choking, Mike. I've been trying to call you for ages, but the Wi-Fi was down. What's going on? <laughs> He's been okay, throwing okay, it away. Okay, here's the thing, right? The, with, with the Wi-Fi being down, that doesn't mean that the signal for, like, phones are down. Like, it's no, the campus is in fucking Broadstairs. Like, yeah. No one's got any, no one's got any 4G. Green asked. Green, <laughs> you, need help. you gotta get us out of here. Tom said urgently. The killer's here in the college. He, he's murdered everyone. Only me and my pal Roger are left. Your personal arse licker. Wait. Are you serious? The killer is at the college right now. Green asked. Yes, and he's killed everyone! Please, you've got to get us out of here! Tom desperately pleaded. The cult of X is also involved. They sailed every way out of the college, and they were the ones who jammed the Wi-Fi. How? Wait. Oh, Christ. Wait, they say they jammed the Wi- like, how- how do they jam the Wi-Fi? They won't explain, so let's not worry about it. Magic? Green muttered, sounded rather horror-struck. That's not a word. Then tried to, Thunderstruck. Then tried to maintain his composure. All right. Sit tight, Tom. I'll be on my way. ASAP. Just hold on for a little while longer, okay? Yes, thank you. Tom exclaimed, relieved that Hope was not dead yet. Please hurry. I don't know where he is or what he's doing, but I'm... I'm fucking terrified. Tom's voice started to crack. Tears well up again. Indeed, Tom was feeling fear. <laughs> I'm glad they let us know, because I would not have been able to tell from context or his own words. I just want to go home, detective. Thank I... you for the person on mission now to let me know that he's scared. <laughs> want to go home and not be here, please. Okay, okay. Just calm down, you batty. <laughs> he responded. It's going to be all right. I need you to be strong right now, okay? We're not. We're going to get you out of here. <laughs> We're not going to get you out of here. <laughs> but please remain strong for just a little while longer until I arrive, okay? Tom calmed down as he was told and responded. Okay. <laughs> the wrong voice. Okay. Okay, I will. Thank you, detective. With that, they both hang up. Tom okay, stood... we're in the present tense now. <laughs> Tom stood back up. No, we're not. Roger. He said. Roger, where are you? Detective Green was on the... Roger's dead, isn't he? <laughs> right. He's on, the semen. on his way right now. We're getting out of here, right? His excited voice faltered when he saw the steel door out of the food storage had become ajar. Was it always open? Ah, <laughs> uh, Roger? <laughs> I love the idea. Oh no, someone's like... This supernatural creature's been killing everyone. That's... <laughs> Should we, should I double check the doors ajar? I mean, it does involve me moving my head like a, a whole 90 degrees to the left, but, Thomas. you know, I'm really tired. Confused. The door's open. His voice trailed when he turned to see Roger's legs sticking out from behind a stack of boxed foods. Who's boxed, oh, boxed foods? He's just always like cardboard boxes on top of him, just his legs sticking out with skin on his like. Box no. of foods! One side of the room! I just, no, no it turns out, I'm, wait, stop right now because I'm rewriting what's going to happen. Is he turns around the corner, oh my god! And it's just Roger with a giant pile 
of uncooked waffles that he's just eating because he's a freak. No contact waffles. <laughs> Fuck you, Toby. It was weird. <laughs> it was weird. It was. <laughs> To, uh, yeah, there's a toaster in the other room. I mean, it's not working now, but there's a toaster in the other no, room. No, the toaster's fine. It's the microwave. It's fine. Oh, that's right. Roger! Tom called out again, walking toward the stack as a familiar dread began to creep back into him. When he turned around to look to the other side of the stack, he felt his legs go numb and his heart break. <laughs> it was Roger. He, fell he was eating a bunch face. of waffles, but only taking one bite. But he, he was throwing, throwing them away. away. <laughs> numb beyond belief. There, sitting on the floor before him, was Roger. Like waffles. Hail. <laughs> Stop with them fucking raw waffles. You're obsessed with the raw waffles. Eyes no, that's blank Toby. and his mouth ripped open, blood <laughs> oozing from his jaw as it hung uselessly from his face. <laughs> Tom let out a drawn-out scream of pain, sorrow, and agony, not taking off his tear-filled eyes of off what he had remained of his final friend, an empty shell of a corpse. Robbed of his sense of self. Robbed of his soul. Wait, robbed of his sense of self, like... It's, it's, it's going back to the person who's Wait, not dead. not taking off his tear-filled eyes off. <laughs> yes, that was really... Not weird. removing his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, mean, you don't take out your eyes when you're all teary. Tom crumbled to the floor and slammed his fist repeatedly on the ground, screaming in despair and so much hatred for the one who had cruelly... Taking away all of Tom's friends. You, uh, pronouns exist. You could say his <laughs> friends there. The horrible, otherworlding monster. Otherworlding monstrosity. Otherworlding. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? <laughs> monstrosity that was so. Do you think it's otherworldly? Probably. Viewed humanity as nothing more than property to be owned, toys to be endlessly played with, until they broke. <laughs> Roger was actually killed by out-of-date waffles, <laughs> not an evil son. Funnily enough, the college had not been thrown away. <laughs> Never had Tom felt so much anger or hatred for another living being, and he had lost all rational thought in his despair as he immediately ran out of the storage and out of the cafeteria. Nearest of running the entire way. He didn't care if the creature was still out and about or not. He didn't care if he himself was out in the open to be caught like everyone else. He'd, he had enough. He ran and ran until he reached his own dorm room. He breathed maniacally. Mani he breathed maniacally, looking at his laptop that sat on his desk. He looked at it with such a mad, hateful look in his eyes, as, he, if, as if he knew just what to do to end this. As if he had been he meaning to do this all do. from the beginning. In a maniacal rage, Tom grabbed his laptop. Did you say maniacal? It. Yeah, that's it. he breathed maniacally. I think, I think like probably like fucking 2012 memes, yeah. like in New York on Twitter. Yeah. Then slammed it again. It was like, that's not a laptop. That's a classic. And it's not a meme. This is a, it's a reference. Tom grabbed his laptop. No, but like, that picture of, of Inigo Montoya with the quote written in fucking impact font is a 2012 meme, my dude. Tom grabbed his laptop and slammed it on the floor. Then slammed it again. Slammed it. Kicked it. Then grabbed a hammer and started smashing the screen on the bottom of on the bottom half of the laptop. Once again, I'm so glad that this fucking guy is the protagonist. So the guy's so emotionally unstable. He just... He screamed, laughed, and cried as he continued destroying his own laptop. Okay, so bringing up um, what he looks like again. Remember, he's a fat neck beard who looks like, like imagine an orangutan but with a fedora. The thing is, what what gets me is what I'm, I'm imagining that woman who's like smashing her own like um, scales oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. and just like. Oh yeah, I'm tired of you deciding whether I'm good or not. I'm like, just don't use them. You haven't got to smash them. Destroying and me. she's like, and that was better than sex. I'm like, you'd know. Hysterically <laughs> pretending he was actually hurting was like, the like monster that was hiding inside it. Then, with one final swing, the black, fully damaged screen shattered. It was done. He had done it. The bridge between worlds had been demolished. If the creature was already back in his world, there was no way he was going to cross back over now. And if he was out of this one, he was trapped. Unable to return to the nightmare realm that was his home. Well, I'm glad that was over. I mean, there was a lot of plot points still, well, hanging, but, uh, you know, it's over and we can move on with our lives. And that's both my goodbye. Jeez, that was a fucking loud one. Anyway, so the story's over. Let's all go home. So, I'm going to call the advisor with text. This is somewhat important. Yeah. Tom laid there on the floor. Wait. Yeah. Tom laid there on the floor, letting out a sob. He sobbed and sobbed for what seemed like hours. 
He felt like he was finally free from a horrible, horrible nightmare. Finally, the monster was gone. He wasn't able to save his friends, but now Tom could rest, for he has saved everyone. Then he heard something. Is it the voice? Yeah? No. It but just says... Battery power at Battery power at 100%. Because that's how they... Uh, uh, what have you ever had that would tell you that battery power's at 100%? Tom sat back up and slowly turned to Yeah, see. up until then I was really immersed. I mean, yeah, this is the most... Expensive disbelief. Yeah. My biggest fucking plot hole... Ever. Jesus Christ. Ru ruined the entire thing for me. As I said, Tom, Tom sat, sat back up and slowly turned to see Kyle's laptop. It had fully charged. He immediately felt the urge to destroy it too. But before he could even raise the hammer to slam it down on the laptop, something stopped him. It was a voice. A familiar voice. Uh, is this going to be Kyle, maybe? Probably, uh, Tom, Tom, are you there? No, it couldn't be. Tom dropped the hammer in shock, and slowly he opened up the laptop. <gasps> oh my god! Eight! No! No, you... What? On the screen, staring back at him, was Knuckles the Inchalata. So that's Tom. Tom, are you there? We can't do that, Jim. No, we'll be kicked off the internet. Yeah, that's true. Except his red fur was a dim, almost rust-like colour. His purple eye colour... Oh, wait, no, are we just fucking carrying on with this? We're not just... We're, we're just acting like it's all okay. And that my boy Tom, the... The journalist uh, is not having a fucking one-on-one -on -one Skype call with, you with Knuckles. Knuckles the Echidna! <laughs> with Knuckles the Ugandan! Are we just acting like this is a normal fucking horror story? Yes. Are we just gonna roll, we're gonna fucking roll over it? No, we cannot! We must address the Echidna in the room! <laughs> with its weird, like, penis! <laughs> its weird fucking prehensile five dicks. Fucking hell! You know what this means? Is this going to be the... You remember how it's like, oh, it's not the real Sonic, but don't worry. This is the real Knuckles, boys. I've... I've... I've, I've wow. Jacob. This has reached re re pure fucking Chris Channery. I have never get, seen such an answer tree in all my life. We, Jacob, I'm afraid to say that we're going to need to do it. Yep. And you got to help us. Exactly. I'm on his screen, staring back at him. But Jacob, nice. Jacob, Jacob, I'm sorry for this, but... Do you know that? Oh, don't! Yeah. They're gonna have our internet our privileges revoked. Oh. They're gonna, oh, you guys can't be trusted to have a YouTube channel, yeah. obviously. You know. <laughs> it was all right that a few times you said the N word, was a, was, we let it slide because we like the content, okay? That'd be but hilarious. Do you have the Knuckles voice in 2019? <laughs> fucking delete your account. On his screen. You get blacklisted from the internet. Except... You know what? We, we've got this supercomputer that's actually monitoring everyone on the internet. Like, we know about all the, like, the, the like, paid online assassins, like, the child porn, the snuff, that we don't care about. But Uganda Knuckles, in this time of day, in this time of year, in this part of the country, entirely within your internet. Except his red fur was dim. Yeah, that's why oh, Matt doesn't have Twitter. He was kicked off for everything Uganda Knuckles. Almost rust. No, he, he, he um in like in 2015 he used the success baby image and was immediately <laughs> kicked off the platform. <laughs> hey guys, I just found this thing. Uh, it's a picture of this kid with like he's digging about like it's stars or something. And it's in his band. <laughs> hey, have you heard of this thing called this new thing called a Rick Roll? I was like, oh, it's bad luck, Brian. <laughs> can't stop, boys. I can't stop singing Chocolate Rain. <laughs> Go chocolate Rain. <laughs> Fucking boots, just turn into a massive boomer stream. His purple eye colour. It's like, boys, we gotta make sure we get some of that monster energy so we can summon Kyle. <coughs> his purple eye colour was instead green. His and purple he, drank. And he had a dismal look on his face that looked like he found relief in years. No, he what? Looked He's like so he dismal that he's found relief. Like, oh, I really like being miserable. Oh. The environment he seemed to be in was Green Hill Zone. Oh my fuck. I. I feel like I'm being beaten up. Tom looked at Knuckles that stared back at him. Wait, Tom looked at the Knuckles that stared back at him. 
The knuckles then weakly support their knuckles. <laughs> but there's multiple of knuckles. <laughs> there's he's not an echidna, <laughs> he's not a single character, he's a species. <laughs> the knuckles. Just the knuckles. The weakly then it's, just weak an, it's an old person. Oh who's that <laughs> who's that one that that, that little little J C likes? Who is it? The knuckles. <laughs> That's the one. I'm I'm going to GameStop picking up a few of copies of the knuckles for him. Have you got that, have you? The featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Oh, and also pick up Fork Knife. <laughs> uh, the, the Knuckles then... Lads, we got to learn how to floss on these haters. The Knuckles then weakly spoke up in that unbelievably familiar voice. Okay, we need a voice for Knuckles. Um... <laughs> hey, Tom. What's up? No! No! <laughs> enough is enough. No more fucking... Maximilian Pegasus having a stroke. <laughs> and no more Nelson Mandela for that. Oh, so it's okay when you decide to not do Nelson Mandela. Uh, what? Hey, Tom, what's up? There's Mickey Mouse then. <laughs> It'll do. No, no, but yet, Goofy. Oh, hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. What, what's up? Gorge. Gorge. <laughs> no, I can Have you played Kingdom Hearts 3? Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Tony the Tiger! Hey Tom! What's up? <laughs> Being stuck in hell is great! <laughs> Tom didn't want to say it, but he knew exactly who it was he was talking to. And as he felt tears return to him, he slowly whispered the name. Kyle? Fuck off! I. What? Turn up the phone. Turn down the what? Why? Joe, maybe you should close the door. Why is... Why is Kyle... What? Can you do a, a, um, an impression of Jack Black? This is fucking stupid! It's not the stupidest thing you come across in this story. This... Yes, it is! It is. What's yes, stupid than him ordering a pizza? Is. Oh, yes it is! Wait, Punch and Judy. Fucking wild and crazy guy day over here. That pitiful creature nodded. Also trying to keep himself from crying as well. Oh, I, I thought it was the real Knuckles voice. It's fucking Kyle. Oh, right? it's just some fucker's Oh no, persona. he's turned his friends into the characters, isn't he? Yeah, that's, yeah. Oh god. I, I mean, you didn't see this coming. Fucking Russian titty bat and everything. Oh god, oh god. Well, yes, Tom, you have to say... Oh god. Oh, god. Oh, God. Tom muttered in disbelief. What did he do to you? <laughs> he brought out my true self. <laughs> I've always wanted to have a prehensile penis. The creature that was Kyle chuckled wryly. <laughs> the girl formerly known as Natalie. I guess I really am as reckless I as you. Is he supposed to be Goofy? No, I don't know. I can't do Goofy. Voice. Oh, no. He's, no, he's Tony the Tiger, isn't he? Well, like, <laughs> I guess I really am as reckless as you say I am, bro. So that was just you raising your That's voice like, slightly. I guess Tony the Tiger's been hanging out at drama school. <laughs> Tom couldn't say anything. He just looked at his childhood friend. His childhood friend, Knuckles the Echidna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that, that makes it worth it. It turns out he hadn't actually changed a bit. I just forgot to mention he's three feet tall, red, and can glide. <laughs> Like, it just never came up in conversation. I cannot believe what I'm reading. I'm surprised that you didn't figure it out sooner. I saw this fucking coming. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm sorry, Toby. <laughs> Toby the Inchilata. <laughs> this is all my fault. Kyle stated miserably, closing his eyes and shaking his head in guilt. I should have never gotten on this godforsaken game in the first place. It's not great. I fucked up real bad, dude. I fucked up real bad. <laughs> Tom? Someone just wrote, this is the gayest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like, I agree. And I've tossed a man off onto another man. And that what? was the gayest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Until I read this story. What about, uh, have you seen too, far, too Fast, Too Furious? Yes. Yeah, to be fair, they're saying Too Fast, Too Furious. But... No, because um, there's the hierarchy of gay, and okay, so the three things on there is the volleyball scene from Top Gun, gay people having gay sex, 
then Too Fast, Too Furious. Yeah. Mm. Tom? What's that? Don't. Don't! Tom tried to count and die. Stop believing! You didn't know. There was no way you could have known. I wanted to tell you, believe me, I wanted to! You so just completely given up on Tony the Tiger. It's probably for the best, you're terrible at I cannot it. do Tony the Tiger. Uh, I don't know, do fucking The Count from Sesame Street or something. Or Elmo. I wanted to tell you, believe me, this I... This just sounds like Vicky. I know, exactly. It's like, <clears throat> or just like, I wanted to tell you, believe me, I wanted to. That's Elmo for me. Alright. Kyle desperately explained. But, but that thing, he fucking got to me before I could even do anything. Can you, can anyone here do a comment the frog impression? I had a feeling. Tom stated. He's already got Roger, Mike and Vicky. He's gotten everyone here in the college. I'm all that's left here. Yeah. Wait, seriously? Kyle asked worriedly. Shit. No fucking wonder he's been in a good mood. What do you mean? Tom asked. He wants me to convince you to give up your soul so you can join the rest of us in this world. Kyle admitted. What? Tom asked, shocked. Yeah, but I'm not going to. It's bad enough he's gotten me and everyone else, but I'm not going to let him get you. Kyle spoke up, his courage rising. Tom, you need to get out of that college. Well, he wasn't gonna before. Yeah, I was just gonna stay around, you know. Yeah, and I was gonna stay here and die, but now you've said that. Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna think of trying to make some sort of, like, amusing living, like, well, corpsing Jenga set using the bodies of the uh, students, but, you know, you tell me to leave. Right, you're just safe you butt. Do you wanna swap again? I mean, you want your, you just to say butt. Yeah, but I'm saying you wanna swap again. Sure. But, before Tom could say anything else, the screen glitched and changed. Kyle was gone as the screen green became undescribable. <laughs> I don't, I can't describable it. Hang on, I'm just going to annoy me. There you go. Well, it's caps locks on, but whatever, it's fine. There you are. Don't you forget that spell check is a thing. Hmm. Now! Tom, Tom yelled, <laughs> clutching the sides of the monitor. Give him back. Give him back, damn it! He spelled glitching incorrectly the same way twice. The glitching subsided, and then Tom froze. He was now looking into what looked like a dark hallway. The walls were purple, lined with torches. This is the robotic stage, isn't it? Above were rows of dark this is red robotic curtains sex dungeon. that were slowly swaying, and the floor was checkered. The hallways looked... It was just a black lodge. The hallways looked as if it was fading into darkness. A piano started to play as Tom looked at the hallway. It was an odd sort of melody. A faint, distant. He couldn't tell if it was supposed to be somber or melancholic. Was it the Green Hill song, song uh, backwards? As it continued to play, two red dots appeared in the darkness of the hallway and Tom froze. He watched in horror as the false sonic creature that had been tormenting him these past weeks walked into view, smiling that wide, sharp-fanged smile as he came closer, closer still. Tom stumbled onto the floor and crawled back and watched the creature walk to close... Oh, excuse me. Watched as the creature walked Wait, uh, closer we got, to the we screen. We've got another celebrity in the oh, chat. Oh, yeah, no, I... Oh, it's my boy Hitler. Oh. <laughs> so you look at JC and tell me I was wrong. <laughs> Fucking hell. You were wrong. You genocided the wrong people. Should have been... The, the furries. furries. Yeah, absolutely. And then he raised a hand. And then the screen began to distort and deform. Reality being torn and twisted as the creature began to climb his way out. The creature, that I've said a hundred fucking times, crawled on all fours as he crawled. I know he <laughs> crawled because he was crawling. In my skin. The creature crawled on all fours as he crawled. Out of Carl's laptop, never taking his hungry credit. Stop it. Uh oh. Oh, you're missing the other map. <laughs> well done, Matt. Yeah. Out of Carl's laptop, never taking his hungry predatorial. 
as he asks out of Carl's laptop, never taking his hungry, predatorial eyes off his latest prey. The creature then got up to his feet and towered over Tom. Before bending over him. <laughs> <laughs> and he goatsied him. And spoke in a hushed voice that was a combination of his beastly growl and his mocking fake teenager voice. Oh God. Time for round two, Tom. It makes it so much worse that he just bent yeah, he over. He bent over. Yeah, it's like... It's like <laughs> you remember that Ace Ventura was talking of his arse that one? This is never going to happen. With fiendish delight, the creature took a step forward, causing Tom to shuffle back in panic. The sadistic beast giggled that hideous clown-like laugh <laughs> as he gleefully continued slowly walking towards Tom, slowly. talking over him as he was indulging every second of the fear he was instilling upon the young man. You're the last one here, Tom. And you've been the most fun I've had in ages. All right, so what has he done that's actually been entertaining to him? I don't know, I'm not fucking entertained. And this is just like, oh, you, he's basically, oh, you suck, you monster. And that was about it. It's like, I wandered around, I was shown some fucked up things, and then I installed the game, and he's done what for him? Is this real clown porn? Tom helplessly crawled until he felt his back press against his bookcase. He saw the creature's fangs glistening with his drool as he came closer towards him and was itching to grab Tom with his hand. The creature's eyes rolled back as he huffed and snarled pervertedly. I mean, perversely. Confused jazz pervertedly confused. is a word, but it just, I don't know, it doesn't really work here. Ooh, all the fun and games you and I will enjoy. He just, you know, pervert, so like, he is about to be bummed. Once I bring you home with me. Now, now please, Tom whimpered and begged. <laughs> and then he's like, all right then, you said please. That's the only thing that can stop me. I'll just leave her out the door. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Tears streaming down his face. The creature growled and snarled lustfully down at him. <sighs> his fanged smile. Oh my God, he, is, he is literally, he is one-handed typing this, isn't he? Tom saw the knife holder in the kitchen behind to be quick. It was vaguely sexual. I dare say you might even end up becoming one of my favourites. Come dumpsters. <clears throat> and then, as soon as the creature lunged in to grab Tom, he dodged out of the way and then pulled the bookcase over the monster, causing it and all its contents to topple on top of him. The creature snarled and yelped as he got partially buried in books and trophies. So, like, so, okay, so I did mention. Well, way to fucking new to the monster and make him really unthreatening. No, uh, so, so remember when, when he first started attacking him and he lunged at them and they all like ninja dodged out yeah. of the way and then he smashed his head against the thing and he said, ow, basically was like, ah, I'm a pain. Like, why has no one just like, oh no, he's trying to eat someone's soul and then someone just comes up behind him with a, like, you know, a chair and smashes him across the back of. Because it's like, should have respected women now. Hmm. One of the many chairs we've liberated from Area 51. Yeah. <laughs> like, because Tom's like a, like a fat, like a, a fat guy. Oh, that's right, he's a fat man. Made he should have, he's just barely flopped on him. Into his kitchen. Should have respected women now. Hmm. The minute the creature pushed the fallen bookcase off himself and pulled himself out of the mess. Himself, himself. Out of the mess. He turned after Tom, but stopped when he saw Tom pull out the largest knife out the knife holder and pointed it at him. <laughs> like the knife fucking stupid. There was a very tense silence. Tom was aiming his knife at the monster like a whip. Wait, <laughs> 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 well, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, like a weapon could mean a lot of things. Maybe he was holding it like a gun. <laughs> Like, like, oh, stand back or I'll shoot! The best part of this is, is the, the, well, the best part of this is that while the monster looked at the knife in confusion, was like, like, what's that? I don't know. It has no reason. We <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> just looked at it. Huh? What the hell? <laughs> I've fucking had enough of this. Jesus, like, holding the knife like a weapon. You, you fucking idiot. Like, Tom was aiming his knife at the monster like he was about to make toast. <laughs> he was brandishing it like he was going to brush his teeth. Stand back! I'm going to stab this black. <laughs> <laughs> Stay the fuck back, Tom threatened quietly. I'm warning you. Stay fucking back. Maybe, no, no, wait. Maybe it's like in Blazing Shadows. He's like, 
My mom moving this white boy gets his throat slit. Thank you, Vince 12, uh, 666. Now, Tom, I likes you, and I wants you. We can either do this the easy <laughs> way, or we can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. That's just an excerpt from Jersey the Hyena's Discord chat, isn't it? Like the creature to Chris the knife. Jansen. Yeah. The, the creature looked at the knife, but it had a reason. And then Tom, before throwing his head back, laughing uh, I love his mad dust. clown like laugh. Honk, honk. <laughs> Barely standing upright, his legs are kind of left. Standing upright as he did so, as if this was the most funny. <laughs> the most. Most funniest. How old are you? Is that really the best you can do, kid? That's what the review said. <laughs> Tom felt extremely awkward as the creature said this. <laughs> he's, he's made him embarrassed. He's just, I don't know, he's like defense shamed him or something like that. Oh, no, it's like that. I told you about the um, story of my uh, grandfather where he got mugged by someone with a knife on the docks. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> was um, working with the big fuck, what, some sort of Dago wop. <laughs> Pulls out a knife. So crazy, they were massive, like fucking. But yeah, it's just, it's, it's just like, look at that knife. What are you, some kind of dago? <laughs> Despite making up thirty percent of the population, why do black people make up fifty percent of the chess pieces? <laughs> and just worst of all, those black pawns have to die for their white king. I think you're playing the game wrong, mate. <laughs> I think you're playing the game wrong. <laughs> Truth you didn't really think any of this through. Again, that's also what one of the reviews said. Get real, Tom. I'm not a part of this world. How do you even know if that thing's really capable of killing something like myself? Are you really willing to take that kind of risk? Tom's knife hand shook <laughs> slightly. Uh, there is, there is no helping you, Gemma. Because I put out in the chat earlier, I just was like, I'm dying inside, please help me. <laughs> Thanks for the two pounds. There's no way to say it. And five pounds. Oh. Thank you very much. Uh, so is Matt's granddad, Sean Connery, in The Untouchables. <laughs> oh, you're some kind of Dago slaps a woman. Yeah. <laughs> five dollars from Jake Dragon Table. Thank you, Jake. Um, did, did you mean to leave a comment? Because you didn't. I'll see if you leave a comment. Tom's knife hand shook slightly. He was really in a tight spot. He wasn't sure if this knife was enough to hurt this creature, let alone kill. I mean, he hurt his head bumping into a wall earlier. And it's not like he could just run out the door and find a way out. The creature would surely catch him. And Green hadn't arrived yet. Trying to think of his options while keeping his posture and gaze on the monster, not showing him any weakness, Tom suddenly... Let's remember all those things he learned while, you know, while everyone else, while Carl was playing video game, he was studying the plate. The kitchen knife! Wait, so this is a kid, wait, he's a fat net big with Fedora. So he went for the biggest knife, which is what he calls his katana. He got for 20 bucks down like a fucking. Don't talk shit about my katana. I'm trying to think of his options while keeping his posture. Okay, Tom suddenly paused. Perhaps there was one way to escape this. I mean, he lives though, because you said it haunts him to this day. If it meant sparing himself from the same fate as all those, all those this creature had taken away. No, no, I'm not willing to take that risk. <laughs> Rick Sanchez had one. But I am willing to do something to take something else. Tom quietly told him, his voice shaking. The creature's brow furrowed, his smile fading as he had a look of suspicion. What are you doing? Wait! Tom immediately brought the knife towards his own neck. No, don't! For the first time, he heard it. He heard fear in the creature's voice. As he roared at him, his hand outstretched. Look of the fucking like werehog arms. No, Tom, I love you. A look of genuine panic on the creature's face. Got your attention now, did I? Good. Tom continues. I like, you know, he hasn't described what kind of knife it is. So I like to pretend he's got like a bread knife. Keeping the knife at his own throat. You're not getting me, God damn it! You may have gotten everyone else, all my friends, but not me. Either you let me go now, or I'm gonna become the one toy you can never fucking have. The creature's face contorted into that of rage. His voice much less that of a teen and more like that of a monster. That's not fair. That's not fair, damn it! No, wait, you said it wrong. Oh. I 
it's not fair, damn it. You were supposed to let me win. He's actually like his three-year-old brother. Tom yeah. watched as the creature childishly flailed and snarled angrily, smashing and knocking down several furniture. Several furniture! <laughs> several news about people. Several Kenobi. <laughs> you cheated! That's not fair! You rotten little cheater, Tom! And you are pathetic, Tom yelled. You're not some all powerful being that owns mankind. You're just a psychotic, spoiled little brat and a bully. See? So, so wait, you, you said it earlier, but wait and you to your villain. The creature growled as he paced the room, glaring at Tom. You took all my friends! Tom's voice quivered with spite. You torment and make people miserable. You steal men's souls. Uh, for the fun of it. It's high time someone got a rise out of you for once, you sick freak. The creature stopped and then slowly looked at him with a sly grin. That teen voice once again regained. Your friends, eh? You care a great deal about them, huh? Tom blinked. He was surprised by this change in behaviour. Then suddenly Tom sneezed and slid his own rope on the stick. <laughs> Stealing himself for anything the creature might pull, he nodded. Well, that's dick. Well, how do you think they would feel about you wanting to take your own life right now? The creature casually paced around the room, continuing his speech as Tom watched him. I mean, think about it, Tom. You were supposed to be the hero of this story for them, weren't you? It's got to be method, isn't it? <laughs> you wanted to save them. Doesn't it seem a little selfish to want to take your own life? Instead of being alive like them? Enough talk. How about you? The creature's words struck a small blow to Tom because he was a moron. It's true. He wanted to save yeah, his like, friends. Uh, but he could not because they are dead and it's only their yeah. um, their consciousness is alive in the computer. But what can he do? He can't bring them back into their bodies. Their bodies are either buried, cremated, they're gone. Or, they, or they've had their jaws broken and their insides punched. Well, I'd even go as far as to say that's unbelievably cowardly of you. Your friends are still living in my world! He's right, Tom! Listen to the murderer who's trying to manipulate you! Hoping that you'll come save them. And yet, here you are, choosing to abandon them. Choosing death over seeing them again. Tom struggled to keep the knife at his throat. He didn't want to admit it, but the creature was right. No, he's <laughs> fucking not! Yeah, like, no, you're just a bad writer. He was outright abandoning his friends by choosing death. Guilt washed over Tom as he began to realise how selfish he was. He brought his knife hand down as he stood there. I don't know, I think I think, you know, like, oh, why isn't Tom here to enjoy this wonderful <laughs> event where yeah. Sonic is shoving pineapples up her ass? Tom, as he began to realise, he brought his knife hard down as he stood there. Knife hand down as he stood there. The creature's red eyes gleamed maliciously as he watched Tom. He continued, Personally, I see no reason why you should choose death. When you're dead, you can no longer be with those you care about, but you can't see those you love anymore. I mean, why do you think I'm collecting every human being on this earth? Tom, I mean, you've, you were almost outsmarted by a retard like Tom. I yeah. don't think you'll succeed. Cake or death, Tom? <laughs> Tom looked up at the creature, unable to provide an answer. Instead, the creature continued to explain. Because the soul can't die. They continue going on, even once they leave the body. Is what I do. I take the soul. I know! <laughs> I mould it into an appropriate shape. A Sonic character, for example. <laughs> and then, boom! You're now an immortal resident of my lovely home. So Think about it, Tom. By entering my world, you're given the opportunity to never experience death. Except just lots of apart suffering. From, uh, apart from the death, because you're dead. Your body is dead. Wait. You can spend eternity with your friends. I mean, in hell. And uh, only I can make that happen for you. Wait, wait. Also, I'm, now, I'm, now, I'm, now, I'm now thinking the end of the story. That Tom is going to end up his whole life as big the cat. <clears throat> yeah, like, so you can live forever as a Sonic character. Can you think of a worse hell than that? Like, yeah, I would, I would choose death over that. Yes, also, would... like, I was going into a bit meta, thinking more about this story. Like, like he says the soul's immortal, so killing yourself, where's it going to go after, like, like... Yeah. Yeah, this... this you got like, the natural... Like, yeah, you got like the this... natural... You got the natural cycle of whatever happens after death, 
And then you got being shoved up Sonic's ass as a sex toy or whatever. Yeah, because this... thinks it was like it was something an appropriate shape. You mean in butt, a butt plug? Because it implies you're actually right to get like the soul is immortal, the soul can't die. So yeah, if he's in his own throat, yeah, his soul's gonna come out and presumably do something. Yeah, that he can't grab while it's still alive, but he can only grow. Like, Fucking so idiotic. is it gonna reincarnate? Go to? Like, I imagine. You know, like, you might be a bit lonely in normal hell, but you won't be just, you know, dressed as yeah. Big the Cat. Wait, we've got more, f- we've got five, we've got f- four pages left. Oh my god. Do you want me to start reading, like, the dialogue, not, not, not the dialogue, the other stuff? Sure. The creature held out a hand to Tom as if giving him an offer. The creature's smile seemed less vicious and more friendly. His teen voice overlapping the ground. Why would you ever trust a person who has murdered an entire college worth of people? I'm not asking much, really. All I ask is that you keep me entertained every now and then. It's only fair. With your sweet virgin boy pussy. You play whatever game I want with me. It's always from the Sonic the Hedgehog continuity. Slits his own throat immediately. (laughs) And you and your friends get to live and thrive in my beautiful world for eternity. You'll even get to go around being the character you love most. (laughs) It's just making his glasses own fucking... Super (laughs) Mario. Doesn't sound like a bad dear. Doesn't sound like a bad dear, does it? <laughs> Tom stood there. The swipe of Tom's arm did not only de- decapitated him, but cut the wall behind him. It was so fast. Tom stood there, taking in the creature's words carefully. The offer did sound tempting. <laughs> you fucking idiot furry. But Tom Miller. Like, he's so projecting so hard. It's like, well, I mean... JC the High's like, well, I mean, I would have my soul ripped out, but I would get to be Tails, and hopefully I could fuck a bunch of boys. You think JC thinks this is real? The whole thing with, like, Chris Chan thinks his Sonic 2 comic is real. But Tom Miller knew from the moment he first saw this creature that it wasn't <coughs> some healer or saviour. Dear equals deviant art. He wasn't Sonic at all. <laughs> it was just some monster pretending to be him. There is no Sonic, you fuckwit. Tom. It's not like, uh, like, uh, so just it wasn't like, really Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Like, it's not a real fucking person. Yeah, like, yeah. Just replace like every single mention of Sonic with Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> it's like it's not the real Robert Downey Jr. Well, no, but Robert Downey Jr. is a real person. Tom took a deep inhale. I could, I could mistake someone who looks identical to Robert Downey Jr. with Robert Downey Jr. But I'm not going to mix up fake Sonic Hedgehog and the real Sonic Hedgehog. Tom took a deep inhale. Robert Downey Jr. has blue arms. And looked at the monster, an air of confidence rising within himself as he saw the creature smile dropping, as if he was beginning to know he wasn't getting through to him. That's not John Stamos! Cope. Sorry, dude. A nice offer, but an eternity playing with you. I realise you're not a spoiled brat. You're out of your goddamn mind! Tom yelled with courage burning within him. How much do you want to bet that JC has a dirty, underage Sonic.exe body pillow under his bed? By the way, love the show, guys. I watch on this. Well, right, okay, so... And I love you, random citizen. Yes. Okay, so i like to say this first. Thank you for the money, first of all. But you are wrong. That is slander, you know, sli- slander, libel. You are absolutely wrong. He would not hide it. No, he would not hide it. I fucking proudly display that shit. It's probably honest for affinity. Honest look, at this, look at this uh, fictional character I fuck. By the way, it's 13. The creature's mouth twisted into an angry How'd snarl. How do you make show to Sonic? As he raised his hand to strike at Tom, but immediately froze. His black eyes wide and his red pupils shrunk as Tom immediately redirected the knife back towards his own throat. Tom then asked, You like going around as Sonic, huh? I'll have all the Sonic in the world! <laughs> Don't! Okay, okay I apparently missed something because apparently JC and I ripped off a line from Metal Gear Rising. And the. Oh, but I, I played that game a lot, but since no one's talking about memes, then uh, I don't know. Is it Nano Machines? No, it's either Nano Machines or. Me- like, they talk, like, he talks about memes a lot, but the actual meaning of memes, which makes the dialogue hilarious. Alright. Like pretending to be him, don't you? <laughs> don't fuck with this Senator Sonic. Don't you dare. Well, let's see if you... Makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Oh, 
Oh, God, that's a big no. Fuck. Okay. Mm. Come on, Jacob. Do the line. You can do it. Breathe well, in. in with the good air. Out with the bad air. In with the good air. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. This is the hardest challenge I've ever faced as an actor. Pain. By the way, I've never had a line like The emotional pain is just weakness leaving the body. You'll be stronger for it. Well. For fuck's sake. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, is it harder than you saying kill that black b bastard? That was like surprisingly easy. Because I like I was in. You're secretly racist. Yeah, I'm secretly racist. So really well, we'll say secretly, um, blatantly. No, this is the worst line I've ever heard. Because that line made me uncomfortable, but I could say it without laughing. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, let's <laughs> fucking jump, <laughs> spasming. Well, let's see if you're as fast as him. Space. <laughs> Space. <laughs> No! As soon as the creature roared and lunged forward to stop him, Thomas Miller summoned all of his courage and plunged the knife into his own throat. Chapman, it was it was it was like a toy knife. How the fuck is there another chapter? There's three more there's three more pages left. Detective Green and his squad had arrived to the college and broke down to the bar broke down the barricades that sealed the entrance into it. What he and his team found was a horrific sight. Bodies, both teachers and students, found here and there and everywhere in the great <laughs> campus. All of them dead, their mouths ripped open. Green had rushed down the hall with several cops to look for Tom, with Green hoping the boy was still alive, and they entered Tom's dorm room. There, Derek Green stood in shock as he found Thomas Miller sitting on a chair. Dead. Did he say earlier imply that he survived this? Yeah, because it was like, oh, this haunt, this this still haunts him today. I'm like, yeah. What? The autopsy reported that the knife halfway stabbed into Tom's throat was brought on by himself. Suicide. The knife halfway stabbed into Tom's throat was brought on <laughs> by himself. Fuck you. However, the wound done to his face, his jaws pulled open to the point of ripping. The report could not say. Oh no! Does that mean his soul was that? This, is, this affects me so emotionally. Green could only assume that it was done by the same killer that killed everyone else in the college. As with the other reports, Tom's body was said to have lost 21 grams of weight. Forensics also found Tom's laptop completely destroyed, as if someone had taken a hammer to it, surp sissingly. The CD disc that was discovered inside the drive had remained intact which Green had taken in as evidence. All right, hold on for a second, because I just thought of something that, I, I think I might have brought this up sooner, like, the whole 21 gram, like, any time someone, you know, like, their soul weighs 21 grams, wouldn't someone have figured this out the moment scales had been invented? <laughs> well, it's fucking bunk, that's why. I know it's bunk, but I'm just saying, <laughs> like, in this world... Yeah, I know. It's like, oh, have you noticed how, like, you know, like, uh, it turns out, like, you know, I was just measuring uh, Frank over here, and then he died, and then the scales went down a little bit. Weird, isn't it? Kyle Scott's laptop had also become unusable as well. Its battery completely burnt out, and the screen had cracked so much they couldn't that it find all the matter battery porn. if we could, one could turn it back on. I mean, there are ways to get... These, these are the police. There are ways to get files off of the top. Are you sure they're the police? Are you sure they're not, like, the volunteer like, detective squad or something like that? No, it was the famous five. <laughs> the incident was eventually made public. A few days later... A bit like, a bit like, oh, we're going to cover up the entire death of this college. Gas leak. A few days later, Green was sitting alone in a bar. He felt guilty about letting all those students down. Tom especially. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? He drank oh, they're shooting a Bollywood movie outside, I forgot to tell you. He drank his scotch as he remembered how terrified Tom was when he spoke to him on the phone for the last time. <laughs> and all his other times was like just, Hey Tom, we want to see something fucked up. As he sat there trying to drown his guilt. <laughs> I could. Do you want to say a dead body? There's like, you know, like, there's like, the, like, the film, the film version, is, you know, the same quality as the Slender Man movie, but, like, there's not the montage, and it's literally just Derek Green just showing him gruesome sights. Like, this. It's known as the love hole murder, Tom. This has nothing to do with this case, but look at it. Look at all those love holes. As he, as he sat there trying to drown his guilt, Derek's sister Sarah. Uh, probably sat there. should not have involved. 
that civilian in this murder investigation. I figured I'd find you here. I was like trying to find out where you. Like, she said. Like Derek grunted, with a sh- with a shrug. He wait, he grunted with a shrug. Yeah. <laughs> he grunted, then shrugged. Oh, the- Surprisingly, I haven't handed in my badge yet, but I have thrown it away. <laughs> Look, I know you've had it rough, but you can't keep dwelling on the past. Tom wouldn't want that. Sarah tried to. I also something. think he wouldn't want it to die horribly. Even so. Derek mumbled as he miserably looked at his glass of scotch. Our only late dead now. The killer's still out there. We have no evidence on the cult of X being associated with the murders. And I might as well throw in the towel. We're right back at the dead end, sis. Well, not exactly, she reasoned. The forensics have reported they found something within Thomas Miller's trash when searching for evidence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Throwing it away! <laughs> We've been looking for the evidence, but we couldn't find any. Turns out, Tom, <laughs> throwing it away. <laughs> oh yeah, what? Derek asked, looking at her with a raised eyebrow. With that, she handed him a plastic evidence bag. It was in, in it was a letter, a crumpled up letter in jittery writing. It was the letter given to Tom by Kyle. Sarah then said rather coolly, "Seems our cult of X was quick to give the game the they gave Kyle to Tom once he was done playing with it." Derek's eyes winded, why widened? Why Derek's eyes widened? Wait, what's happening? I don't know. He gave him some like a conversion. Like we, the Cult of X, murdered everyone in a bit of paper or something. It's like so. Derek's eyes widened as he looked at the letter, then at her. How many times have I told you I loved having you as a sister, Sarah? Who says that? Sarah shrugged and responded rather slyly. I'd say not enough times. With that, Derek grabbed the letter, and then they headed straight back to the office to look into it. Little did they know that a man, wearing all black, wearing a fedora on his head! What?! <laughs> Is this real life right now? I was watching, was watching them from a nearby table. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Little did they know that a man... Wearing all black wearing, let's ignore that for a moment, a fedora on his head. So, okay, so I don't go to bars. It's my boy Linkara. Oh. I was going to say Mr. X. Was, was watching. It's just like, so, like, okay, I do not go to bars a great deal. But if I walked into a bar to drink my sorrows away, and I was looking around the bar, and like, Hold up! Hold up! Why does that motherfucker have a trench coat and a fedora? Yeah. What the fuck? I am investigating and possibly beating this person. I do not know why he has a trench coat and fedora, but I'm hitting him with a fucking chair because he's wearing those. was watching them from a nearby table. He brought Boys have swag, you see, Matt, but men have class. He brought a hand up to his handlebar mustache as he watched. Is he literally twirling his mustache? As he watched the two detectives leave before dropping it and filling out a cell phone. Dropping his mustache. He's <laughs> like, wow, well, you've served your purpose, just chucked it down a drain. So, the most inconspicuous like, could you imagine, disguise like, so ever. Mr. Green, how did you know this guy was a spy? Well, I followed him around the back. He removed his mustache and threw it away. <laughs> Pulling out a cell phone to make a call. When it picked up, he spoke into it in a southern baritone. Um, so, y'all. Hello, it's me. Yes. <laughs> they got the letter. Right, on schedule. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'll take it to him. So about... like, fuck on, leg on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I'll say. Well, I'll say. <laughs> now, man, I do declare. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go the cult of X. I doubt he'll disobey. I doubt he'll disobey. The cult of X will see to it. Yeah, the cult of X will see to. Well, stays in our Lord's grace. Stays in our Lord's grace. Hallelujah! Praise be to X. The man got up and started walking out the door. Before he hung the phone up, he then said, 
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. I love this voice so much. <laughs> so this is, oh, and, uh, what's replacing my uh, Pegasus stroke? I think it's gonna be. I won't disappoint you. I am a soldier in force of the Lord. <laughs> Why right. is he saying this on the phone <laughs> out in loud. front of a detective talking to someone who already knows this information? Oh, so like, I like the, he's saying this out loud in a bar, having removed his fake moustache in a trench coat and fedora, and the barman's like, right, you know, barmen are usually quite hush hush about, I'm gonna fucking kill some. Right, we're almost at the so, end, so okay? But our Lord X desires, I am always at his disposal. Thank you, and goodbye, Miss Goldman. Mr. President! End of chapter one? No, that was end of chapter eight. You, f you don't even know how chapters work. So who's, who's like, Goldman, hello, I am Goldman. There you go. That's the Sonic.exe remake, and it ends to on a fucking cliffhanger to that will probably never be resolved. To protect the life cycle. Wow, I mean, I, I, that was even worse than I thought it would be. And well, my expectations a were fucking staggeringly low. I, 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 I am not okay. I was having a whale of a time. I feel like, like Frodo after he gets rid of the ring. <laughs> like, it's done. Wait for the uh, second one. Hopefully longer. Yes, longer and I cannot more wait to find out. Sexual. I cannot wait to find out what happens next in the epic adventures of J.C. Hyde's fursona, who can steal men's souls, die a monster, you don't belong in this world, to both Sonic EXE, J.C. Hyde, and just normal Sonic. They none of them belong in this world. It's just horrible. Like, I mean, we've read some shit over the years. Like, some real shit. I mean, stuff that barely even qualifies as writing. But this hurt... I can't believe how long this was. It hurt Jacob, not only in his heart, his soul, and his prostate. Should probably go to the doctor. The last like that. time I felt this way about one of our stories was Sonic EXE Round 2. And I think that's, that says a great deal about JC the Hyena's writing. It's yeah. uncomfortable to sit through, it's uh, just awful. Thank you for your service. Uh, Didn't mean sacrifice. Yeah. We took that bullet for you. Yeah, I do read the shit, so I suppose you guys don't have to read it. Like, is that how that works? Probably. Or you just go to someone else on the internet who's stupid enough to read it and possibly enjoy it. And you know, like, you get those people who like will read it but will correct the spelling mistakes. Uh, it was a pretty good pasta, but uh, is it real? Um, I think yes. Fucking imbeciles. <laughs> That was bad. Um, I'm kind of at a loss. Uh, I'd say I'll give it a... It's about 6 out of 10. <laughs> Could do with a little bit more, you know, a bit more or less water. It was perfect, 9 out of 10. Yeah, this, this shit, I mean... This Pastor obvious, of the month, because it's long and no one bothers to finish it all. So obviously 1 out of 10. Like, this is... No, we're not even grading on a scale. It's at levels of failure. Like, this, this is appalling. Um, and there's a lot wrong with it, so... The quality made you a meme to ease the pain. Put it towards the booze uh, that will that'll actually help. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so the writing, the standard of writing is just not there. I mean, it, it feels like it's written by someone who just doesn't really understand have human beings. Interest in writing. Um, the, you know, grammar's awful and all that. But yeah, the, the dialogue is appalling, the premise is stupid. Um, the idea of a apparently it took torture almost nine monster. hours to finish. An interdimensional torture monster that wants to look like Sonic the Hedgehog. It just has never made sense to me, even since the very first Sonic EXE story. Trying to remake Sonic EXE to be better, I think, is kind of polishing a turd anyway. But they just keep getting worse. I don't get how do you. How do you make something like Sonic EXE and then not improve as a writer? Well, and not only not improve, but actually do the opposite of improving and become a worse writer. It's it's like he's got Alzheimer's. It's 
fucking unbelievable. Mm -hmm. He's trying to, you know, improve upon a story with a like a basic shit foundation of it's Sonic EXE. What's the best? You, like the best you hope for is like, oh, it's a spooky game that takes people's souls. Why? Shut the fuck up. Try not to think about it. It's a stupid premise to begin yeah, with. The Try to best. like, like, all right. The so the best you can get out of it is only right. making. Um, uh, foot game footage and there being some decent jump scares in it. That's the absolute fucking best right. you can get. Right. So, hit, like, okay, so you're in Hollywood. Here's the premise Sonic EXE. Okay, where do we go from that? Well, an interdimensional soul taking monster took on the form of Sonic? Buy yourself a good book. You deserve it. Thank you, I will, actually. Yeah. Um,. Uh, Chero, thank you so much. My bank's anti-fraud service almost cancelled my card because of the amount of donations I made. You absolute legend. But you need this for being such a trooper. Thank you so much. Thank you. Really um, appreciate that. Honestly, this this has been this has been a fucking journey. This has been wild. Yeah, I think I'm a different person than I was when I first started. Meeting I think this. I'm a worse person now. I feel like when you go through enough trauma, you, when you see enough shit, and it just kind of you become jaded. Yeah, nah, I, I, that's I, how I feel I, after this. I think I need to go back to therapy in general. See, I have the advantage here by having my almost ruinously poor memory. I'm gonna just forget about it. No, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. No, you won't. Yeah, I will. Because we'll always make you remember. Yeah, and then I'll forget when I leave. In all honesty, the storytelling was of such poor quality that I'm sort of forgetting it as I sit here. Now, that's not to say it's it's, it's a forgettable experience. The experience was harrowing. But the actual story itself was so kind of not bland because, like I say, it was so stupid and like over there's, the top. It's 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 annoyingly dull because there's only a few highlights of like yeah. here's the cro like I didn't go down to see my friend who lived down the hall from me or like underneath me. Um, here's the crime scene, little boy, uh, ordering a pizza, and then there's just a huge blank space of like what happened then. The ordering the pizza was my favorite part with the fucking. Agonizing detail, like just to get up to the word count. Yep. Yeah, this is like it's it's good. We're gonna be we're gonna forget about it. We're gonna forget about the details, but remember the experience. Absolutely, yeah, I completely agree. I think that's that's exactly how yeah. this is gonna play out. It's like um when I remember, like, oh man, I hated that movie. Like, oh why? I can't remember. I just know I do. Like Equilibrium. Yeah. Fuck that, but I actually yeah. I actually remember why. I, yeah. But I actually remembered why I hated Equilibrium. It's because the main character is a fucking hypocrite. Oh, they always are in those kind of stories. Like Minority Report has yeah. the exact same... Um, and um, what's that, that the one where the guy removes organs? Like, oh, it's totally cool when I was doing it to other people, but the moment happens to me. Oh, but it's got Gun Carter. That's not retarded looking. It's so cool. Fuck it, you will live in. Yeah, do an updated top ten before you start season six. We haven't done a top ten in, uh, like, thing for we ages. We haven't, and we probably should, because I think people do like them. So that means, we, we, that means we're going to have to need to, like, skim through of, like, what the last, what... Three, four years of this shit. Or we could be really lazy and have other people vote for us. And yeah, then... tell us what our least favourite yeah. is. And then all we have to do is try to remember those particular stories. It's, a, it's like we're watching Mojo style. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, in Queer Living, you mean 1984 for dummies. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like 1984, but it has nothing to say. Yeah. It's just loud and dumb with a happy ending where society breaks down. Like, oh, you think this is a good thing? Obviously, Clockwork is number one. I mean, I think we've done worse than Clockwork recently. Um, I think Clockwork might be the worst one we've ever finished, though. Yeah. Because um, we didn't finish Sally Can't Play With Me. No. So. Well, because we, we got to the full-on child rape and then just abandoned it. What yeah. about the origin of Laughing Jack, though? That was fun. We yeah, like, I, but it's fucking bad though. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like it was enjoyable, but we skipped over a lot of the shit. But dating game was 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 was. I, I, to be honest, I think dating game is probably worse than Clockwork. Yeah, we're gonna need to actually just sit down and workshop this. Probably not on the actual. Uh, yeah, I think we have to like the whole gang just like meet yeah, up and get, try to fucking work yeah. We can always have like um, we can always do like one where we have like uh, even if it's not, like it's not the worst, maybe the ones that didn't go, but the ones that was like one of our least favorites of each one. So like Matt's least favorite, your least favorite, Toby's least favorite. Uh, least I'm favorite. I'm with um, Jacob. We just talk about it long enough on this room, and eventually the internet waves will take this to watch Mojo, and they will do it for us. <laughs> God, watch God. Mojo's top for like uh, watch um watch Mojo watch uh, you know top ten creepypastas least favorite things like 
How do they fucking know? And they're all wrong! I'm saying every single one of them is Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah. they used to... And they used to a titular seven <laughs> fucking times. Yeah, happy Happy we didn't finish because it was going to take... Yeah. Happy Happy was longer than this. Yes. That's we, fucking why we didn't we, finish Happy Happy. Yeah, we've st- got still got two hours of Happy Happy, and that's just two recordings. And the only thing I can fucking remember about it is that we started reading a fake uh, Happy Happy. This was like taking the piss, and a joke about Happy Happy being a simp from Fallout 4. That's the only thing I remember. It's just like, no one expect the apple to be a simp, as it's like a sort of tall apple man walking around the uh, wastelands. Have you ever considered just releasing what you have on Happy Happy? Happy and unfit. Uh, well, we we said the, the N word way too many times. The, um, I know the, the DVDs. Uh, it includes um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sally, the, come, Sally play. come play with me. Yeah. Where you re-edited all my excellent work just because I. Where do you? How do you make a testicles on here? Let's say make a penis. Uh, so let's look at penis. How do you get the testicles? Eight. Oh, eight. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Excellent. Uh, look at that. Anyway, uh, yeah, my excellent editing just because excellent. I used a free ed- um, editing software that has a giant watermark in the middle of it. So, uh, you don't need to go home, but you can't stay here on this stream. <laughs> so, are you ceremoniously deleting it? Yeah, basically, I'm just. Uh, I'm just... So, yeah, you got until uh, he reaches the top of the page to give us uh, give a, a, more a, free yeah, money. An inordinate amount of cash. Like. That we will almost certainly just spend on tins of beans anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you'll spend on tins of beans. Meals, yeah. I haven't actually got a Y key, so trying to trying to write a story. Once upon a time, a beans. No, no, never hit the delete button. You need to keep going forwards. Once upon a time, there was a Benes of such mastodonic size. Oh, it's uh, it's just it's Matt now. Uh, he's got the keyboard, folks. <laughs> oh god, oh, no. he's gone mad. We have to stop him. Love. Oh, is, are we sure this? Are we sure this isn't Jason the yeah. again? <laughs> Fucking wailing on the keyboard. All right, I think I'm going to end the stream here. Yeah. On boy bumpers. <laughs> With no wise. Yeah, this. Ah! Careful. Oh shit. Oh, it's all falling apart. I'm professional. <laughs>